friends and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Just got off my double night shift. I slept for quite some time. And uh, now I'm here, so that's why I'm late. Just wanted to let you guys know why I was late. And uh, since I worked night shift last night, we're probably going to be up all night testing. So, you know, that's just how it goes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So we were trying to test out um, the Frozen Orb Sorceress and the Minion Mancer, and uh, I also wanted to play around with the Dust Devils, but um, and like the Devil Swing stuff, we might have to make ourselves a bar, a bar, 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 a bee bar, bee boo, bee bar, a bear, bee bee, bee bear, bee bear, bee bee bear, bee bee bear, a bo, 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 bee bo, bo, NATO. DS NATO. There you go. We can get him started, Tim. Why not? Let's go ahead and gamble for him, Tim. Gambler right here. They keep moving the gamblers around. It seems your prayers have been answered. There. Hmm, there it seems your prayers have been answered. My prayers have been answered. I see a thousand obly boblies. Obly bo boblies. Bobbly bo bobbly. Obly bo bobbly. Bobbly bo bobbly. Oh, bully, bo, bo, bully. There's a oh, bully, bo, bo, bully. There's a bubbly, a bubbly, bob. There's a bob, 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 bob. Oh, bully, bubbly, 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 bubbly. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> I'm literally just using these to upgrade aspects. Got a lot of the aspects that I have are so bad. I don't know how I'm expected to test anything when, like, the aspects that I've got are basically, like, the bottom entries from the codex. Like, the absolute worst entries possible, for the most part, on, like, every single aspect. Like, I, I kind of spent, like, a whole bunch of time yesterday just, just making characters and just going in, gambling, and then coming out, and then making the character, and then gambling, and then going out, and then deleting it, and basically just doing that over and over again. Just so I could get, like, a large number of affixes and, and, like, things that I needed. And quite honestly, I still don't have all the affixes and everything that I need. To be perfectly honest. Like, they're all still really, really low. Um, I should probably make a druid. Because I want to test out the companion stuff. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make a companion druid. I'll make a couple of these. We're going to test out um, as much as I can. Ooh. God, last night was rough. Working myself to death. I'm working myself to death. Working myself to death. That's okay, cause I'm a working myself to death. Alright, let's gamble some more stuff for him. I also need lots of uh, veiled crystals and all sorts of other things to make this stuff work. So, all right, so we got him created. Um, we got a DS NATO. I want to check that out. Uh, what was I thinking about for the rogue? I can't remember. I don't know. Right off the top of my head. I mean, they had those new unique items. Not really sure what exactly I want to test out on the rogue. I'm not sure if there's anything I do want to test out on the rogue. 
I know I need to make uh, some more sorceress, get some more sorceress aspects, so let's just create a, it uh, doesn't really matter, we're just going to create a character so we can get some aspects. Seems to be the best way to get aspects in this uh, PTR is basically just create a character, delete it, create a character, delete it, create a character, delete it, you just basically do the same thing over and over again. You can get tons and tons of aspects, you get full equipment basically for clicking on the guy, so basically all your equipment goes to level 100, like, well, 920 equipment, not 925. And then you also get, like, a set of equipment in your inventory as well. Then they also give you a thousand obels, which you can spend. Which, I just go over here and just spend them on stuff. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just gonna do amulets. Amulets, uh, like, almost all the aspects can go on an amulet, so I figure that way I can get more upgrades to the, uh, to the aspects that I'm currently using. And you can even delete the equipment on the character as well, because you're not going to keep this character. This is just a, a character for getting equipment. And then uh, you're just going to go ahead and delete all that too. And hopefully that'll give you some aspect upgrades, and then you just delete them and do it again. I'm going to have to do this a little bit before I can really get a good idea on some of these characters, unfortunately. Because, they, honestly, like without good aspects, good, at least good versions, I'm not talking about perfect versions, but without at least like good versions of the aspects, a lot of the stuff that this characters can do just isn't really quite there. What's up, Augusto? Take my vitamins. Gotta stay healthy. No. What's up, Liam? What's up? Be careful creating new characters of the same class. Why was that? Well, whenever you update your character, it's like overwriting the codex and starting from fresh. Really? Mm-hmm. They know Blizzard knows about it. It's all so all out. these so all these things I've been doing to to like update my codex and add entries into my codex have been basically for nothing. Yeah, I think you're overwriting it every time you do it. You can try you can test it and see if one that you've done. Or just, or just put them all in like the stash, and then maybe like, yeah, maybe that's the better way to do it. Is I'll just and then I'll just like when you're done, the, do yeah, it. I'll just shove all the equipment in the stash, and then when I'm done filling the stash, I'll go delete all the items. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, everything is at one. Like everything is at one. So yeah, every single time you click on the person, it just resets all the aspects. Well, that's yep. stupid. Okay, well, if that's the case, then, like you're saying, I'll just take all this sh this stuff <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put it inside the stash. That way I can get better aspects of all the other things that way. I guess let me go ahead and purchase all the stash tabs. At least I'm getting the materials. Yeah, they need to give us way more materials next time. Well, that's freaking stupid. Every time you click on the guy, you get basically everything reset. Yeah. I mean, I would have figured it out eventually, but that's really dumb. Did nobody have a public test realm for this public test realm? <laughs> Well, at least I was getting the materials and I needed those anyway, so. Oh, bad luck. <laughs> Try again. I'll just have to fill up my inventory. It'll be alright. I've already I've already reset it with several new characters, so. I mean that was gonna happen regardless, as I needed to make several other characters like a druid for the companion builds and the so it looks like I was gonna reset it no matter what. 
It seems like what yeah. I need to do is I need to I need to go ahead and create all five characters. Go ahead and click on the doojank for all of them, even the rogue, just in case I want to do a test rogue. I don't really know if there's a lot of stuff I want to test on the rogue, though. I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't really... I don't really... I don't know what I want to test on this character. Yeah. I mean, if you really want to test like how much dodge and healing you could create if you wanted to do that. See how crazy you can get the survivability. I think the frozen orb sork item comes from Lord Zare, by the way. That's yeah, I saw the name. I saw the post. Oh, there was a post? I, I didn't see the post. There I was just a, heard it. There was a post. It was a post, a post, a post. Is it on uh, the official website? Yeah, they, all the new items come from Zare, according to the list. And the uh, materials comes from, uh, obviously, the Uber Unique. It's an Uber Unique, so it comes from, like, Duriel and whatnot. I'm just going to fill up all my stashes then. That'll be the easiest way to do this. All right, this character is actually going to stay. All right, so let's go ahead and create some more characters. Since I've already reset myself like 16 times, I might as well just keep on trucking down the line. Yeah, I did that like seven, eight hour live stream last night, and then I went right into a like, ten hour shift. So that was that was beautiful, and I got some sleep though. That's good. I'm tired. I I didn't get good sleep. <laughs> My eyeballs hurt. I need new eyeballs. Do the minority report. Just replace them. It's like Tom Cruise did. Okay, so I guess what I can do is, um, I mean, not that I really want to do this, go through every single aspect, but eh, I don't really feel like doing that much effort, to be honest. I was going to, like, go through them and make sure that each one of them was, like, the highest aspect of each one before I shoved it in the stash, but I just really don't have the patience for that. You'll get it just by naturally playing the characters. I think you just get a couple upgrades here and there. And then you'll start getting all 925 good items. Get some mats. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill the stash and then I'll just destroy all the items in the stash. It'll be easy. I can almost spawn Lord Zero once. Of seven bloods. Okay, well we can go kill him together then. That way we can maximize our chances to get the items. Yeah, I kind of want to get do it on my druid to get that new ring and test the landslide build. That does sound really nice. It is. Not gonna lie, the, uh, the, the landslide thing does sound fun. Oh yeah. A lot of these new bits sound really fun. The frozen orb thing looks super fun. I watched a couple videos on it. The barred dust devils, all variants, are crazy and fun. I, I assume the tectonic spikes will be the same thing with the lens side. I mean, it sounds to me like, especially if you use the poison creeper to spawn the landslide, it's just going to be absolutely nuts. I mean, I don't really see why it wouldn't. Keep forgetting to gamble. Yeah, I'm gambling. I'm just doing amulets because it's the easiest one to get all aspects. That way I don't have to worry about it. Like trying to figure out like which one I want to do. Let's do another burr burr to den. Your sleep has been awful lately. You're probably awake in somebody else's dream.
Well, at least by gambling and filling out my stash like this, I should be able to very easily get at least a lot of the basic stuff, aspects, in good shape. Alright, that's two barbarians. Let me gamble real quick, and then I'm going to do two sorceresses and two necromancers and two druids and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't really know if I can answer the question, is this a better game than it was before? But I can definitely answer the question, is this a different game than it was before? Like, they've changed so much about the game, I'm not even sure if it's really the same game anymore. Like, position of NPCs, the entire upgrading system, like, the number of affixes on equipment... Like, can you imagine being somebody who comes from, like, a previous patch, and, like, you <clears> hop <throat> on, and you're like, so, uh, have you find any godly rares yet? And then everybody laughs at you, and they're like, godly rares? <laughs> What's that? Rares suck! And you're like, what? I thought rares were the best items in the game. No, best items in the game? They're the worst items in the game! What's wrong with you? So what level Nightmare Dungeon are you up to? Did you get up to Nightmare Dungeon 100? Nightmare Dungeon 100? <laughs> That's easy! No. That's literally what it's like right now. At this point, you know, it's kind of funny because some people will judge a game based on certain patches. And, um, and you know, normally games don't really change all that much to really uh, denote, like you know, massive, ridiculous changes, so to speak. But, um... <laughs> like, if you had... If the last time you played Diablo was, like, I don't know, like, 1.0 like or something, or, like, the Season 1 patch, or, like, the Season 2 patch or something, and then, like, you hop in on Season 4, like, you know, it's it's not even going to be a comparison. You're going to come in and be like, "What the hell even is going on right now?" You're not you're not even going to know what's going on. You're going to have to relearn the characters and relearn how to do everything. You're going to have to relearn the the relearn the tempering system, and you're going to have to learn the master working system, and you're going to have to figure out where the pit is, and you're going to have to like run around and do a bunch of stuff trying to like under understand where the new bosses are and where the items come from. It's going to be like a whole journey just to get caught up on all the changes that have currently like been added into the game. It's it's stupid. I'm not sure why any company would want to change their game to that degree, to be perfectly honest. And then wouldn't there be like a... Uh, for most companies, wouldn't there be almost like a, like a negative connotation to that? Like, to making your players less accustomed to your game to the point where literally they just may, might not want to log in because they've got to relearn every mechanic and every everything all over again? There's some people who definitely will feel overwhelmed, and then there's others who like want a new adventure. There's just a, it's kind of like the, the kind of thing people are looking for, for sure. I mean, P Poe definitely creates an overwhelmed feeling for a lot of people. They just turn the game right off as soon as they look at the passive tree. Just like, I don't want to deal with this. Dude, the passive tree is ridiculous. I don't know who ever thought that was a good idea. First time you look at it, it just it, it, you just get this overwhelming feeling of, yep, nope, I'm not doing that. Very nice, but could be better. You can take what's left. All right, let's make one more necromancer. Let's make two sorceresses. Looks like really it. like what they did with the materials, because now you just get them randomly sometimes. Even the goblin dropped me some materials. It's kind of crazy. For the bossing. Man, it's super easy to get them, huh? They, they definitely made them... Um, come from other sources, which is nice. A nice feeling.
Alright. Let's just get a whole bunch of equipment. I think with everything I've got shoved into the stash, I should be okay. Just need to get it all destroyed. You know what it kind of makes me feel like, though? Is it, it this? This just follows along with the narrative that we've been talking for a really long time, which is they they released us an unfinished game. I think I think yeah. maybe we're actually looking at changes that were officially slated for the game that just never got into the game. I'm not going to give them enough credit that they spontaneously came up with these changes, and that these changes are things that they had you know in mind all along. No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use a different men mentality toward it, which is this is probably stuff that they had slated on the drawing board for a very long time that they could just never get to because they were constantly behind. And when the game launched, they were literally like four or five seasons behind. And we may not even see all of the changes that they had anticipated for the game or they had planned for the game until we get to like the first expansion. Yep. I agree. We've Which, basically been testing the game for them for a year. We've yeah, been giving yeah, feedback just, and just been, Yeah, just testing the game. It's not very nice of them. Hopefully things are changing. Take a chance, Wanderer. It seems your prayers have been answered. Alright, well, let's do tr two druids real quick. And then once we finish the druids, that'll be the end of it. Hopefully with an entire stash full of randomly gambled items, I will at least be somewhere close to decent aspects on all characters. At least at least the all aspects. I would assume at least the all the you know the aspects that are across all characters. If not the ones that are specific to each character class. It's a lot of work to get my freaking character set up though. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna complain about it constantly guys. I'm not even gonna stop. There's not going to be an end to it. I'm just going to constantly complain that I can't get my character set up because they didn't give us the proper tools that we needed. I mean, granted, I can play the game for seven full days and, like, literally grind my butt off trying to, like, get everything set up and find the unique items and, and like, I mean, I guess. Or, right, they, yeah. or they could have just given us our old characters and we could have just done it that way. I agree. I, I think testing should there shouldn't be like any um, friction with testing. Texas and she will just jump in, do some testing. You know, temper this, whatever, masterwork this, get some unique, see how that works. Get, test some builds, see uh, if anything's completely broken. You know, you, you should be able to just jump right in, and test everything, and not have any friction where you have to play for like twelve hours just to get one build running up. You know, to test it. Grim Citizen, you're absolutely right. But, you see, that's another thing that um, comes into play when you have been playing the game for multiple patches. He's he's chiding me for going over to the, the, the chest by the wardrobe instead of using the chest by the blacksmith. Oh, yeah. But you don't understand. There never was a chest by the blacksmith for the longest time. So I've been... I've been trained like a puppy dog that salivates at the bell to go to the wardrobe for my chest, and it hasn't it hasn't stopped. Just because they put chests all over the place doesn't mean that my my brain rewires itself to go to that thing. I mean, I thank you for reminding me, but I'll forget again, and I'll go back to the wardrobe chest. You watch. I've been running to the old blacksmith locations. Like I talked to the, they put a vendor there too, which is like really weird. They put like the armor or weapon vendor at the blacksmith location, so I'll run there open the inventory and i'm just like where's my i can't salvage i can't do anything what's going on this is not the actually i the keep blacksmith. i keep running to the occultist location in uh in freaking uh Kyovishat. i keep going all the way over to the occultist over there and the go the occultist isn't there anymore do i get paid to test yes i get paid by you guys no um, i don't get paid by blizzard but um i get paid by you guys for watching my stream and hitting the like button and subscribing and and giving away memberships and getting your own membership and uh, and donating money and um, also if you send me pizza, that's also considered donation.
Besides, I'm the person that you want testing the game. Because I'm the guy who's actually going to give you good feedback. What's up, Ginger? What's up, Bob? Nothing. Just chilling. Somebody made this comment on my YouTube channel the other day. They were like, they were like, your opinion doesn't matter. You know why your opinion doesn't matter? Because you only play Diablo 2, and that's all you ever play, and you never play any other game. And I'm like, I'm like, whoa. I was like, you know how many games I've played on my channel besides Diablo 2? I'm like, are we even looking at the same channel, bro? I was like, I play Dragon's Dogma 2. I played Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I played Baldur's Gate 3. I played Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I played freaking uh, Torchlight. I played System Shock 1 and 2. I played, like, And I'm sitting here going over like the list of all the games that I've played on my channel, and it just keeps getting longer and longer, and I finally was just like, you know what? I'm not going to type them all out. <laughs> and we played this game ever since the beta, and every preseason, every season. And I played literally thousands of hours of Diablo three, which is I'm I'm ashamed of, but it, there it is. Kind of what this game is morphing into. It is. There are greater rifts, and the rare items becoming garbage. It's just morphing closer and closer to Diablo three. Mm. Yeah, the rare items are actually obsolete now, right? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to Blizzard on that because I don't understand why that a decision was made. Like, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna let them have it. I plan to I plan to make a video on it, and I also plan to make a post on the forums about it. With any luck, if we get enough feedback, if enough people comment that they don't want the rare items to be destroyed, and basically you know, like removed from the game. Uh, we we may see them revert that change. So far, uh, two big content creators have made uh, comments about it, and they're basically asking Blizzard, like, do you have plans for this? Like, rare blue and white items, yes or no, in the near future? Like, there tell us now. There was for it before. Yeah. I mean... Even though it had less stats, it had more percentages. Yeah, like, I mean, possible yeah. possible that it was viable. That was, like... Pre-beta, I think, even. They announced something like that. I mean, everybody likes the blue items being, like, if like superior but also inferior versions in Diablo 2. Like, it's, it's a thing. They can balance it that way. It doesn't... It's not impossible. Like, you just make the two affixes that are on the item, like, that much more powerful than the other affixes, so it balances out losing the affix. And believe it or not, people will use them. Like, it's... It, people do it in Diablo 2, and people would do it in Diablo 4. You just gotta balance it properly. But leaving just two affixes on there that are exactly the same quality and type as the ones that are on the legendary items is just a kick in the teeth to the rare items to make them less useful. I'm so sick of these ants. There's like an ant epidemic up here. I put tarot all over the place every season to get rid of them, but like... Like, next season comes around and they wake up from the dead and start crawling all over the place. I never really mind ants, like, too much. Like, they're not as bad as, like, cockroaches and things like that, but... I hate it when they bite me. Apparently I'm tasty or something. I don't know what's going on. Apparently I taste like chicken. You guys ever used to watch those really old hor ant horror movies where the ants would come and eat people in their sleep? Like, I, I can't remember one in particular. It was like a... It was like in Africa. Um, and they explained it as like... Um, apparently there was like this big giant ant colony that lives underneath of Africa or something. And uh, and it only comes up like once every like 30 years or something because it basically, they basically just, just eat everything... Um, whenever they come up or something like, I'm not talking about like, you know, like, oh, they just, you know, they just eat everything around them. No, they, they literally come out of their nest and they literally eat everything, all the animals, all the trees, all the plants, everything, all the people, like, doesn't matter what's there. There's so many of them that nothing can stop it. And then once they've basically gathered everything that they can possibly gather and brought it all back to their nest, then they go back into hibernation for like another 30 years or something. And the whole movie is basically um, based around this uh, sugarcane farmer who's like invested every last penny he has into his sugarcane farm. 
and uh, and he's determined to make sure that his sugar cane farm succeeds. And that's when he gets word of the ants coming. And and this boy, he freaking puts a moat of gasoline around his base. You know, he's got like, he's he's got freaking flamethrowers. He's got all sorts of. He's fighting the ants like just as much as he can. He's got like a moat of water like after the moat of gasoline. And like the ants are making like little bridges on freaking leaves, and they're coming across the water anyway. <laughs> Dude, like, and then like this one guy was sleeping in the hut because he was a, uh, what was he? He was like the 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 worker, the hand worker or whatever, like the guy out in the fields who just kind of like helps out. And uh, he was sleeping in the shed. And when they came, and he the ants just like crawled over him. And when the ants left, there was nothing but a skeleton left. It was the movie's hilariously, but also kind of scary at the same time. I don't know what you would do against that many ants if that ever actually happened. I mean, King the Conqueror lost against ants, so there's that. All right, do we finally have a full stash? Is that the question? Okay, we finally have a full stash. All right, good. So we're going to delete this guy. We don't need him anymore. All right, then I'm going to start to deleting all these items. I mean, it, it's weird, though, because while it is becoming more like Diablo 3 by adding the greater rifts and destroying rare items, it's also becoming less like Diablo 3 because they opened up trading of legendary and unique items, which Diablo 3 never had. Yep. Diablo 3 was such on, so on lockdown for pretty much everything. There was basically zero ways you could trade items in ladder, and there was only one way you could trade items in non-ladder. It wasn't like that in the start, though. Yeah, well... That, that happened at, uh, well, when the Necromancer came out? Um, no, it was after the auction house was destroyed. So they, the auction house is what caused that. No, nah, I think... They got, they got I think it lawsuits. was still around for a while after that. It was, uh... Well, it, it was, was the, the... It was the lawsuits and everything that kind of caused it, because, like, the, they had to shut down the auction house, they refunded everything, and then there was all the lawsuits afterward. And I think that trading canceling was like a knee-jerk reaction to all the lawsuits because they didn't want to have to go through the same thing again. Which it was all their fault anyway because they made a shitty auction house. Hi. What's up, Zan? Started doing some greater riffs. Oh yeah, you're grifting? You're grifting? Yeah. Lil's come and slam on you yet? Uh, haven't seen Lilith yet. I'm only on 40 right now. Um, yeah, there's multiple bosses that show up. I had a fight where, like, I got a boss every, like, 25% I got a different boss showing up. It was kind of crazy. I had, like, Elias in there, and then Lilith just throwing walls at me. It's like, what is going on? Oh, Ginger, uh, I saw some testing with the Necro minions. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we know they inherit everything, right? Like damage to close, for example. But what's interesting is they inherit the damage when close, but when you get close, it actually double dips right now. So mm. they get the damage when close from your item, and then you're close getting that close benefit, like their aura, I guess, is behind the scenes, the coding of it. And they're actually getting another buff because you got buffed. Well, that explains why it always felt like when you were close to your minions, they were getting more damage. So it was, it was always double dipping. It's just now it's double dipping in a way that's Full much damage. easier, much easier to see. Well, 100% plus 100% instead of 100% plus 30%. I've done uh, 153 level monsters, whatever tier that is. 100, I think I, I have to go look what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I can tell you, or we could figure it out. I'm in like a 22 right now, I think, or something. Something. They're level 121. Well, did they massively the nerf uh, GR hundreds? Uh, they did a patch or two ago. It was a season or two ago. They completely redid Nightmare Dungeons, where like a tier 100 in the past it was like equivalent to a tier 70 something. They did that change where they rebalanced the game. 
They basically so, said, and this was their words, they said, we never intended for anyone to actually reach tier 100 or complete it. We don't know why you guys are so crazy and we're able to even get there at all. And then, like, they were like, we're going to make tier 100 easier in a more realistic way so that people can actually complete it. That's basically what they said. Like, they, they basically called us crazy for even wanting to complete, like, tier 100s because they were like, why are you guys even in there? Like... <laughs> And now they're back because I I would say the new pit max level is basically what the old T100 was, kind of balance wise, if not a little harder. Yeah, like I haven't played since season two, and I just slapped in my same build without any changes, and I just wrecked T100. Hopefully this gives me the aspect upgrades that I need to actually do what I need to do. Not while I'm, in I'm trying to collect materials for do some of the bosses so we get some uniques. The new trading rule is um, is going to start with season four, yes, but it's not a season four like thing, so it's. Most of these changes, and that's what some people have also talked about, is that we're not actually testing Season 4 mechanics. That's true. Um, and they're like, what do you mean we're not testing Season 4 mechanics? None of this stuff that we're testing right now is Season 4 mechanics. These are just changes to the core game. game. Like, this they're is just, a core they're game. just core game. This is going to be an Eternal Realm, as well as the latter season. It's going to be in both versions of the game. Like we, we still haven't seen anything that has to do with like what the next season mechanic is. That can come out completely busted because we didn't test it. Which it did the past three seasons, so. Yep. I don't think they're ever going to learn, to be perfectly honest. Oh, found Lilith. <laughs> Killer. Need something for Alright, so now that I've destroyed all the items in my stash, my aspect storage should be much higher than it was before. I almost walked over t to the old occult occultist location again. Let's see if I can upgrade anything. I really like the new Helltide. Hey, I got a perfect juggernaut aspect. Look at that. Yeah, the new Helltide is definitely better. Um, my my necromancer walks through there though like it's I don't, I don't even understand like the monsters are made out of paper mache yeah I mean it's it's once again it's a, a content that's balanced around 100 level mobs open world mobs like they really need to find a way to scale them up to when our characters are fully geared Got Serpentine. Still only have the lowest version of that. It's terrible. Alright, and I got uh, Ever Living. Sounds like something a kid would make up. Or is it Adventurers? I wish I had my uh, microtransactions on here. Man, I can't even make my barb look like a samurai. It's the whole point of playing barb. I look like a samurai, man. You not. Show gone. The frosty strides. Oh, there we go. Wow. Max frosty strides is kind of insane. Uh... While below 55% life, evade freezes close enemies no. for 59,665 damage. 59,665 yeah. damage and freezes. That's them. a high base. That's that's crazy. Samurai barb, imagine that. 
What's wrong with Samurai Barb? What's wrong with Samurai Barb? They're making fun of your Samurai Barb. What? I'm making fun of my Samurai Barb? I'm like my Samurai Barb. Leave him, leave him alone. He's a good boy. I don't know if I'm going to clear this one. I think this boss has my number. <laughs> oh, that's what's killing me. And I just not realizing it. I don't see why the sage's aspect got changed now because like every item i i have a lot of my items i can roll heal life per second i mean the sage's aspect was one of the best ones though that was the one you actually used i sometimes put that on the amulet believe it or not but i think you can just get it on gear now like my helm has 133 life per second my pants have 147 life per second my boots have 127. D D2R cool. is not cross-platform. It's cross-progression, though. Cross-progression, not cross-platform. So, you basically, you can play across like multiple consoles so like if you play on pc and then you can hop on xbox and you can play your same character on xbox but xbox players can't play with pc players and so forth and so on <laughs> i really like what they did to frozen orb i mean frozen orbs like controllable you know like controlling exactly where it fires it looks so fun with the ammo. We're gonna get you the ammo. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can't beat this boss. Is he just killing you? What's going on? Huh? Like, you know, just can't survive? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, my gear is hot garbage. Join you and I kill him. This character sucks too. We can suck together. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> We're going to summon Xylar with all no, the suckage. No awkward pause. No awkward pause. Oh, you're not in the dungeon anymore? Yeah, I am. How come when I teleported you? It just it teleported Because I was still in town when you teleported. I oh. just teleported back to the dungeon. Dang I had to repair. Yeah. <clears throat> what, uh, oh. what tier is this? Is it tier uh, I'm going to get my butt kicked too? Yeah. Oh, this guy. I don't like the attacks that this guy puts out. They're annoying. I'm going to stagger him really quickly, though. Oh, we're both frozen orb sorceresses. <laughs> okay, we will stagger him very quickly. Alright, stagger in three. Cool. Wow. Unleash hell! Unleash hell! He's awake. I actually set this guy up like exactly how you would for a frozen orb sorceress if you had the amulet. 
So he kind of sucks. She kind of sucks because she's set up like for the conjuration stuff. My second tier of the the big boost on master working hit Frost Nova size. Gotta start over now. It's nice when we can super stagger them. That's cool. Well, can you imagine what it's gonna be like when you can fire off like 13 frozen orbs a second? I mean, because you can have one, two, three Hydras, and then you can have a Lightning Spear, and if you get the aspect that lets you cast the Lightning Spear twice, then you get two Lightning Spears up at the same time. <coughs> then if you use the, the uh, enchantment for Ice Blades, you get two Ice Blades at the same time. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the two that you can fire, which is eight, nine. So you can get like nine Frozen Orbs shooting off at the same time. Potentially. Mm -hmm. And probably a couple more, to be perfectly honest. Um, there's a, there's some other ways I was thinking about working in some more. I probably just have to redo my Paragon board, to be honest. Well, I need to get the blood things so I can go try and farm the amulet. Leon said he has one... Um, you got one uh, Zier thing? I have seven, so I need two more. I think I have some bloods. Let me go check and see. Because I think on my Necromancer, I, I collected a couple exquisite bloods. I didn't do any Legion events or anything, which can just start doing those. They just dropped from regular monsters in the freaking Helltide. I have ten. Yeah, I've been doing Helltide. I have ten exquisite bloods. You're running Cold Sarks right now? I have yeah. two. I have two exquisite bloods. I also have some Distilled Fears as well and some other parts. Let me uh, let me put all my parts into the um, into the stash here, because I'm most interested in testing out this Frost Nova thing, or sorry, Frozen Warp thing. Uh, if you want, I can post you my Paragon boards. It's seven boards. For what? For what? The frozen uh, for the frozen orb? Uh, no, it's just generic frost. Like you get massive damage out of this. Oh, I was trying to go for, like, as many frozen orbs as I possibly could, as as opposed to, like, the other way around, which is to, like, to focus on the damage output. So I was focusing on the number of conjurations, getting as many conjurations as I could, like, increasing their duration so they lasted longer. Because the way that that amulet works, the more conjurations you have and the longer they last, the more frozen orbs you have constantly just, like, shooting off everywhere. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to roll it yet. The amulet itself also summons conjurations. Yes, and the amulet summons conjurations also, which means that I could, that potentially, if it works the way I think, I could potentially have a ridiculously large number of of things going at once. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how many frozen orbs, but it sounds like a lot. I, I was basically watching someone play it, and they were running through a dungeon. Like just running forward, and then all the things they summon, all the orbs would just kill everything behind them. They're just running past everything, and there's everything was just dying. <laughs> well, yeah, because the the frozen orbs were actually coming from the conjurations, so you can yeah. so you could summon your hydras in a room, and then your hydras will start shooting at things, and then the lucky hit from the hydras will cause the frozen orbs to come out of them. So then you end up with like three, basically turrets. The hydras become turrets. And then your lightning spears fly all over the place around you, becoming almost like defense orbs. And then the um, the ice blades, like they also will fire off the frozen orbs, but they're more melee centered. So, so you end up with like a whole little army shooting frozen orbs. It's crazy. Like I can already see it in my head. I don't even need to actually see it, but I'd like to see it. I would like to see it. All right, well, let's group up and let's do some zero. I got um, I got two bloods, and we got a couple more bloods. We can at least do a couple zeros. Sounds like we do two, which is good. And I've got I some do other. It on my I've got some other mats too, if we need them. Like I've got the Stygian stones, if we want to try the freaking. I'm um, actually everybody's probably got Stygian stones. Yeah. All right, here let's group up. So we got uh, bites. Uh, Crossplay settings must oh. match, Leon. That's terrible. No, dude, they must match. It's terrible. I can't invite you because your crossplay settings are bad. You got bad crossplay settings. It's all Tonky's fault. He told me to turn them off. Can't invite. Can't invite. 
No, no. What is guys? I cannot get out of this hell tide. Like I have one million mobs on me because I have a wave of darkness event plus the three bar summon Grand Theft Auto. Three bar summon Grand Theft Auto. I'm gonna go into the hell tide real quick and see if we can get some more bloods. The monsters in the in the hell tide literally drop bloods. So while we're waiting on you, I just, just think to what I have. Stuff. Just go murder things. Not while I'm in town. She's perfectly. This build is perfectly capable of killing things in the hell tides, and she can do up to like 25 um, hit. I don't know. I didn't test her in the nightmare dungeons. Lord, look at all those dust devils. That's insane. Yep. Yeah, that build is insane. Because they wanted people to use the dust devils, so there you go. Yeah, that build is definitely not going to be that the way it is. Come. I mean. Well, well Leon, like... Leon was literally saying that you could get so many dust devils you like lag up your own computer and crash it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. like five variants of it. covers the yeah. entire map. Leon steals horses? Yeah, Leon's a, Leon's a horse thief. That's true. That's what they said, Leon. That's what they said. I'm a horse thief. A samurai barb is no good. Oh, yeah. You freezing stuff helps me. Oh, I could make it freeze even more. Like, I've been playing around with different builds with this to see, like, just how much I can potentially make things freeze. I went with the Ice Blades enchantment just so I could get, basically, a free Ice Blades. Um, because it gives me, what is it, um... Every 33 seconds of cooldowns you spend, you spawn an Ice Blades on a random enemy. I don't know if that's what I'm going to go with eventually, but it's basically just another free way to get a, a Conjuration, which means I get another frozen orbs spamming at things, which was my goal. Honestly, the, um, it, it might get to the point where I have so many frozen orbs that I need to focus on the damage output of the orbs instead of the, uh, instead of the number, but... Uh-oh, there's some sort of big giant boss on the map with, like, one horn broken off over here. What's this? I think that's uh, the summon altar. Oh, this when is you the... open chest, yeah, when you open chest, you get, uh, one material, and then you need three to spawn boss. Oh, well, there's a bunch of elites over here. Oh, the worm just spit a bunch of stuff on my face. Have you seen the big giant tremors worm yet? Yeah. He's rude. I need time. Why don't the bloods pick up by themselves? over here too. I have three things. Let me see if I can join you guys. That's what we're waiting on. Well, if we all get enough yeah, shards to clear the chest, we can spawn the boss. Voher Dark Fist. What's up, Voher Dark Fist? I've got 88 uh, shards right now. So did they basically make it just like the vampire thing, where everybody can contribute to the total? I think so. Uh, Pretty much, just, yeah. yeah. You just need three. 
from anyone. Three, yeah, just like just like the vampire. I figured I figured they were gonna eventually do that because the vampire thing was so well liked. All they had to do was convert it into something similar. Yeah, we were asking for it right away. We were like, just make the Altai the vampire thing, and uh, that's pretty much what they did. Looks like I triggered my. Uh, I don't know if it's separate, but I triggered my thing, so I got a bunch of bosses spawning on top of me. Yeah, it looks separate. Well, come over here and kill some bosses. Yeah, there's a goblin circle similar to uh, the vampire, where you have to stay in the circle. Yeah, I saw that, and I accidentally walked out of it immediately when I found it. <laughs> yeah, the, the first one I found, I did that, and then I realized what it was. The stay in it until you die or until you win thing is one of the coolest things they've created so far, to be honest. No, I, I think it's easier than the vampire one was. I, I yeah. want it. I want it to, to scale it up so that it just gets more and more difficult. So it's like a a real challenge to stay inside the surf. Kind of reminds me of those old uh, challenges. You remember that video game from a long time ago where it was just like a, had like a D batteries in it, and you, you had to like hold on to it, and the first person to let go was the loser, and it would literally just shock the crap out of you. I can't remember what it was called, but it was—it wasn't like deadly or anything. But like, you basically just held on to these two metal probes, and it would just shock you. And the first person to let go was the one who lost. It's kind of what it's like, right? Because it's really painful to stay in there. It's really painful. Oh, I got some temerities, some seventy-six percent temerities. Mm. Yeah, well, I'll throw those on. Flame of darkness. Okay, I've got 196 cinders, so 100 and 200. Are all the chests still the same amounts? Yeah, 275 for the living seal. I think 250 for the mystery. I need time to prepare that. Galarin Death Trap. What's up, Galarin? So much food dropping up there. There's the there's the worm. That's crazy. He's, pu he's puking stuff out at us. Look at him puking. I like the, I like the worm. The worm the worm I like the worm. Tremors. Him's a good. I'm gonna call him George. Who doesn't like George? Because if you don't like George, if you don't like George. Uh, oh, I died. Oh, Kratos was slain by Porex Death Trap. Oh, cool. I'm probably going to die to him again, too. Oh, it's a Hellborn. Where, where is he? Where the is juice he up Hellborn up here. Okay, I'm coming. Good lord. Oh, you guys activated the thing. Yeah, so I got three stars. Another Hellborn. Call the Hellborn. We've called the Hellborn, guys. My burden is too great. Another worm. He's spitting stuff. He's a spitty. He's a spitty spit. Alright, 294. Do we, do we got enough to... Oh, where, do, where do chests at? Uh, just zoom in on your map. I think. Uh, there's a there's a mysteries up there. I can just open the mysteries, right? Not unless you want your glory mats. I mean, I just want to open up a chest. I have three of the things. I can. Do we need the glory stuff? I mean, I, I'm getting it because I want to ram a ding dong, but it's fine. You want to ram a lam a ding dong? I thought you still get glory mats from the mystery chest then. You, but I think it's like one instead of three or five. I don't think it's five in there. My burden is too great. I'm gonna go open this. trying to murder me. I don't like it. I need time to do that. 
What's these spires of corruption? What's this thing? I kill it. Oh god, a big monster came out. Yeah, I only got one steal from that mystery. Got 26 minutes on the hell time. We got plenty of time. I'm gonna open a living steel, then I'm gonna come back up there and I'm gonna summon the thing. I got two shards. How many shards do we need? Three? Three. Yeah, I never got any. I okay. opened two chests already. Well, I just got two shards, so I can, I can help spawn the center thing. There's a shrine right here next to the center thing, too. What is this shrine? Retrying. Now what are you guys doing over there? It says you guys are doing something over there. There's a special wavy thing. Yeah, Light. I just did an event. I'm just killing stuff. I love that you can use the frozen orbs very defensively now because you can just spawn them on yourself. So you can just cast them directly on yourself and just have like, like, 30 explosions just coming out of your butthole. It's my favorite. It's the best kind of defense. It's the butthole defense. Taco hell. I'm not ready yet. Oh wow! Somebody just got a whole bunch of stuff spawned on top of them. Yep. Holy god! There's so many monsters. I can't even move. I hit the max threat. I'm hoping I don't. Well, we're just in like a really tight corridor, and they're just spawning directly on top of us in the tight corridor. It's a little rough. That's how we want it. You want it rough? You want it rough and dirty? Two six six slow slow skin. He's got the slow skin. Wow, I just got insta clapped. Let's see if I can get you up. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. The lightning things hurt. I cannot. Well, I'll focus with a greater FX, Phil. So how do you do this? One, two. All right, I put in my two. Coming. Looks like there's a blood orb in the a blood egg in the center of the field over here. Why is there a blood egg? Just be trash mopped for a minute or so and then the boss will spawn. All these hell tides are a hell of a lot more fun than the old hell tides. And Bob died like three times. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Bob. I'm I'm okay, dying. You're probably going to die on this boss. <laughs> I'm probably going to die on the boss. Oh, she's dying fast, though. I'm trying to make sure I get them frozen orbs in there. I'm shoving them right up her anus hole. I don't know if she likes it, but... Ow. I'm going ahead. What was that? That hurt. She puts up a big giant fire circle under my feet, and I didn't have any time to get away from it. She turned into a fire like buzz. That wow, the center was this amazing.
All the fire, so much fire. Oh god. There's so many little fire puddles over there. I don't want to go over there. It's scary. It's got a ring. I got another exquisite blood. I need to go destroy some of this stuff in town real quick. I'll be right back. Same. I'm going to see if I can get some of these aspects tiered up. Hmm. Ravenous. My gear sucks. I'm not even going to look at anything right now. There's uh, there's so much. I'm going to go back and fill my inventory again. I've basically just been destroying everything for the aspects. So, Just trying to get all the aspects as high as I can. Yeah, apparently whenever you use a character boost, it resets all your codex. Yep, we went through that earlier. So I've filled up all my inventory with multiple characters worth of equipment, and then I just, I destroyed it all at the same time, and didn't do any more boosts. That way I could start out with some decent ones. It's interesting because if the threat level is separate and you have like a group of people all together, you can have yes. the threat levels overlap and it's, it's pretty nice. Insane. It's pretty nice. There's a guy over yep. here who has his threat level. It's obviously been activated. He's got <laughs> monsters just spawning on him like left and right. Well, giant. He's not even in our group. You just run by and see somebody getting assaulted by a bunch of monsters and you just jump in. Item that with three upgrade stats. The hell is this? You know like when you have a, um, a quest active and you can actually see the monsters on the map like during the activation of the quest and then as soon as the quest goes you can't see the monsters on the map anymore? I kind of wish you could just see the monsters on the map all the time. Holy Jesus, I'm about to die over here. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Holy, what is that? Freaking explody boy over here just humping my leg. You know, I've never really wanted to use that unstoppable thing that lets you run through monsters, like when you're in danger, but I, I, in the hell tides, I'm so surrounded by monsters, sometimes I really do need to get the hell out of the pack, and I can't get out of the pack because I'm surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> like, just let me out. See, there's a bunch of do janks for me up there. Oh, some more exquisite bloods. So I'm telling you, you can get a lot of exquisite bloods just right on the hell tides. I've already gotten um, five exquisite bloods now. I'm about yeah. to cap on my threat meter. Me, me too. too. Me too. Yeah. We're about oh, to get. This we're about to get like this is triple. Be insane. Outside just became so fun. Way better than before. The party is insane. I'm not ready yet. All right, I am almost capped on my threat level. I'm not ready yet. It's like right up yep, there. We go. I just capped on mine. Now we're just gonna have even more monsters spawning. Hey, look, more with the bloods.
Good lord, what is even going on right now? It's just insanity. I think there's even more people here besides us four. I think there's some more I... in here that are also having... Yeah, there's a guy named Barack in here. I think his threat level also peaked, because this is this is crazy. Look at all the little freaking stars all over the screen. Mine's gonna peak soon, too. There's a unique over here. I gotta go grab it. Chago the Hellborn? Oh, okay. Made me run away. Oh, we're in a wave of dark food. There was an event in here, too? <laughs> yeah, mine went off now, too. Bro, this is actually insane. I got another unique. I like this. This is fun. Yeah, this feels like Blood Harvest is back and even better. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, is, drop this is Blood Harvest. Right. Wind Strike. Ooh, I got the double swing item. I gotta try it out. Yeah, hey, double swing looks looks legit this season. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I just got the dude you need. Now we need a filter to hide anything that doesn't have any upgraded stats. Yeah, the, the like they've been asking for maybe a recolor of them. They have, they have like the little Roman numeral. Well, it's kind of hard to see. Well, and that's just, that's just straight up the way that Last Epoch does it. All right, where is the gold chest thing? Yeah, I need to go get one too. I got 440 Dujinx at the moment. Let's see. They're supposed to be on the map now, so there's a Living Steel down there. Let's go over down. here. We'll go down there. How's the new crafting? Honestly, it's time consuming and a little boring. But, I mean, I guess you can get items that are what you're looking for. <coughs> uh, there's that. Some of the aspects and things that you put on the items are also the same as the ones that you put on all the other items, and it seems a little weird. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, especially with the defensive equipment. Like, for one of the affixes, you can only put on something like Freeze's Duration, or like Stun Duration, or... It's like, it's kind of like a really stupid affixes that nobody wants anyway, and you have to put it on every single item, because that's the only option you have. Yeah, you have to find the other options, like other scrolls. Yep. There's, there's scrolls I don't even have that, like, help with my build. Yeah, I mean, if that's the case, if there's a whole bunch more scrolls, then, then that's different, but... Yeah, I want to drop in uh, one of the rifts. I had one drop off the world boss that was like an hour ago. Let's blast it back up. She doesn't stagger very easy. I noticed that. I was trying to stagger her. And honestly, we got two freezy characters here, and she's just. Her stagger bar is not going up at all. Yeah, she's pretty challenging for 103. Well, I like that hearts and black and femurs. And... I'm not ready yet. I've almost got enough to open up another chest. Yep, me too. <sighs> Are you using the aspect, um, mob that gives you all the damage reduction when you have your Conjurations active? I don't have Conjurations. Oh. I thought you were doing the Frozen Orb build. I'm building Frozen Orb. I don't want to do the, the summon. Everybody's going to do that one. I'm going to see what that looks like. Oh. If I want to make a push to like high, super high tier, I'll I'll put it together. But I don't I don't care for it right now. I'm just seeing what I can do, just playing regular Frozen. Well, it's pretty good. I did a I did a whole build last season with uh, Blizzard and Frozen Orb, and it actually was able to clear tier 100 content. 
Well, they took the damage reduction off the gear, but they didn't take it out of my Paragon ports. They took yeah, it out of some. Yeah, you get your damage from your gear and your defense from your Paragon. They or took it out of some places. The Sorceress actually went up in damage reduction. They gave her a new aspect, didn't they? It's yeah. Like a crazy yeah, it's, it's nuts. That's what I was saying with the Conjurations. There's an aspect for the Conjurations where you get a... Um, Ah, what is it? It's uh, Conjuration skills grant you 25% damage reduction for 5 seconds. So every time you cast a Conjuration, you get a 25% DR. I mean, you're not, using, you're not using any Conjurations, Bob? Nope. I'm not, no. My Lugman guy spawning here. Black and Femur. Well, it's just usually a lot of people at least run like Ice Blades for the cooldown resets. Obviously, you gotta remember, I haven't played this game since pretty much sub season one. I just got a two chest armor. It rolled two greater affixes, and both greater affixes that it rolled are um, things that I don't want, like life per second and thorns. Interesting. So I can't remember, is there a three? Is it just two or is it three for the greater affixes? Does it go up to three? You can have like all of the affixes roll greater? Yeah, I got a three I one. Think, yes, I think he goes one to three. God, what is wrong with like there's, my character keeps getting stuck in these areas where I have to like run around in a circle. Do you guys have to run around in a circle right here? Can you can you go to the yeah. center of this, or is this I'm like, that issue. Yes. or is this like completely bugged, where like it's just like a un unreachable circle of doom? It's like a cliff that yep. you can't like walk off of because it doesn't even look like a cliff, but it's like a cliff. I think you can probably teleport or like leap or something, maybe. Well, can one of you guys leap into it? <laughs> I'm just curious because I've, I've, I've been getting it a lot. Like it's not just right here. I've been getting it all over the map. Like I'm where I he keep getting well. stuck and I can't move, and then all of a sudden my character starts running in a circle, and I'm like, why is my character running in a circle? Yeah, it's just I invisible terrain. You can't get into it. I'm having the same issue. I should probably open a couple more chests. Huh? Wait, is How there another you... gold one on the map? Um, there should be. They're they're in multiple regions, so there's probably another one down south. Yeah, there I should be two living stale and two mystery. What like? Yeah, one... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and ride down south and see if I can find it. Once we get close, it should show up on the map. I already pinned it. Yeah, I have 650 to spend. Where you pin? Where'd you pin? I'm not ready yet. I don't see the, it. The, I, the I've already chest? I've already opened them both up up north. Oh, I haven't opened that one. So that's why I'm going down south to see which ones are down there. I keep getting stuck on this weird terrain issue. I'm assuming I have to make it into the next... Um, what is it? 275? Yeah, 275 for the, uh, for the living steel. Still not south enough. Okay, there we go. There's a mysteries. Oh, there's the living steel down there. Let's go grab the living steel. If any of you guys wants to teleport on me, I'm heading toward the living steel right now. Yeah. The, the one down south, anyway. We might be able to even spawn in Andariel. Yeah, that would be fun. We can, we need Zir and we need um, we need to do nightmare fair. dungeons. We gotta do nightmare dungeons for the distilled tears. I, I have enough to still fair to already spawn him just by doing this. Like that goblin I killed just dropped me too. I probably I have a couple distilled fears as well. We can throw them all together. Yeah, I got a few. 
makes my the testing inventory faster. Is full. <laughs> We're playing in a party in Hellside, my inventory is just instantly full. <laughs> Alright, I'm at the uh, Living Steel chest. Alright, I'm trying to teleport, but the mobs won't stop coming. Sounds like you need to, uh, you know, do something about that. It's not wrong. It just don't stop. It's, it's, it's almost It's the age old problem. Much. You try to leave and the game doesn't let it's you leave. All Pretty sure it probably gets pretty good. I can't even open the chest. Like, there's so many monsters at the chest, I can't even open it. Like, I just want to open the chest, broskies. Like, back off, bro chachos. Oh, I got the Oculus. Oh, nice. There's a whole new build with the Oculus. You gotta try that out. Game they basically. Of the teleport enchantment for free? So they basically gave this new thing with teleport what was it like 500 percent increased damage or something <coughs> it was in the patch notes and i when i read it i was like holy crap that's it totally one weapon and it's one oh, that's so good all right let me let me read this to you bob because you might have to try this out now that you've got yourself an oculus well i'm putting it on already i'm just well, i'm just going to read you the line here I'll read you I'll read you the line so it was in the patch notes um for the ptr i can they, just go uh, it's, it's kind of vague, but it was down here somewhere. Teleport deals 500% increased damage. It also forms a crackling energy for yes. each enemy it hits. That's what I was talking about. And Does so, the teleport still have the pull? Yeah, well, yeah, if you have the uh, the armor on, you need the armor, the the one you that makes them fall in. The armor still exists in this yes. game? They, yes. It's still a thing? So basically what you... Why you're, is that armor still in this so game? So what that you would do is, is you basically just change it so that you just build crackling energies and kind of build it around crackling energies so that you basically form crackling energies as you teleport, collect the crackling energies as you teleport, use the oculus which teleports you around randomly, and then like you basically build around that and just spam teleports. It sounds like you could set up a crackling energy like stun, use the convulsions thing so you stun a lot as you're teleporting around, so grab I the... Don't... um. You grab the. You need the armor so you can pull them all in every single time you're teleporting. I can give you one, I think. Yeah, let me get it. I got to say, And then you're just going to be teleporting around like a madman. I thought you couldn't trade uniques. Does. You can now. Just the Uber uniques. Does. This is just a question. Does the frozen orb enchantment work when you teleport? Yeah. Because then you could just be spamming teleport and firing off frozen orbs at the same time. I'm gonna be frozen orb no matter what. Well, what I'm I mean not, is, what I mean is, is, what I mean is, is you're still frozen orb. So like you no, literally no, just don't. hold down the teleport button, and you would literally just be spamming frozen orbs as you were holding down the teleport button. It, it would be insane. What's my teleport cooldown right? Now? Six point seven nine seconds. That's pretty low. Oh yeah, it, it adds a huge number of skills and adds a whole bunch of stuff to make the teleport into essentially eminently spammable. So what can I do to this? You could also get some more plus to skills for teleport too, can't you? Tempering? I can't temper the Oculus. You can't I think you can upgrade it though. You can't can you master mas work. You can't add okay. anything to it in unique, but you can you can upgrade it through master work. Tempering is like so adding sets. Alright, so I'm missing an aspect right now, so I can put that aspect on this. See, there's a uh, different recipe that's... Uh, well, I'm gonna upgrade this. 925 power. I need it rolled up. Greater affix, 47.3% increased damage. Oh, nice. All right, so this uh, is almost over. Yeah, I got some upgrades I'm crafting on. Well, anyone still need this mystery chest? I don't have enough to open up another true mystery. I was gonna see if I could find something else though. I'm not ready yet. Oh man, this thing gives plus eight to double. Yeah, you basically turn into a Diablo 2 Oculus Sorcerer, teleporting all around the screen with complete randomness. 
Um, I believe, um, so since you haven't played in a while, you might not have played around with the metamorphosis power. If you have the metamorphosis power, from what I understand, the metamorphosis makes the teleports into a little bit more of a controllable form. So you basically put the metamorphosis power on with the oculus, and it turns the oculus into less random and more, like, cohesive. I don't know. Um, it basically was a power that was introduced during the Vampiric campaign. It basically allowed you to turn into a bat when you evaded instead of just simply, um, like, evading normally. And it also made you unstoppable while you were tele while you were evading. So basically what it'll do is, is it'll turn your teleport into a teleport with a, like, an unstoppable attached to it. Which could work really well with that particular item. I heard good things about that item combined with uh, that aspect. I never played with it, but... Got 32 seconds. So. Right, I'm losing a frozen orb proc up from my weapon too because my offhanding roll. I don't have it off. Yeah. Wow. All right. I need time. Man, just clicking on a chest is ridiculously hard. It's it's actually insane how difficult it is just to click on a chest. Hellside's over. Alright. Ready to go booty slap some monsters and get some unique items? Uh, I gotta change. I just crashed. Can you see that? Or do I have to trade it? As long as you haven't upgraded or anything, it should be tradable. I can see it. Mm, sitting right on the ground. this beautiful thing this thing is the greatest thing ever oh I got uh, flicker steps too Come, I don't even know what those are why doesn't it just let me click I don't evade through anybody yeah I'm not sure what Bell uses those uh I don't know. You're talking oh, about the randomness of the how the Oculus works? Because it no, is. No, he was talking about the flicker. Oh. Um, flicker steps. I think your doesn't your teleport count as an evade at that point? So when you teleport around yeah, as you, you as you teleport through monsters, it does. I think it does count. But it, it specifically says when you evade through monsters. Well, yeah, but your teleport... If it changes from an evade to a teleport, then I'm not going through them with an evade, right? I don't know. You can test it. That should be really obvious. Just trigger your ultimate and then, then use it and see if it forces your ultimate cooldown to go down. And you can spam your ultimate. It'd be interesting to set it up with unstable currents and then you could just have permanently uptime unstable currents if that worked. Because you could just, every time you teleport, you'd be reducing the cooldown of unstable currents, and you would just get tons and tons and tons of spams of that. Be interesting. Shooting out frozen orbs and lightning bolts and all sorts of other crazy chain lightnings and charged bolts and everything else in the world. I wonder if I can link to you from the codex. Um, I don't even know if that's a thing. But go to the codex and... Is it still called Metamorphosis? It is. Can I... I can't link from the codex. 
This is this is the one that I was talking about that you could use with the teleport to refine it into a more a more useful thing. I'll put it in the ladder chat. I just start switching over to this stupid build. Honestly, I think they're compatible. I think if you run the frozen orb enchantment, you're still frozen orb, and then you're still spamming frozen orbs the entire time. It just gives you a free and easy way to spam frozen orbs and also to like pull all the enemies in. Because with the raiment, you're pulling all the enemies in. With the Oculus, you're teleporting around. With the Metamorphosis, you get the permanent unstoppable. But like, I mean, that's just. That's just free movement and free unstoppable, so I mean, that's not exactly like a, a build unto itself. Um, let me see if I got better. Uh, I mean, we, we killed a lot of stuff. I should probably check and see if I've got better rolls on my equipment now. I got a 25 on that. Do I got a better serpentine now? I did do... Uh, yeah, I did. I did get a better serpent team. Nice. All right. Um, what about a better frozen orbit? Did I find a better frozen orbit? I did. Yeah, sweet. I got a 16 frozen orbit. All right. Um... I need some uniques. That's what I need. Where you at, Leon? Come on. Let's go. I got a million mats I have to do to master. What are we doing first? Because if we're going to do Lord Zare, I want to log on my druid for that. I've got 15 living steel. Um, I've got 8 bloods. I've got 2 distilled fears. I've got Let, 5 hearts, 1 hand, 2 femurs. So I've got, I've got a pretty decent amount of mats that we could combine together for... Whatever. Well, let's start with Lord Zare so we can get that uh, done. Maybe get some people the new item. Um, just... Then we'll go from there. Okay, let's go to Zare then. Zare it is. I remember where Buttface Zare is. He's right there. I will teleport to you. Damn it. Did I get the druid ring? I need time to do that. All right, so Zir is is where we can potentially get this frozen orb amulet. Apparently, it's where you get all the stuff: the druid ring. The whatever whatever piece you're looking for, it's all the new okay. uniques. According to the post from the devs. Mm -hmm. Just relaunch. Join the party. My game freezes whenever I go into the social for some reason. I press the drone. I'm interested in testing the landslide too, but I don't know. Um, Frozen orb sounds cooler. Landslide's ridiculousness. Honestly, there's a whole companion build there now because the landslide's tying together with the other, and then. Did you see that they also made shepherds work with the with the wraith skills? So, like you can use the shepherds aspect to beef up one of your wrath skills instead of one of the other skills, which means you could even do like a companion boulder druid. Like, there's tons of silly things, possibilities. 
Oh Here's Ann, you got the most materials. Yeah, I got 23 blood. Here, here's, I'm dropping 13 blood over here. And then we just need one more. That's the new totals. So we got plenty to do tons of stuff. Get get a bunch of uniques so we can get these builds working. I don't need no uniques. Your mama's a unique. Did hell tide without doing any paragon last night. I was doing about the same as other people with builds. I mean, I could set up, like, some of my older builds. Oh, like, I just wanted to try out the new ones. My Boat right. Spirit Necromancer from last season was insane. It'd be fun to set him up. Oh, so... What is that area? It's barren. Earthbreaker, Wild Heart Hunger. I posted my uh, Paragon boards, if you want, in the D4 chat. It uses seven glyphs. Okay, these pants are actually kind of crazy. Oh wait, Earthbreaker comes from Galvanic. Okay, so I want to be here on my bar. Well, right. your barb then. I'll it's switch the opposite. To my, I'll switch to my druid for the uh, for when we do Grigore then, so I can get the landslide item. Yeah, I don't know what the wild heart is from here. I can look that up. Wild heart hunger. It's the boots. When you shapeshift from werewolf for werewolf, you gain wild heart. Wild heart grants you 1.5% increased damage every whatever second, second, 20 times. So it's basically like a shapeshifting damage boot setup. Okay. I don't really care about testing that. All right, Hannibal Lecter. You got the Hannibal Lecter helmet on your barbarian. Yeah. Can't be a samurai, so. So we just need a Kratos in here. That's right, the Kratos. The Kratos. Yeah, I know, I'm almost done. Before, Ice Shards really struggled versus bosses, but I think they really scaled them back, eh? What, the bosses? Yeah, because even in GR, like, the GR hundreds, I'm killing the bosses, and before, it used to be pretty slow. Well, we're, we're doing way more damage. You gotta understand, the gear we're getting, and these items, and the power of these affixes, like, I have over 700 more strength on my bar right now than I do on Season 3. Um, we're we're doing way more damage because the pits go up to monster level 200 or something or even higher. Like so, like our characters are starting to be built for the pits. Like this gear is for the pits, not for all this content. Now there's uber versions or tormented they call them. So there's like a level 200 version of this boss we're about to kill. Yeah, I mean we could spawn one, but we'd get our booty cheeks slapped into the dirt. We ain't ready for that. Not a level 200 I boss. I don't think so. Don't get hit. Just don't get hit? Okay. That's what the dodge is for. What if I get one shot? I have like 30 some dodge in my build now. Is um Is there is there a maximum distance on these frozen orbs? Like 
Somebody go over there, like outside of the camera. Are they are they actually continuing? <laughs> like, what if I go right here and then like run away? Like, how far yeah, are they right, going? Because right to the edge. They go off the camera on mine. Okay, well that one just kind of. Well, like... yeah, that that just stops wherever you had your mouse. But like, if you aim it over here and you run away, it goes where you originally clicked. To the moon, Lois, to the moon! Bing, bang, boom, zoom. I didn't even master a lot of my items. Is Bobby coming? Waiting on want... Bob. I need one more blood if we want to try the level 200 one. I think we just want to get the amulets first because I don't want to use all the materials to summon him once. Oh, I think the level 200 ones are you want to fight them mainly for uber uniques because they drop like the shards. I don't know if they have a different loot table. I think they just drop more loot. They drop more loot and they drop the shards. I want to see how high in uh, the Greater Rifts I can actually get. Like right now at 40, I'm still like if I get hit pretty bad, I am almost one shot, but I'm like still melting everything. Yeah, I was having that problem with the first setup I did. I was I had more damage before, but I was taking like 80% of my life pull every pack, and I was just like, this is not good. <laughs> so I went fully defensive now. I just have like every damage reduction I could stack. Well, Sark's damage reduction is mostly cooldowns, but like my Paragon boards, I have like reduction versus vulnerable, burning, chilled. I think Sark's a crazy new aspect. That has the damage I don't know. There's some, there's some pretty good damage reductions. Like there's this one, okay. which is 25% whenever you cast a Conjuration, which is basically permanently up if you have like a spammable Conjuration. Just kind of depends on what you're doing. But like Hydras, for instance, you can cast them whenever you want to, so you basically just have damage reduction whenever you want to. Then there's the other one, which is whenever you're in a blizzard, and for a certain number of seconds after you leave the blizzard, you get like a, a huge damage reduction too. That one's actually really easy to use. Yeah, normally I'd, my normal build I used to run was blizzard, but I switched to the deep freeze for cooldown resets now. I would just use the enchantment. I would use the blizzard enchantment so it was just on me. And then that way I would always have the damage reduction. Yeah, I just have the deep freeze because it gives me immunity frames. And if I just want code or status, I can just double tap it. I don't even know why I'm using deep freeze, to be honest. Do we go for Corey instead since Bob's not here? And I think he wants his boss. So I don't want to do it without him. Well, we don't want to run back in here again. Yeah. Bob's setting up his character. I like how you can uh, get like multiple move speed rolls now. Yes, you can. It's kind of crazy what you can do. Speaking of which, I have to roll new boots. Kind of pissed off my uh, gloves. The second tier, it rolled Frost Nova. Frost Nova size. No, I like Frost Nova. I just don't want the 25 stat boost to hit that one. Mm. Well, apparently you could redo the whole master working and try it again. Yeah, I can. Which takes a really long time. But... Well, it takes me like two minutes <coughs> to run. What's with two that minutes visual like distortion 40. there? That's crazy looking. Look at the pool of blood get get like distorted by the way that the frozen orb uh, does its attack. You see the pool of blood being distorted by the frozen orb? It like sucks in the blood and like moves it around. That's pretty cool. Well, oh. we could run Grigor if he doesn't need it. 
You just have to tell me where he is, because I have no idea. We need a suck Bob into the party button. I'm almost done. Suck Bob in. I'm gonna suck him in. Not the good kind of suck, either. Just the bad kind of suck? <laughs> the bad kind of suck. I can't remember what I can't remember what freaking meme video I was watching, but this guy went to a vacuum cleaner store and he's like walking around the vacuum cleaner store, looking at all the vacuum cleaners, and he picks one up and the guy's like, uh uh. He's like, What do you mean? He goes, Nah, -uh, that don't suck your dick off and I'm like he's I'm like, What? He's like, What do you mean? He goes, Yeah, it's too powerful, you don't want that one. <laughs> and then he's like, You want this one? And then he goes up to the register and there's a lady at the register and she goes she goes, Oh, Vacuum uh, effer, huh? You're a vacuum effer. And he's like, what are you talking about? I just want a vacuum for my room. <laughs> he's like, oh, she's like, oh, I know why people buy this specific one. They want the good suck, not the bad suck. It's a freaking really weird video. They would think it was, um, I don't know it was one of the YouTubers. I can't remember which one it was. It was hilarious, though. The suck and blow. Gotta have the suck and blow. I wonder if I can set up my um, my bone spirit necromancer with the uh, with like the minions. Now that they've got the minions all beefed up, could be fun. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Tetra. Thanks for the subscription, LOL. So with Ice Blades, it reduces its own cooldown by 0.5 seconds, and then 20% of that cooldown reduction is applied to my other skills. And then with the enchantment, I have a 30, every 33 seconds of cooldowns I spend, it spawns another Ice Blade, which means I can have like three or four Ice Blades up at the same time. So I got... Basically, it's like a, it's like a feeding a cooldown reduction to all the other skills. Yeah, when they nerfed it, I think the hard cap is like six spawned at once or something now. It used to be unlimited. Like, you could just mass some of them. And... What is... Is T-Bolt's will a unique? Pants, yeah, it's pants. Okay. Unique pants. You get those from Durial. Durial pants, yeah. But that's, they nerfed those a lot, didn't they? That's why we're trying to do these. Like, you might want to hold off on getting everything set All up. Right, cause... let's go. Because we're gonna get a whole bunch of uniques from doing this, and you might want to include some of those uniques into your build. So we're gonna run all these. We're gonna get a bunch of uniques from this, and then then we can like figure out what to do from there. Yeah, we got like ten bosses to run at least. Yeah, so we'll have we'll be flooded with uniques by the crashed. end of this. Did I see your message about the horse? What about the horse? How do you make a level one have a horse on PTR? Um, do you want to be level one? There's a there's a guy in the PTR right there next yeah, to the waypoint that you just talk to, and he makes you level one hundred so you can test out the builds. Oh. 
Oh, you're a speedrunner and you want to test leveling. Well, then you need to do the, um, you need to skip the campaign. Skipping the campaign should give you a horse. He probably has to level one character to that waypoint, boost one character, and then the second character he can actually just level with them yeah. out. Yeah, anyway. so if you, if you want to do, like, from that point where you skip the campaign, which is where most people start, is skipping the campaign. Unless you're trying to speedrun the campaign. In which case, if you're trying to speedrun the campaign, you don't get a horse until, what, like, uh, chapter three or something? It's like end of act three or something. Well, will he get all the Sorry, altars? guys, I had to reload. My game crashed. Like, if he boosts a character, I think it gives all the altars, though. Yeah, but so, if you but if you skip the campaign, Tetra, you get a horse immediately. You just gotta... You gotta make one character, though, first, that, and then go to the main town, and then leave, and then make another character, and then the skip campaign button will be activated. And then I had a horse. As soon as I as soon as I clicked on the one level one hundred guy, and then made the next character, I had a horse. I've got a, I've had a horse since the beginning. Well, you have to talk to the guy to unlock the horse, also. Well, yeah. Talk to him. Play with the him. Stable guy. Ball hairs. Just kidding. Dollars. His male hairs. Bull blurs. A blur blurs. Look at my horse, it's so amazing. Don't you want to lick it? It tastes like raisins. You look like you got a crab trying to, like, attack your head, Leon. Oh. Why do you got a crab trying Should to eat your head? Should that invite, Ginger? Um, so I'm sitting there waiting. I don't see y'all. No, there you go. All right. Why did it get so dark in here? What the hell? The sun went down? The sun goes down. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Yeah, the shadows just appeared. Right, I'm done. We're gonna get to the teleporters. Are you guys all in the same place? Yeah, we're waiting here in, in Zeers to kill the big bow. My bad, my bad. The man. We fired. started doing stuff and you guys were like, yo, I got these uniques and I was like, cool story, I kinda wanna do this. <laughs> Bob fried his brain doing five thousand trav runs on in season six. Uh, Here we go. That's uh, a little low. It's a little low, six thousand? Yeah, about there. I don't know how this is going to go, by the way, guys. Oh, we're going to wreck him. He's only level 80. That's why they added the higher level versions. Oh, he ain't dropped me one unique. He's a little turd face. That's what he is. Oh, we got a perfect overkill. Oh, never mind. He dropped me Ice Hard Prize. Okay. Hey, I can, I can freeze everything Mary. now. Do we just leave now? Fight him again? Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave. and we go. have to leave, yeah. Yeah, we got to leave. They don't... It doesn't pop back up. I'm gonna reset it. Oh, did you see that they added this to just normal amulets uh, now, Junior? I was confused. Did they what? 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 I've been party. Hit the button. Check out the stat they added. Our favorite stat is just on an amulet now. We don't even have to farm the Uber unique to just get the, oh, the max. Tuesday? The max resource. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that they just turned it into max resource, which is what they should have done to begin with. Did it ever reset? No. No, it failed. Yeah, okay. It you could get... Uh, hit the button. You could temper more resource, too. Well, now that uh, freaking there's tons of basic build things, I was actually really have, looking at that I firewall. At the end. I was looking at that firewall firebolt basic build. Did you guys see that? Basically, where like apparently they made it so that there's an aspect now that when you fire your fire bolt through your firewall, it splits into multiple fire bolts. So basically, you would run firewall and fire bolt together in a combination, and then you would set up for like basic damage, so your fire bolt would hit really hard. 
Uh, I'm not really sure. Is Firebolt more of a burn ability, or is it more of a direct damage ability? Or is it both? I'm I remember sure. it has a burn attached to it, but I don't remember if it yeah. was very good. No, it's just a straight nuke that can burn. There's an offensive... So not, Sorry, not, not Fireball. It was Firebolt, I believe, is the thing that was changed. Oh yeah, Firebolt's about half, half. Fire bolt. Where's fire wall? Yeah, so casting fire bolt through your firewall causes it to split to four bolts, each dealing 80 to 100% more damage. Flame Weaver unique gloves. I got a chest armor. Raiment of the Infinite. Oh, I got a raiment. I'm not even using teleport. I also got one of these. That's interesting. This one's very good. 20% Frost Nova cooldown reduction. Um, I already have this. Does anybody else need this? I got two of them. There's not sure. a... I'm not sure if you guys can even see that. I can't see anything that you like to party. Hmm. Drop and the conjuration. I, I can see. Yeah, I can see the book. Yeah, the conjuration e efficiency book. It says do, it's a count pile, though. Do we have enough for one more, or is it? We go into the next one. Uh, I got two more, I think. All right, reset again. But yeah, there's definitely a new basic builds, Ginger. I, there's a bash uh, weapon temper that you can do that makes it cleave. Hmm. Like the bash turns into a cleave. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Yeah. I'm one blood short of uh, three. Did that succeed or fail? I don't even remember. Uh, it failed, I think. It didn't I, send a message, though. I gave you all my blood, so... All yeah. your blood. That's right. You better give me all your blood. The whole game is frozen? Up. The map is reset, so yeah. I think it, got, I think it was successful. Game about to crash? This public test realm eats memory, by the way. I've had a couple problems with it. Literally just like memory leaking to to the point where the game crashes and literally tells you that it's out of memory. Yeah, my game is running awful compared to normal Diablo 4, and I just crashed a lot. But I guess that's what you expect. Hopefully they get some of these bugs figured out. So Leon and you crashed? I'm completely uh, relaunching here, logging in. Okay, I'm gonna boot you from the party. Oh, never mind. You just you just left the party. Is there a frozen orb hydra build in this game? Yeah, basically they set up a new unique item, which is kind of based around that, like the conjurations and the frozen orb, kind of combined. You got three sorks here. If one of you gets it. Then that's all it takes. You can trade it. Yeah, we can test. Testy, 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 testy. I got a temerity and a raiment so far. This thing is a count bound? Oh, it is a count bound. It does say auto already learned, too. So what the hell do I do with it once I've already learned it? Like, what's the it's point? Useless of, then. What's the point of holding on to it? Oh, it's a cannot be sold. It says it's account bound. It says I've already used it. It says cannot salvage. So it's just completely useless then? Well, you can use it still, I think. No, I tried to right click on it, it doesn't work. You already um, learned it, so you don't like yeah, there's no reason that... Well, I had to do before and it let me use it and it disappeared. It wouldn't it won't let me right click on it. It says it says I can't do it. We're all here. I got boots this time. What's that? Asus. Asus, I think. I don't know. Penitence. Tim Greaves. 
Honestly, I might as well put them on. I can get my uh, get my little chill multiplier. Are rune words in? No, they haven't added rune words yet. Obviously, you can't chill bosses unless they're staggered. And trash mobs are so weak. Well, chill is directly inferior to freeze as well when it comes to staggering bosses. We, we tested that. That was a whole thing. Basically, yeah, your chill is like nothing, and freeze actually counts as like huge numbers. So, But the thing is, is that chill doesn't stack to freeze on bosses, so... It's it's worthless. So you, you really want things that directly freeze as opposed to things that build to a freeze when you're trying to stagger a boss. Yeah, they, they had to nerf the chill versus bosses on the stagger because people abused it like crazy on closed beta. Like you just spam blizzard and deep freeze and the boss would be staggered in seconds. I mean, there's ways that you can work in like direct freezes. Oh, Party yeah. of him. The druid, was it the boulders circle around you? That build staggers bosses in seconds. That build's insane for staggering. Yeah, yeah, I got penance and greaves. Look at me. I make a free floor of freezy. You're gonna slip and fall, Leon. You better watch out. No. You know, pe pe people always talk about Iceman and how his powers are really cool and he can slide around and he can make like ice bridges and stuff. But you know, his, the, the real evil of his power would literally just be making the floor ice and having people slip and slide all over the place. Uh, does someone have one more blood on them? Maybe Bob? You got some bloods? Uh, maybe. Oh, got the pants maybe? Yes, I got the new pants. I got a nice heart, Bryce. I already have a nice heart, Bryce. Does anybody want a nice heart, Bryce, for their Frost Nova build? Uh, I actually just got one too. Won't be using that though. So I think what it's. Do we need? I think it's fun to freeze things. Uh, if you have uh, exquisite blood, I just need one. Can I reset the dungeon from inside? Fourteen inside? of. Well, nice. Then we can get at least one more. Okay, if you want to drop them. Ugh. So if we want to do Andariel, we've got to do what? Um, beast and Ice beast in and this. the Ice. So we got to go well, to Beast. Xan should be getting all the mats because he's summoning. Yeah. Are you getting Andariel mats soon? Uh, yep. I got, like, however many shackled something, three of them. Interesting. Shackled wieners. Party of about to pay. <laughs> so we have uh, two zeros left here. Good. Hopefully we get an amulet. Hopefully I get an amulet. <laughs> steal the amulet from you guys. Well, which one are you looking for? The the the, the one for the frozen orb, yeah. I want to try out the frozen orb build. I want to see how ridiculous it is. I actually really like frozen orb on Diablo 4. It's pretty cool. I like the uh, double casts and like the way that it kind of. I don't really know how to explain it. Like it just it's kind of fun, especially the changes they made to where you can like more pinpoint accurately like determine where it goes. I really like that. Yeah, that was a, a really good change for it. It was a little awkward to use before. You had to kind of like position your character like at the right spot to use it in the right location. It was a little rough. Mm -hmm. I think we're all here. We's all here. And then we do the one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a <coughs> two and a three. <coughs> B 
boots. Poopies. What do I get this time? Another pair of penitents. I got another one more. of the infinite. These bloods are real easy to farm. Yeah, especially with the, them dropping from the hell tides. You pretty much just farm the hell tides now for the Gregory mats, and then you get the bloods also at the same time. So, have I got my amulet? No, law dog. This is a beautiful ring. We should have took our chance with the, the level two hundred one. One try. <laughs> We'll have to we'll have to give one of them a try. Honestly, I think the best one to try, the one that's the least random and the least likely to just kill us outright, if we're you know like even if we're playing correctly, is probably um, uh, not Gregor Varshan. Varshan has the most static mechanics that are easily avoidable. Like if you're smart and you actually do what you're supposed to do, unless they added new mechanics. But if the mechanics are the same, Varshan's fight is definitely the most. Um, like, if you're paying attention and you're doing the mechanics, you're fine. Like, I've gone in there on, like, level freaking 20s in, like, tier 4, and I've survived just by simply dodging the mechanics in the at the right times. So I, I think he's probably the one that is going to be the easiest at level 200. Well, did they say they added new mechanics? I thought I heard something. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, no, going over what we know about them so far, he's the easiest to dodge the mechanics on. Most of these guys, like Zeer, has a bunch of random, like, floaty mechanics that float around the battlefield. They're a little hard to dodge. I don't even know if you can dodge Grigore's mechanics. Like, some of his stuff is just undodgeable. So you kind of just have to have to be able to tank it. Got the chest armor again. Another another raiment of the infinite. Same. This one's this one's a three second. You want a three second raiment? Yeah. Anyone is going to test Barb have an extra pair of pants now? For the. They're about the four. They're for the new ancients, like empowered ancients. Okay, so uh, the next one I have most of is Living Steel. We can do seven Gregor if we want them. So Grigor is the uh, the land. Yeah, that's slide. my druid. My druid's oh. coming online for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna switch over to the druid for that. I have no idea where he is though. Yeah, it's easy. He's on the map. If you go to Ked Bardu, he's south of it, like south uh, east. Put the Halst. Yep. The halls of the penitent, the penitent man. Yeah, let me go swap over. I haven't set my druid up at all, though, so he's not actually ready for this fight. You guys will carry me through. <laughs> I'm going to stand there and look pretty while I get my gear set up. Oops, I just saw something I probably didn't want to set up. I'm just going to hang on to the uniques mostly at this point. Hey, they did one thing. They, uh, they stopped us from, you know, like, having to... Um, that's the term. Like, have fill our stash with rare items. Your stash is going to be mostly empty now. Put some legendaries in there. Like, but, but for the most part, you're going to destroy most legendaries because the aspects go into the storage. So, yep. you don't. Need, you're not even going to need those five slots anymore. Those five stash tabs. Jeremy Jar doesn't even get full anymore when you do like uh, pets. Yeah, like, at most one to two items that are legendary. So let's Wait, grab the druid in. Wasn't there a setting to hide items under a certain rarity or something? No, there's no loot filter in this game. No, there's no loot filter. They're doing everything in their power to not have to make one. I basically. We don't want to. Hmm. Making oh, use yeah. of rare items. <laughs> Yeah, it was notification sounds that you can turn off for low quality. Yeah, there's like accessibility sounds you can do. But every item is going to be 925 that drops. Well, I just don't want to see rare items at all. Well, th that's the point. Like, if the rare items are useless, people are saying stop dropping the rares, just give us the materials directly. 
Like, why drop rares to fill up our stat or inventory to go to town and just salvage it when you just give us the materials? So they're either going to say, oh, we have a plan for rares, or here's the materials for now. I think that's what's about to happen. What the hell was my build? I don't even remember. It's been so long. I'm just going to shove some points in and hope it works. I don't think I was using Petrify, actually, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it was Nature's Fury, and then it was a bunch of other crazy stuff, and I was, like, spamming Dujanks left and right. You'd have to go back to one of your odds. Yeah. I'm just going to hop in with you guys, and I just wanted to put some points in so I could actually be useful. Okay, so I think we have enough bats to do a uh, level 200 and still have two regulars, if we want to try it. I'm not on my bar, so depends how strong you think your character. This character I just logged on is not strong at all. I'll tell yeah, you this, this one. Not this a... one either. I Ice shards is not a boss killer. Well, let's just. How many do you need for the 200? Because my barb has mats too. How many? Why are we even gonna 35. Drive we all run okay, here. my barb has 26. The waste of mats. Yeah, I feel like we we can try again later with like our characters that are perfectly set up, and we'll see if we can kill oh, wait. it. No, no, sorry, I have thirty five. You only need twenty five. Okay, I have enough on my bar to do the two hundred, so we can do that some other time. Okay. And then I think it was something like I don't even know what the hell I'm doing anymore. I'd have to go back and look at one of my old characters and like play around with some of those. Do I even access to all the boons? I do have access to all the boons. Nice. Okay. Isn't this a low level boss too? I don't know. I don't know. I'm teleporting to you now. Yes, he's he's one of the lower ones. Him and Varshan are 75. They're even lower than the last boss we fought. Here we go. I, do not have enough spirit. I don't have anything set up properly. <laughs> oh, down I go. Where is he? Oh, he's tank here, though. Aha, carry me to victory. He has less health than other boss. I'm pretty sure it's just because like, we switch characters that are in setup. Yeah, I don't even have the Paragon point points set up. Put in. Kinda wish I could put the Paragon points in while I'm dead. That'd be nice. What do you mean you can't dodge the mechanics on this boss? Mm, it's less dodgeable Ooh, than ring. the other, that's for sure. I get a first try? No, Hunter's Zenit. That is crazy. Oh, this is uh, the one you'll want for that teleport build. What? You can get 50% more teleport AoE size. They hit everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, then you hit sick. everything, suck everything in. Like my frost snow is the entire screen with all the stack guys I have. Are you in town? I can't trade it. I walked all the way down oh, here to the blacksmith. He's not here, is he? How dare the blacksmith be at the at the actual smith station? Yeah, but at the same time. <coughs> Uh, okay, I'm not the party leader anymore, so I can't reset. Uh -huh. Where the hell is the occultist now in this city? Oh, like, I gotta okay. relearn everything all over again. This is, this is annoying.
call of the... Okay. Chamber of the Penitence. armor is making my druid look like a paladin. I'm gonna sit outside this up real quick so I can actually be useful for some of these. Flame Weaver gloves. So no unique. The Flame Weaver gloves. Those are the ones that uh, that, that what I was talking about earlier. The, uh, yeah, fireball. the fireball. Yeah, the firebolt turns into f multiple attacks through the firewall or whatever. This kind of sounded interesting. I'm in here now. You can just go ahead and kill him. Might actually be able to help this time. Again. We got it. Oh wow, I got a double upgraded flame weavers. With perfect roll. Wow. Time to try a fire build. Wow, to get the devouring blaze greater affix increase and the attack speed increase. 
I don't know if the Devouring Blaze got any bonus though, did it? Uh, yeah, it's uh, plus two, so you get 50% more. Hmm. The Devouring Blaze is awesome. Right, give me a second. I'm going to get back over. Got the ring. You and your fancy ring. It's too bad the gloves didn't roll 925, though. Greetings. Hello. get this character somewhat set up. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy the power difference not having like anything tempered or master worked. Well it's like it's not even that. It's like also just like the aspects aren't there, the glyphs aren't yeah. there, like I don't have anything set up really, so What's my um, multiplier on this one? It's crowd control for the earth skills, right? Crowd control, yes. These fire gloves are too good. Is anyone going to try the fire build? Because I'm not going to do it. There's only a few days left anyways. I mean, I might test them out. I was really hoping I'm trying to get that frost nova thing, or the frozen orb thing. Crazy we didn't get one with all the stars in the group. Like, these gloves can't even get any better. They're almost 100% perfect. Oh, they even have an elevated? Two elevated on them? They have elevated devouring blaze attack speed. What the heck? And perfect rolls on almost everything. That's crazy. You got like, them... If you could sell that, that would go for a lot for fire builds. I think you can sell it. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's just, you just yeah, have... two days left. Yeah, because as long as you don't masterwork or anything, you can sell those. Yeah, those are disgusting. Mm. Those would warrant. That's what's the trade you're gonna be since you can't trade for uber uniques. I think crazy items like that are just gonna you can trade that for like you know 20 durials or end durials, like you just trade it for a ton of runs and just be able to try to get an uber unique or something. Of course, another item that you need if you do need. I think end game trading will be that, yeah. Hey, like you could trade for boss mats now to it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that those are insane. I think everyone's inside. Yeah, I'm inside. I'm, I was just putting in points on my Paragon board. I must wait a moment. There is damage now. Hey, a ring. Is that the ring? Is that the ring? Did I get that ring? Did you get it? Did you get it? I did get the ring. Nice. Okay, there's the ring. I got it. Look at that. Beautiful. Earthbreaker. Casting landslide causes tectonic spikes to continue to deal damage over two seconds. Summoning landslide pillars and tectonic spikes has a 25% chance to cause extra landslide pillars. Too common. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw that on. Yeah, the landslide build just got even crazier, Zan. They added that ring in. Yeah, the, the the whole like poison creeper landslide, like double landslide, and then like it's I don't know, it sounds absolutely nuts, like what's gonna happen with the combination of everything going on. 
Yeah, I, I tried making it work on release so much, but they didn't give enough support to it. Like, you just could not scale it enough. Okay, let me actually get some of these freaking codex entries in here. So this character is actually set up properly. Like, the main issue with Landside is you didn't have enough resource to actually do much. Oh, I was just relying on the free landslides from Poison Creeper. Every time you but, cast but, Poison but, Creeper, you get a free landslide, and then it doubles with the um, with the aftershock, so you get two landslides per Poison Creeper. I guess we're gonna find out whether or not the uh, Earthbreaker works with the Poison Creeper landslides. I mean, even if it doesn't, it probably will still make the spikes, uh, which allows me to cast another landslide inside the spikes. I don't know. Oh, it didn't reset. Got no scattered prisms except one when I did the world boss. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I know that's stupid. Like, they don't drop randomly anymore. I think Nightmare Dungeons you can get them, but I haven't seen them anywhere else. I don't think anyone's been running Nightmare Dungeons. Nobody wants to do old stuff. I'm trying to get my, like, defenses set up here real quick. Grab me a might aspect. I don't know, just throwing things in. I'm trying not to like spend too long on this because I could spend. I, I I swear I could spend days. I don't even. And it's not even a joke. I could spend days like sitting here trying to like fix everything and get everything set up. I just don't think it's worth that kind of a time. Well, I went through like six revisions of my earth build before but i think too much has changed now it's probably not really viable without redoing it again i was surprised my frost build still works like nothing has changed about it i mean the way i would build it and i'm probably gonna test it right after we're done with this bossing is i'm gonna build it with overpower i'm gonna build it with the multiplier that ginger just talked about i i had it back in season one doing three million with overpower now, even with all the nerfs to overpower, I can easily get those landslides to probably crit for 10, 20 mil easily. Yeah, they do the damage. It's just before you didn't have the resource, but now that you can get like so many sources yeah. of resource yeah, again. Yeah. Have you seen some of the new legendary aspects? I think they gave them like a resource aspect too. No, I didn't really look at any. But like now that there's so many uh, that you can target craft with the reforging and stuff. Okay, I got the ring equipped. Let's see how it works. I'm coming. Alright, so does it work with the poison creeper? That's the question. Let's see. That's basically my backup character. I need more hmm. I didn't see any spikes coming out of the ground, like the residual spikes. You'll Damn. you'll see it. Just cast a normal landslide, you'll see like the, the pop. I'm on my way. I can't cast a normal landslide because I don't have any resource. <laughs> I put Moonrise on so I could spam Storm Strike better. Two more after this. No, I see the little spikes coming out. That's kind of cool. I got a Hunter's Zenith this time. I got a manual. Oh, that's what I already had. Well, there's different rolls on it. So has nobody seen greater affixes rolling on the rare items? Just out of curiosity. I mean, we already know they only roll with two, but has anybody seen a greater affix roll on a rare? No, if you can't even masterwork them, there's no point. Rares are completely dead right now, unless there's some kind of plan with runes and they're not telling us. They're just completely dead. There's no help for them right now. I don't know why they would do that. It's so sad. Just go from the king to the to trash within, like, one patch.
Fury per second is an interesting stat. I got a like greater affix eight fury per second. Pretty strong. You said you got one more zone? Uh, I think there's one more after this. Yeah, I got ten. Okay, okay, and then we'll summon the 200 version. I do want to get one of those in. Get a test on that. Well, this this one, it's going to be a lot of stuff to dodge. Yeah. Yeah, this one's hard. But it's fine. I wish I had a ding dong. Rama llama ding dong. I just want to drop his ding and just down. He doesn't want to drop his dang dong. His dingity dang dong. He doesn't want to drop it. to make sure I got my resistances set up right before we go and do the uh, Grigori. Okay, finally got all Wait, my paragon points. Advice, so I'm yeah, I'm in here. Yet. I'm in here. I made sure to come in here so that you guys could just start it without me. I was just trying to get my paragon board set up. Drop me an axe. Is that flash render? Nah, it's the waxing gibbous. Oh, I got more uh, good gloves, but they're mineral. Bunging strike healing. Ooh, raid leader. Gregory of Fury. So these bosses are dropping the patterns, which is good to know. The affixes that we don't have access to otherwise. Yeah, like I got another manual. Yeah, I would much rather have Frost Nova cooldown reduction than Frost Nova AOE. Chance for landslide projectiles to cast twice. Wow, okay. Yes, please. Is this your last one or your uh... last regular? Coming in. I didn't get some freaking landslide things. I don't want boulder to cast wise. I want landslide to cast wise. Hey, I got it. You guys can do it without me. I'm gonna get set up so I can actually participate in this fight. The the big one that we're gonna do. Hopefully as well I won't die. Yeah, with all the stuff to interrupt it's gonna be hard to res eh? Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna try and set up just to be tanky. As long as we can survive we should be alright. I just need lightning resistance.
Okay. I don't have any of my gear tempered or anything on this guy, so I'm trying to do that real quick. Throw in some gems to shore up the lightning resistance. Was that the last one? Uh, we're gonna try the super one. Yeah, so go get your character set up real quick. Defense is what I would assume is what we really need. I would I mean, say just uh, immunity frame abilities. Yeah, make sure you got at least max lightning res, and make sure you got... Um, I don't know about defense, but I guess you could throw juggernauts on. It certainly wouldn't hurt. I mean, it takes five times the resources, so it can only be five times as smart. I mean, it's level 200. He's going to hit like a Mack truck for um, physical damage, which is going to be a big issue. Watch this all die to the floor effects before you in spawns. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm trying to put resistances on all my equipment. I'm going to throw some gems in. Gonna have a ton of health. I know they have a ton of health, even with really good gear characters. Gonna be a long fight. I don't think it's gonna be a long fight. <laughs> it's gonna be a short fight. <laughs> it's gonna be us in the dirt with our faces down. Yeah, buddy. It's funny, you know the whole like thing with the like the rolling the item. If you go and you look at your item over on the right hand side, it tells you what you get before it ever, the animation ever completes. It's got to be one right of the, the dumbest things. You just hit the button and then go look at your item and see what it is. <laughs> oh look, poison creeper duration. I kind of like that. Uh, so do you have all the materials you need? Do you have the stones? Yeah. Yeah, I got everything I need. Everything I need is right here in my pants. In my pants, in my pants. Oh my god, it's in my pants. He's gonna drop me the ding dong after we kill him on 200 level. So, if we fail, we don't get the mass back? Um, th that's not how it worked before. Every boss you failed at, you just keep fighting them. That's why you don't want to fight them anymore. Like, if you die during Duriel, you just go back in. This is kind of crazy. Like, I literally, there's poison creeper duration on every single one of these items. And I literally just have, like, every single defensive item has poison creeper duration on it now. I currently have 18.5 on my boots, 16.5 on my pants, 16% on my armor, and 16% on my armor. So my poison creeper, what, lasts an eternity now? Let me uh, masterwork. Uh, I can't even masterwork anything because I've got the mats. Need to craft some gems. Yeah, I have to get all new gear now that I know that you can actually get Frost Nova cooldown. What's with this spirit per second modifier that they added to? It's kind of odd. They just, they, have you noticed that? There's just like a spirit per second modifier that they just added to everything. I have a fury per second one on those boots. It's like an, it's an entirely different game. Even the modifiers all changed. Yep. Like all the, the whole modifiers itemization. and everything. Like the whole thing has just changed. Yep. It's like learning all over again. Relearning. That's. I really don't know what items I even want for a resource. Because like I have resource on head. There's mana on kill. There's flat mana regen. Mana on kill is useless on bosses, so... 
I, I yeah. try to stay away from things like that. That work in niche situations. Well, my best source of regen is cooldowns. And then the second best is just hitting vulnerable targets with cold. So okay. I think the stat is probably resource generation is best for me. Just the, the flat increase. All right, well, I managed to get all my resistances, except for Shadow, up to Cab, so I can just throw a, an Amethyst in a ring. That caps me off for that. Then I can use Rest Skulls in my equipment for my jewelry. Yeah, there's potions for resist too, eh? Yeah, maybe we want to use the lightning. If we're fighting the 200 version of the boss, we probably want to use the lightning one. One, so we need five of those. I'm gonna do five rubies. Can't okay, get my HP as high as possible. I have a feeling he's gonna be one shotting people, so we're gonna need as much HP as we can get. Where's the? Uh, let me see if I can find the lightning potions. We should have plenty of uh, resources to craft potions. Yes, so. we do. We do. So let's go. Uh, where's the advanced lightning resistance? Did they get rid of those? Let me see. There's a elixir of lightning resistance too, which is. 6% increase to maximum, which That's really that'll, good. that will probably help out a bunch. I'm just going to go ahead and make like five of them. All right, well, I'm about as set up as I'm going to be. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any more set up than this. I mean, I, right. can, I can refine things like later, but I think this is That's about fine. as good as this character is going to get without me spending like hours and hours and hours on it. Cody, what do you want, huh? What do you want? You want me to stick my finger up your nostrums? Like this? We're going to fight the big boss. You can cheer us on. He said cheering. He said, I'm not cheering. So I'll bite your toes while you're fighting them, and I'll sabotage your battle. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna die. Super Gregory. Super Gregore. Okay, I'm here. Did I just summon the wrong one? <laughs> I think I just summoned the wrong one. Oh well. Guess we'll find <laughs> All out. That. He's only level 75. Yeah, but I need four more steals. <laughs> well, Oopsie. I have no more. I had exactly enough. Okay. Well, can we can do a different super one. I mean, it doesn't have to be this one. Well, we don't have materials for any other supers. What about Super Varshan? We should have Varshan, Matt. Let's go do Super Varshan. I think you need five what of each. That use? He's, he's easier anyway. Varshan's easier. Is he In just time. hearts? He's hearts, femurs, um, the. It's like the whole nine yards. You need like everything. Yeah. So did you guys do a bunch of whispers? No, but I gave you all my uh, all my Varshan mats. I had a bunch of Varshan mats. I basically like one set. Does of anybody Varshan. else have Varshan mats? This is what I have. We have like one set, yeah. And I have to like transfer stuff. Because you only need, I think it's, you only needed one before, and it's five times the amount, so you need five of each. So we need five of each in the things, and we can go try and fight Super Varshan. Okay, well, you can, uh... And Varshan like... is, um, is Shadow, so if you guys want to make a Shadow potion. Okay, uh, well, we have to go to, uh, Tree Whispers, right? That's where Varshan is, yeah. Yeah. But the... yeah. What's the incense? So, can I make here, an incense to help mat. us? So I have 10 hearts, and then between the head, femur, and hand, I have another 10 pieces. So we should be able to make okay, it. Okay, so let's do a Varshan then. That sounds like fun. I'm telling you, Varshan's the easiest one in terms of mechanics, unless they added a whole bunch of crazy mechanics. All you gotta do is just do the mechanics properly, and you should be okay. 
Although he does a lot of blinding, which is annoying. He likes to blind. I had the head. The blinder. Uh, which craft head? Can't bring up the head. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I have to go to the alchemist, I think. Or which guy? Here, the, the, the head. Take the head. Um. Yes, it's alco. It's the same one you do the elixirs. You change materials. Go to town. I'll run to the altar. Wow, the hectic aspect aspect goes on a boots? That's pretty nice. I think the hectic aspect just became like my favorite boot aspect on like all characters. Yep. I'm using that right now. Kuba said, I don't like that we don't have any we don't have any pork em twists. I want all the twists of the pork. Where? Where's they be? There's so many landslides going off at one time when I do my landslides now. Like, between the landslides coming from the Poison Creeper, and then the landslides coming from the landslides, and then the landslides coming from the free landslides that go off during the landslides of the landslides. It's like I got this one, and then the spikes. But then if I do this one, and 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 this one. And this one, and this one. Casting landslides causes tectonic spikes to continue to deal damage over two seconds. I must wait a moment. Which doesn't happen during the Poison Creeper landslide, unfortunately. Summoning landslide pillars in tectonic spikes cause 25% chance, or 30% chance, to cause extra landslide pillars to spawn inside the spikes. so stupid that it can give you the same piece back whenever you try and swap it. Yeah. Just random. You going to get a, a tougher character, Leon? Oh, my game crash or froze. Oh. Okay. We're ready to go. We got five of each. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's go die. We who are about to die, salute Bob. Actually, yeah, if you failed, like, do you just get the mass refunded or just try endlessly? You just try endlessly is how it works. Because, yeah, we, if we can't do it, we could just use the mats and do regulars. But you don't get the mats back. The boss is spawned. You just have to keep going in and fighting. Yeah, that that's what I was wondering. Where's our Kratos? Yeah, Bob, come on. You can come die with us. This is a shared experience. We have to all suffer together. I joined... I did one of the things while you guys were doing your stuff. And I keep dying. Because I don't know how to play this build. So, resend the invite. Uh, I can't see you on the list now. The player is busy and cannot be invited at this time. <laughs> uh, Why are you cool. busy? Why are you in busy? Because you're in the pit? You're busy if you're in the pit? Yeah. You're you so busy. Anything. Well, I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't know that you were so important and you were so busy. What's up, Redfire Elf? 
Thanks for lurking in chat, man. I got M&Ms. When I get my full stuff going, it's kind of crazy. Look at this, Dan. Watch. Watch this, right? And that's like not even the full thing, because like when the when I'm actually doing it, I'll be spamming poison creeper and it'll be going off like crazy. I can't spam poison creeper without critting stuff. I need something to crit. Oh, I guess I should spec into the twenty four percent damage reduction, right? For some reason I never had that. Damage reduction is nice. Alright, I just poured it out. Well, I have 17,000 armor, which I don't know if that's going to be enough for a level 200 monster. Probably not. Was armor physical only, or is it elemental now, too? It is physical only. He's also shadow damage, so, so shadow and physical is what we're going to be looking at. I got an incense I'm going to use to boof up our maximum resistances a little bit, too. Don't do All what right. I did and click the wrong one. I got page two. Right, well, put the incense up. Everybody should be okay. sitting at least at like 60 or like 71 or 70 something percent. I'm like, or 76 70. probably. About 77. Yeah, so okay, we're a little coming. bit higher. That's 75. Did my mistake. I just said, don't make my mistake. I swear I was on the right one. Hmm. Maybe it's bugged. Do we have enough to try it again, or? Uh, we need one head. Well, we basically just need two pieces. So if we want to do whispers quick. Hmm. What do we need? We just need like any two random pieces. Head, femur, or whatever Heart. hand. Hand, femur, head. Okay, we're good. I got some I'm just going to go to the PvP zone real quick and go kill them. The big guy. I cannot do that here. Oh, he's got he's got it. We can just do it. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Oh, we can do it. Okay. Well, assuming I don't misclick again. I mean, did you misclick? Did you? It could be bugged. Like, this is, this is PTR. I, I thought I hit the right page, but I don't know. Don't make my mistake. Makes my mistake. It, it might be because some of the pages are the first, like, for uh, Zir, it's the first page. <coughs> Rigar is the second page. Did that actually reset? Didn't hear a ding. No, it did not go through. Someone did not hit us up. No, it went through. Oh, this is gonna be dumb. Uh, we'll survive. I <laughs> will put money on 
Okay, I got 31,000 health right now because I stacked on all health. And I got 17k armor. And we got 77% shadow resistance. I'm going to die. I mean, probably. Okay. But... I didn't change anything. I just was like, all right, I'll come over. Uh, I am on over. the right page. Okay. Yep, tormented, it says. Nope, he's level 200. There we go. He has unlimited health. Oh, no. At least the ads are squishy. Wow, he takes, like, no damage. And he hurts, like, he hits, like, a mech truck, too. Well, we have to kill the ads before he, uh, hits. Oh, there we go. He's, there you go. His, H his HP bar slowly, like, slightly deteriorated there. I actually hate this boss's melee, he just blinds you, can't do anything. Yeah, just super block. I think we have to play for stagger to get the massive damage bonus. Oh, here we go. Probably don't want to get hit by this. Ow. I just dodged it. Yeah, I did. Yep. That's not bad. I mean, we got capped resistances, so... These huh. little, these uh -huh. little monsters that spawn uh -huh. are only 150%. I got an incense running that should be giving you a pretty hefty amount of resistances, Bob. Oh yeah, we can kill him. I won't die to this. This is going to take some time and some effort. I, and yeah, they will, have so much health. And we will eventually kill him, but it's going to be rough. Well, when he staggers, like, we'll do a lot more. Doesn't help that my character sucks right now. I am spamming some freaking landslides like crazy, though, I tell you that much. Well, his mechanics change in, like, the third phase, though, eh? I, I don't even know if we'll get there today. Might be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, eventually, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be impossible to stagger him, too, so... God, how much HP does he have? I we've, just got shit. We've done I mean, like no damage to him gross. whatsoever. They're made for end game builds with like uber uniques and all. Like these are a pinnacle. You have to have like really good damage. My damage is pretty mediocre. Well, I'm doing like one mil per cast max. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hitting a lot. I'm seeing like 150Ks and like 100Ks and 200Ks and stuff, but like it's a whole bunch of little hits. I think I'm doing maybe like about a mil per cast, but it's like cumulative across the entire, like all the landslide hits. Well, his damage isn't very high, at least. No, it's not. No, I mean, he has... There's a couple times that I've been a little scared of him murdering me, but... He's got a pretty hefty shadow bleed that goes on sometimes. Yeah, the bleed takes me to about half, but, like, a barrier wipes it. My, my character is built tanky. Oh, he almost got me. And I can pretty much tank all of his mechanics. Pick up these potions. I just don't have a lot of damage because I feel that's tanky. I do, I, I do way more damage, by the way, to the little minions that pop up than I do to him. Like, when I hit my landslide on the minions, I'm doing like a million per landslide. And then when I hit him, it's only like 100k per landslide. Why does he have a shield on right now? Just keeps recasting it. Oh, well, that was nice. He just one-shot me while I was res I was just res I was rezzing. He just whipped me as soon as I rezzed. Little turd. Yeah, I could basically just stand at anything. Yeah, the, the amount yeah, of damage that I do to his... Yeah, I don't know what tornado? that was. I wasn't did we even one, Did we get one shot by something? Oh, Does yeah, he have any rage? Like, broke into. No, you can teleport back and repair real quick. Well, we're, we're not killing him. Yeah, we're definitely not killing him. There's no way. He's not here. Do you not get another chance at this? 
Uh, I mean, nope. the boss wall is there. Why would the boss wall be there if it's if it's not going to respawn him? Usually, the boss wall goes away and then the boss returns. The boss wall isn't there, so now we're just stuck in here. Something just instantly. Like, it killed all of us at once. I w I wasn't even near the boss at that time. I had walked over to Bro, the. Bro, we can't uh, even teleport out of here. I wonder if he gains like damage. Well, yeah, like I just got one shot from stuff that the ability would have did like twenty five percent to me. So I think he might have an enrage phase. Yeah, we, I think he's just learning too long. It's, he it's also had some sort of shield around him. You guys saw that too. <laughs> you, you, know, you, you guys were building stacks. He builds stacks against you. I think on his ground effects. So, it's, uh, so it's yeah. a race. Yeah, well, yeah, I think you have to dodge him, and I, I know Gregor does it with the lightning, and um, so I think the only thing we we can do is leave. I think we have to leave game. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We can't we can't exit the area. It's bugged. I don't even know if that's actually we can't fight him again or if it's just bugged. But, uh, yeah. Can, we, can we run pits together, or is it just solo? You can run them together. You could do it for you. Yeah. We should go run yeah. some pits and get some like upgrade equipment. The um. So, what all do we need for Daryl? For just regular Daryl, two shards of uh, agony and two mucus slick eggs. Now nah, let's not do Daryl. Let's do Andar. I don't know what you need for that. We need you the need... stuff from Zir, and we need the stuff from Beast in the Ice. So we need to do Beast yeah. in the Ice. Well, if we do one more of the the regular, we can do a Daryl. Uh, Bar Barshawn, whatever his name is. Oh, wait, you have the mats for Andari. We killed a bunch of um, Lord Zir already. So you just need the, yeah. whatever the have... other half is. It's still pure half. I can spawn him once. How many? Well, I only have seven fear. I gave you all my fear earlier. That's fine. You, but how many of the Lord Zero mats do you have? The the killed mats, the Andario version. Uh, six total. Okay, so that's probably three spawns of it. Probably works the same as Dario. And we can spawn this guy twice, so we can at least spawn Andario once if we just go run this guy twice. Well, it it has a different use. It it doesn't say you need two. The the other one it says. Oh wait, never mind. I'm confusing with the the dirt. Are you okay? Once. Yeah. Where even is the Andario one? Where is Andario? I don't know where she is. Hangman's I mean, Hall. Durial. It's Hangman's Hall. It's above Durial to the right, no by problem. uh, Ter Terrasac Waypoint to the right of that. Oh, I see it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go take a look. It's really close to the waypoint. Not while I'm in town. Let's go see what Andario's room looks like. She's probably got paintings uh, are like posters of corn in there. She's got corn paint uh, posters. She definitely listens to corn. Sorry, I got your invite as soon as I clicked on the door. I'll accept it in a second. Uh, Called the Silent Expanse. Oh, it booted me out. Little punks. Okay. Wait, half is this of the wrong. The... This is for Andario. For the um, beasts in the ice, you have to craft them. It's not a place you go to. You gotta go craft them. 
Well, I can see what I need here. So we need pink cushion doll shackles. Yeah, so you need two of each. It looks like the, um, uh, what, the world tier three boss? It looks like the world tier three rank up boss room. So, so where's the distill fear? Wait, that's just a, it's a nice sigil one, right? Yeah, it's the one you craft. You craft it. There's a wolf chasing them? There's always a wolf chasing them. He wants my food. He wants all my snacks. The forge is ready. He's a snack eater. He's a snack eater. Okay, well, I'll drop you my fear if you have enough. I gotta find the occultist in every town again because I have no clue where the occultist is anymore. I keep running the wrong blacksmith. They're, they're all right next to each other, every single one of them. I, I know, mean, but... and that's what I'm trying to figure out. But like, I, I don't know where they are because they keep they moved them all around everywhere. There we go. Now I've got the symbiotic aspect. I really can't get an aspect on me now. Is that, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Do I think I might get burned out on PTR? I mean, even if I did, it's for you guys. It's for you guys. I'm making a sacrifice for you guys. I'm going to put in lots of, of uh, feedback on the PTR, and hopefully they'll fix a lot of the stuff that's broken. Hopefully the... um the resounding like community feedback of them ruining the rare items will cause them to make some sort of change or at least tell us what the hell they have planned in the future well isn't there be a long break anyways oh yeah so we're gonna have plenty of time to uh, feedback and they're gonna have plenty of time to fix like PTRs are only a week so and it's like May 15th or whatever it said. Yeah, they actually gave themselves enough time to make changes based on feedback, which which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, they actually did. It. They're like, season is delayed, so we can actually make the changes. The season's not even for another month and like a week. Well, they also had like six months from closed beta, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a uh, different leadership then. The, the the form, it was only open for like a day, and then it said, oh, we're not taking feedback anymore. They, there's actually been some sort of weird thing going on with Diablo 4, where it feels like the developers are almost closed to feedback. They're like, this is my vision, and this is my thoughts, and these are my classes, and my builds, and you can't tell me what to do. And, and then like, every time they, they screw up, it feels like they're being forced to, to be more open and more like accepting of what the community wants. I'm not ready yet. And they keep screwing up repeatedly, so they're not they're not really doing themselves any favor. Well, he got absolutely demolished out of existence. Shatter. He's got all the uni uniques from last season. All the nice and fun ones from last season. 
Ooh, like the pain gorgers. He oh, he gave me a perfect pain gorgers. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, got an Oculus. And the meteor helm. Perfect up to you. Mm. <laughs> I'll hang on to those. So we're gonna do. So we're gonna do Andy Bandy after this. I got a hell hammer. Yep, I got a hell hammer too. Nice, beautiful one. Perfect one. Time to make my guy up evil. You have to tell you this is the only stream that made you watch D4. <laughs> well, I mean, are you watching D4 or are you just hanging out with me? Because I mean, there's a difference. You know, my buddies hang out with me. Like, they don't care what game I'm playing. Cough, cough. Did that fail to start? No. I got a dungeon completion message. What was that about? Yeah, it might have ate your key. I had uh, that happen to my regular rift last night. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, it ate my key, one of my keys too. At some point. Yeah, this just put me in like a random dungeon. Oh, you got pain gorgers? Because yeah, like when you try and start a key, and the other one is still existing, sometimes it just eats it. Well, I got two more distilled fears from running that one that we literally just did. So. <laughs> I have um. three. I got five I can drop. So then we can make another key, but I don't okay. want it to bug again. Yeah, well, I know. We just need to make, like, rich junk Did we even get the mats from that? I don't know. You used it. No, I didn't get any mats. Yeah, I didn't get any mats either. Check your chest, because my mats were in the chest. Yeah, nothing's in the chest. Nothing's in the mail. I ran it one time by myself, and it, it didn't give me anything either. Yeah, I got no mats. Did they not put her in the game? She's not in the PDR, just not to spoil it. I bet she was in. What if there's people fighting her? Let's see. But if you want to avoid the bug, just make junk sigils and use that to wipe whatever. Oh, I open. see. Yeah, that's a good idea. I guess you could leave game and come back to. Hmm. Maybe she's not in the PTR. And... Well, thank well, you, I mean... Swamp Donkey. I'll just try and do it again. Who am I giving my distilled fears to? Uh, me? Where are you? Oh, right here. In town? But I don't even know if I can click. I'm gonna- I'll drop it right on the ground. Yeah, yeah there you go. Alright, so I need one more to make a key. But we're still gonna be short, because we didn't get a key the first time. I've got well, two. If it still doesn't yeah. drop, well, actually, we can't do it. Here's to the two I got from that one. Because even if this does drop one, we still need two of them to summon a Daru. We just go do right. a, like a 100 Nightmare Dungeon real quick, and we'll get a whole bunch of the still fears. Like we can do it. Like three per person. So like three, six, nine, ten, twelve. We'll get twelve of them in one run. Do it. We can't do one more Varshon and then do a Daru though. I'm not really uh, interested in doing the real. I've done them like 3,000 times. Well, instead we could do the riffs then. Okay, did this pop? Is uh, it... it did. Oh, it's yeah. there. Yeah, it's there. This one worked. It's really strange. <laughs> Man. 
mac and cheese tax. No. It's Max Chickarones. Max Chickarones. The Chickarones of Mackliness. I must wait a moment. I'm over here crouching. Cody wishes he could crouch. Mm -hmm. That little, like, one next to the item, or the two or the three next to the item that denotes the greater affixes, needs to be a different color other than the, the, the regular color of the legendary yes. items. Yep. It needs to be, like, glowing yeah. or something, like, blue or, I don't know, like, some crazy, like, ridiculous, like, they, mm -hmm. not the name, like, the whole name doesn't need to be glowing, but just have that, like, one glowing a different color or something. We could have, like, a red star on the minimap. Because I feel like it's they're very bland and kind of hard to see that you've got a greater epic troll. Well, my biggest issue with D4 is that they are going backwards from D3. Like, Yeah, they keep going backwards towards D3, and it's terrible. No, but it's worse than D3. Like, D3 had better quality Some of a lot it. of the mechanics. Some of it. Some of it not. There was good and bad features for D3. There was nothing in D3 that I think was better than this game. No, I mean, like, if you're going to bring in D3 mechanics, like, it should be better than Does, D3 and not do you have a, great. Do you have enough Dust Devils? Uh, yeah, you like those? You got enough? <laughs> do you got enough Dust Devils? I'm still not quite yeah. there. But... You're not there? You need some more? Okay. He's going to get some more. Don't worry about it, guys. He's okay. I was yet. one. I was one. It's like comical. They need to change it. It's like I can't even see ground effects. I can't see what's going on. Okay. Did you get a doll? No. Okay. Then I guess we can't do it. I didn't get anything. Either. Nobody got any dollies. Maybe they're not guaranteed. Like the like the mats. I just think it's be. not. I, I feel like I would have seen a content creator video of her being dead already if she was in the game. So they're basically okay. yeah. being, so we can't do her yet, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. Rude. That's rude. Okay, so we'll do greater rifts. Yeah, let's go grifting, boys. I don't like to grift it, grift it. Older's Cave? Ooh. So what, uh, what grifts are we going up to here? 43. Oh no no no! Oh, 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 oh. Not, not, not nightmare not, dungeons. Oh. Not nightmare dungeons. I have. I can go open grift. a. I I can go. I can open a sixty if you guys want. I mean, let's go see what we can do. Oh, the pit. Yeah, in the pit. Oh, I hate when it does that. Oh wait, because it was already back? it was already open, and so instead of opening, it closed. So you have to open up another one. You want me? I got up to 60. What do you guys okay. want to do? Yeah, I only did up to 43 so far. Because um, it, it was already opened and then it closed uh, and then you got to open it again. It's stupid. 51 is the 100. That's like a. This is 151 mobs. No boobs or cheeks clapped? What? Boss in 12 minutes. Well, we can finish this. It'll only take like two. Can go get some more Zers done. You know, I can't even see anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't see. <laughs> there's like, there's no they made visual. Them way too big. <laughs> there's no visual, like. When, when you have the aspect max roll then on a two hander, they're way too big. Is this. I. The screen, the whole screen just becomes covered in dust devils, and I just can't see yeah. anything. I told you, I can't. I mean, the, the I smaller ones it. are okay, but, like, then you've got, like, those big mega-sized ones, which just, mega like... Mega-sized ones are too big. They yeah. just cover up everything. <laughs> the small ones are okay. Like, the small ones are right, but these big ones, that's too much. <laughs> yeah, they gotta do something with it. It's kind of ridiculous. Did they, did they not expect people to cover up the entire screen with them? Is that... The game has like know. five ways to generate dust levels, if not more. 
And when you start stacking them and you have the that on a two-hander, they become screen covering all the time. I mean, who wants to be able to see? I mean, you know what? Who wants to be able to see? I know. See? And my, and my frame rate is going down to like 25. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I normally rock like 60 solid, but not anymore. <laughs> as soon as the dust devils appear on the screen, my whole freaking <laughs> screen lags up. The, the best part about this is... <laughs> <laughs> Joe Kaipora said he's been playing this build on their internal dev testing, and I guess they just don't, like, know how to play it. They don't notice that this is happening. Yeah. Which portal? I don't know. It took a left one. There's two bosses. What the heck's going on? Can get in. Why can't I zone in? Nope. Leon's dead. <laughs> I got knocked back. I couldn't oh, even get Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Wait. What did he? Oh. I got spiked. Oh! Too. I got killed trying to res Leon. I there couldn't no... even zone in. There was no right. indication. I blame Leon. I blame Leon. I was blame Leon. No, no whirlwinds allowed. Yeah, I That's couldn't so see funny. the ground based effects. <laughs> All of a sudden, I died to some spikes or something. I don't know what hit yeah. me. Yeah. Lilith, it's, came uh, in. Lilith came in. Oh, Lilith came right. in? Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was where the spikes were. Yeah. yeah. Lilith said I was gonna try and res you, but look yeah, at I'm place. trying. All right, I got gotcha. you. Oh, watch out, Lilith's coming. Whew. Holy Jesus! I'm just trying to like avoid all the ground-based effects while also trying to peer through the See? tornadoes. Like, I literally, I'm like moving my head back and forth. Like, I can somehow change my vantage point and maybe see what's going on. <laughs> God bless it. Like, uh, let me look around that tornado over there. Cody, Cody, can you see? You're colorblind. Maybe you can see through the tornadoes. <laughs> so ridiculous. There needs to be an accept res button. Like, Otherwise, people just spawn you and they just instantly die. It's a good idea. We have that or a grace period. Yeah. Speak with Doomslayer Peters. Did we succeed? We succeeded. Yeah, we succeeded. Would you like a pork? Does that? That doesn't give you distilled fear, does it? No. No, it's the nightmare dungeons that give you the distilled fear. Cody, you want to fight? Are you, are you using those pain gorgers, by the way? Ah, uh, you want them? My perfect yeah. pain gorgers? You want my perfect pain gorgers? Heck yeah. My pain, pain gorgers, gorgers of perfectness? Pain gorger, enjoy your gorging. Oh, wait, no, that's the unsung heretic rams. That's the lightning storm build. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. They're really good rolls. They're good rolls. I'm ready to gorge. They're good rolls. They're goody goody goodies. Goody 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 day now. So that doesn't actually give me access to level 63, by the way. It's just like Diablo 3. You don't get access to higher griffs by doing them with your friends. You Oh. You have to you have to work them up. You have to do them solo, basically. I don't even think you get a higher one for doing that. Uh, I had up to 60. We could... Oh, who's lead? Oh, Leonar. Did you get it, Leo? Leo? Mm -hmm. Did you get a... Can you open up to 50 now? Or no? I didn't even start that. How do I... Well, anyone can start it. But yeah, I didn't get any more. You didn't get it? It's weird. Start on the materials. Do you want me to start another one fifty or fifty one again? Do it sure. okay? sixty. Sixty. Let's push it. Let's do it. Let's push it. Push it to the limit. Try to gorge my pain out. Yeah, these dust devils—they make need to make them like. Opaque where you can see through them. 
No, no, they just, the normal sized dust devils are fine. It's those mega sized yeah. ones that are terrible. Just take the mega size out of the game. But like, do the do the normal sized ones and look at the normal sized ones comparatively to the big size ones. Yeah, but you get a, well, the size, like, um. Yeah, they just change it. It's not size based, it's just amount or something. No, no, there's size. I, yes, I, that's the word change. So that it's not <laughs> size based. It's just the amount you have on screen. There is a size. No, there is a size now. And you get a, like, the bigger you make them, the more damage they do. That's what I'm saying. They can change it. The word change. Oh, 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 oh. Let them change it. Okay. No, but he I does see. He does have ones that spawn that are normal size. Like, I'm watching him do it. He's spawning the big ones, and he's spawning the small ones. So he must have two different ones that he's spawning. No, no, I'm spawning because... the smaller ones. He's spawning bigger ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're he spawning. He has I his think aspect I'll... on a two-hander, or he has a perfect one. Oh, I have a crappy one. Yeah, well, somebody what? needs to take off their big giant two-hander aspect, though. <laughs> it's on, like, all my weapons, so... Oh, the world boss in five. Well, this will be done in a minute. Yeah, we'll be done before then. We're killing everything really fast. I can't even see what's aiming at me. <laughs> what? You can't see? What? What do you mean? You are you blind? Do you need glasses? I have like five immunities, but I don't know when it's coming. <laughs> You're not allowed to know when anything is coming. Oh, there's two shrines. Oh. Let's grab both shrines. Oh. Look at all these monsters in here. I don't know. I'm about to spawn the Portalis. God, my freaking landslides are just stupid. I got so many numbers on the screen. It's oh, yeah. just stupid. What's up, Scourge of the tab. Land? Goodbye, Scourge of the Wait, Land. What? Netherions. What are Netherions? <coughs> I'm still using the regular 900 axe, aren't I? Uh, maybe I upgrade. Maybe I do the upgrade. Do the upgrade. Do 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 World boss time. I have I have a feeling he's gonna get disintegrated off the face of the planet Earth. Oh yeah. I just yeah. The last time I fought him, I just. He's like yeah. We disintegrated him. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. Remember the old landslide, though? Just did leave bosses in three seconds. Oh, you can TP on me. Because you get this, um... recipe, and you can add dust double size. And... Sounds like you, you need get... to take that off, yeah. sir. You yeah, get and double at multiple du dust yeah. levels. You can get. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got. I I split it here. I'll just... But the aspect itself also creates makes them bigger too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. The shout aspect. Yeah. The fierce winds. Yeah. Yeah. Shout. Yeah. They they need to take that away. I still haven't gotten that recipe though, the one you're talking about. I got it from Gregor. But we did a lot of Gregors. It. it still didn't drop from you. No. Yeah, we did like seven at least. So I'm so enamored with this poison creeper duration thing. It's pretty cool. 
Does it keep sl uh, casting landslide while it's up? No. It's just no. you get a lot of crit from poison targets. Oh. Well, so basically it went from... Here, let me take off my equipment real quick. And I can have a look at it. So, to get naked. Uh, so it's normally three seconds, and then with all the equipment it went up to... Um, a 5.1 seconds. So it immobilizes them, poisons them for 5.1 seconds now. And then while they're immobilized and poisoned, I get a huge crit bonus as well. So it's just it's just active more often because it's it's up more. I could also go with the extra duration too, which would just make it even longer on the poisoning. So it, that also increases the poison duration from what I'm looking at here. So it used to be a three second poison duration and now it's increasing the poison duration as well. Is that also increasing the damage that it does? Yes, it is. It's increasing the damage that it does because the poison duration is being increased as well. So as the poison duration goes up, the, the amount of poison damage that's being dished out is, is being increased. Oh my dear lord, Jesus, Ashava. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ashava. Well, here comes with some Grigori or Roshan or whatever these guys are. Hey, I'm going to keep these Ashava spoils and I guess I'll open them up on characters that I might want to get some uniques on. Waited longer for that world bus to come out and then go back in. <laughs> or unfortunate world boss. So sad. We should have all gotten like three bloods from that. We might have enough to do some more Zers if we're still trying to get those uniques. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this cache and open it up on my sorceress too, so I can maybe try and get another. another I have chance. a lot of zeros. You got a whole bunch of bloods. I wanna. I wanna get the yeah. amulet. Let's do it. Well, uh, do you want me to just drop you all the materials? You don't want to. You don't need anything from Zir? Nah, uh, I, I tested out pretty much all I'm gonna do. Oh, you already have the amulet? No, I, I'm probably not gonna play anymore. For. Okay. Oh, you've te oh, you've tested it. Yeah. Oh, he's he's Max's testing capabilities. No, oh, I'm just not gonna do bosses. Like, I don't really need anything from. Well, you're a sorceress, and you can have a possibility to get the amulet too. So I get to mooch the amulet off of you. <laughs> oh yeah, it's double dipping this way. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have actually grabbed the bloods from the character before I left. Cody, you bust things. Guys, thank you, but that's right. I said it. We gonna set. We gonna do bad. You wanna fight? He likes to fight. Okay, well, I'm gonna hop in and do uh, uh, Varshan. Varshan! Alright, I'm back. That cash out. Let's open it up. What do I get? Cody, don't come over here and wipe your jowls on me, sir. That cannot be salvaged. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable behaviors. Anyone want to hop in for drops? Are you doing uh, Varshan by yourself? 
A uh, regular one, yeah. I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna get down my lip. I wanna get down my lip! I can't test out the build without the amulet. Uh, I'm here whenever you want to TP him. <clears throat> Ugh, why you gotta cover me in, in grody slobbers, Cody? That's, that's grody. That's grodums. Hey. Permitted. Grodums. Here, here's the three bloods I got from the world boss. One more. Nine, eighteen, twenty, some thirty-six. I got thirty-five. Are you in a different instance? I can't see you guys on the map, except for Leon. Leon's with you, and I'm with, um, Colin. Leon's in town. Where oh. are you guys? You have a, oh, we're at you Zier. Have a, we're at Zier. Can you TP on us? He wants to do... Marsha. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to. Zan doesn't okay, like well. us. He doesn't want to be friends with us. <laughs> Leon, are you coming? For... No, he needs there. You guys can do it. I'm just crafting. I'm doing crafting. Should I open it then? We're good to go? Yeah, go ahead. I don't even know if I can kill you by myself. Not without the amulet. Ew, pants. I like pants. Probably Ice Hard Bryce again. Oh, he dropped me two uniques. Temerity and Penitent Graves. Yeah, they, they they really gotta tone down the the like ridiculousness of this is like this is like uh, season zero all over again with the necromancers spamming the uh, the darkness all over the place and nobody could see anything. Like as soon as you had a as soon as you had a corpse explosion and darkness necromancer in your group, you were like, "Can you please not?" And they're like, "No, I just, that's good. I can spam it if I want to." <laughs> and they, they blot out the entire screen, the entire screen, which would be blotted out from existence. Do you see that sand, sand scorched uh, shackles? Yeah, that's the thing for Andario. It's weird. You need those for Andario, and you need the pincushion dolls. Give me this foot. You don't need this foot. That's an extra foot. I'm going to take this foot. I'm going to get in there and the toes in there. Those are my toes. Do you want to give me that foot, mate? How about this paw? Give me this paw. Throw Dujangs at you. Um... Can oh, reset we... it? Uh, it like, uh, Leon, Leon needs to reset. It looks like it's... I don't know. Oh, no, no, you killed everything in here already. I don't have the aspect after sacrificing that ring? That's stupid. <laughs> gotcha. I got you in a headlock. What you gonna do about that? I got you in a headlock, boy. You won't fight. If I give you a nugums, I can tell you. Oh, he's probably bugged out. What's this pal? Is it this pal? That's a pal. If I nibble on this ear, if I nibble on this ears, I'm just... Okay, yeah. you can take all these. Are you dropping a bunch of doojanks? What you got? Some shackles. So the pincushion dolls just don't drop. Is that what we've been? What we found out? Well, based on two kills, it doesn't drop. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, I killed I killed him once and it didn't drop for me. Uh we need a reset scene. Alright Augusto, you have fun, man. I just want an amulet so I can test my jank. <laughs> Cody, I want you to go to the store. Okay, I'm gonna give you 20 bucks. All right, and I want you to go and pick up some chips and soda. All right, and I want you to get some beef jerkums too. Okay, so chip soda and beef jerkums. All right, one for me, one for you. All right, give you 20 bucks. You gonna come the keys to the car? You gonna go pick them up? I don't know how to do that. But that seems hard. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous, and I, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that other than it's ridiculous. Just watching it happen, like it's. <coughs> <laughs> Poor Zier. Poor Zier. <laughs> I feel like you need to cry out Annie Am like every single time you kill something. She got like the freaking tornadoes coming in on there. They're not dust devils anymore. They've been upgraded to full tornado status. Yeah, when I think of dust levels, I think more of like the D2 Druid thing. The little ones, the, the tiny boys. I mean, they are tiny until they start adding the size to them. And then once they start adding the size to them, they get to the point where they're literally like one well, dust really devil taking up like a quarter of the screen. I don't think they should be so tall either. Like they're no. gigantic. No, they're, they're, it's not just their width that's they're, they're not. Yeah, I mean, you know, phallic jokes. Hey, an amulet. Is it the right one? Hey, it is. Oh, oh, nice. Unlimited nice. power. Let's see the power. Unlimited. Take the power to the hell tide. Unlimited. All right, let's go back to town and get this amulet all nice and juiced up. I can um you said I could convert the uh the, the mats to the lower mats so I can use them. Yeah. Is, that, <clears throat> is it just at the regular like alchemist or whatever? Yeah, it's down. It's the potion lady. The potion lady, okay. Oh, there's yeah, more exquisite bloods on the ground down over here. What's those for? And it gives you five for each conversion down. Alright. So each one you convert will give you five. Of the lesser one. Oh, all right. So I got a bunch of ingoliths. It can be converted down to the. I need to convert down a bunch of these to the other ones. Oh no, wait. That's up. Mm, that's not what I want to do. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Uh, okay. So let's just convert all the Netherions into Ingoliths. It doesn't say that. Uh, it's in your inventory. Go into your inventory. And then um, your item inventory. Oh, I gotta like right click? Oh, they're caches. Yeah. Okay, I see that. Yeah, I yeah. See. And you gotta right click each one. It's kind of irritating. Okay, there we go. Now I have a bunch of Angoliths. I need some Obdusite ones as well, though, so... Yeah, now, now each one of those will give you five. Yeah, pretty much just have to speed rifts constantly. Seems like the higher tier rifts are better, because you get more... 
Yeah. yeah. You get more, yeah. essentially, from running the rifts in general. So getting the higher ones, the Netherites or whatever, the really high level ones. So we masterwork it. All affixes is increased by 5%. <clears throat> Yeah, the first is a hundred percent success rate, and then the second drops to like seventy, I think, and then the third it's like thirty percent. I don't think failing even needs to be in the game for that. Yeah, it's really painful. I've seen a lot of posts already saying remove the failing aspect. Well, mine are my gloves. I have at eight, and they're already less than fifty percent. Yeah. Just an artificial grind at that point. You need like double or triple the mass just to do one upgrade. Just increase the map cost instead of just making it fail. Like, what's what are you doing? I, I think it's even worse than that because I don't particularly like the way that this random number generator is calculating things. Have you noticed that it will literally calculate a failure like multiple times in a row? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a 50% yep. chance and you'll get like a failure like four times in a row, and you're just like, okay, that's. At a 50% success rate, I shouldn't get four failures in a row. That's that's not how 50% success rate works. Like, one of those should have been a success at some point or another. To go from 8 to 9, we had to run a 60 to give me enough mass to have a 30% chance. Okay, so I just Three upgraded the winter glass to about as high as I'm gonna be able to get it right now, just to, just for the giggles. So that's what that's what it looks like now. Um, let's get the uh... these back. I don't know why you have to click each one. You should be able to just hurt everything in your. Throat. All right, let's see how this works. Let's go, let's go see how this crazy build is annihilating things, or whether it does at all. I guess let's go into Saragar. 30% of the time, it works every time. You know, it's crazy It's crazy how different every game's, like, RNG system is. Like, Diablo 2's is crazy, by the way. But, like, I remember when I was playing Lord of the Rings Online, like, a 50% chance was more like a 70% chance. And then I went to, like, Final Fantasy XI... And like a 50% chance was more like a 50% chance. And then I went to Final Fantasy 14, and a 90% chance was more like a 10% chance. Like, none of it made any sense. Like, you could be like 99% success rate and still fail like four times in a row in Final Fantasy 14. Like, I, I had no clue what the hell was going on in that game. It was RNG system. Yeah, it's this one, I absolutely hate the way that it. Um, like, I'll, I'll go and I'll go to Masterwork or, like, I mean, temper something, and it'll give me the same exact tempering result, like, five or six times in a row until the, the item breaks. And I'm like, really? Out of, like, all the attempts, I couldn't get even one different option other than what I was or what you were giving me every single time? Why does something keep popping up and then, like, disappearing? I don't even have time to click on it. I can do up to 62. It, it let me. I'm going to drop a bunch of uh, unique sonogram gear if you want to test them within the, uh, your characters later, Barb. Okay. I'm probably going to play around with some Barb stuff at some point. Is that your pain oh. gorgers, too? Oh, yeah, I don't want those... the pain gorgers. Well, I, I'm probably uh, going to bed right now, so I'm done testing for now. So I yeah. might as well pass mm. them to you. Mm. One of the recipes I got. For it's a defensive slot, and you get life, armor, or dodge chance, and you can put that on like every defensive piece. It's crazy. Yeah. Instead of resist. Yeah, like I said, the the entire like dynamic of like this item is for this stat, and this item is for this stat seems to have disappeared. Like it doesn't seem to be there anymore. I mean, it's kind of there, like a little bit, but then at the same time, you're starting to see things like armor getting rolled on gloves, which never happened before, and like. Um, also, resistances roll on, like, every single piece of equipment now, which is crazy. Like, it shouldn't be hard for anybody to hit cap reses. I'm seeing a lot less damage reduction on equipment, though. 
Yeah, DR is really hard to come by. <clears throat> it makes uniques more valuable because those always, usually, not always, but a lot of those come with DR. Okay, I need a shadow. I don't, I haven't found any. I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if this is just me, but I have not found a single, um, uh, what is it called? Um, prism? Scattered prism? Oh, no, I have one. But I've only found the one, world boss. one scattered prism the entire time. Yeah, it came from the world yeah. boss. Yeah, I have four. Probably all king bosses. I don't know if they made those rarer. Why well, don't think you can get random drops them? They used to be a rarer, just name redemption drop. Alright, let's go see how this ridiculous frozen orb thing works. I only have... Oh, I have up to 62 now. And it skipped right. over everything else. That's crazy. Oh, you can open a 62 now. I guess because I logged out and logged back in. Oh. Yeah, I can open 62. So oh. we did skip. So I have so like did, 43, yeah. 61, 62. Oh, that's... I don't yeah. know if I can handle the 62. That's... I might die. Yeah, we'll I might die horribly and painfully. Yeah. And vicious. Dodge. I'm sure I'll die if I can. Just roll dodge on every piece of gear now. Ooh. Can't even test my dude jinx out because you're just killing everything. You're oh, like, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'll let you go. <laughs> Do it. Just trying to see what my frozen orbs work. Look at all my frozen orbs. My beautiful frozen orbs. That actually has a lot of frozen orbs. Does it just like, can I just like cast Hydras up here and they just do the work for me? Like, what do you to... Look at that one that's, watch out, it's gonna blow out. Yep, super dead. <laughs> they hurt. They hurt. When what they are you doing, guy? Okay? Spit? Spitty snake? Everything hurt. Snake spitties. It looks like I can have almost like an infinite number of conjurations just by spamming frozen orbs. Yeah, I'm wondering, was the, the limit upgraded, or...? I don't know, but I'm definitely getting a large number of of uh, conjurations. Like, just by spamming the frozen orbs themselves. So I'm seeing, like, I got like four or five ice blades on the ground, on the, like, out there right now. Just doing their thing. I'm not ready yet. I might not even have to have the conjurations on my bar, I don't know. be interesting to see like maybe I could put the points in the conjurations and then not not actually use the conjurations on my bar and then just just go from there like yeah. so that way the uh, frost nova is casting the conjurations for me and then I don't have to worry about casting them myself yeah I think they changed that in like season one you don't need them on your bar anymore before well, I'm you... well I'm talking about specifically for the frost the, the the way that this thing works to summon them yeah, to summon them, they they did that change in like season one. <laughs> Can't see the thing. <laughs> I have to just go through and go to the other it side. Says a, it's a forty three percent chance to spawn a random conjuration when the uh, frozen orb explodes. That's what it says. So we just summon. Uh, let's let's go ahead and take them off the bar real quick just to see. Actually, I can't. Can I? Well, here, I'll just take Hydra's off for the second. I'll put something else in its place. Oh, that's right. I can't change skills while I'm inside this place. I forgot. Grab this and hopefully it'll help with the world or the boss. Let me see how I do on this boss before you nuke him into oblivion. Oh, sorry. Never mind. He did. I ran away. I think my tornadoes kept going. He did. 25 the Netherions. I, I definitely have the damage to do these 60 plus, but uh, depending on the monster, I can't take it. Now the survivability is. 
Yeah, let me. Um, I'm gonna hop out and do one by myself to see like how this character. I can't. I can't yeah, see yeah, how yeah. this. I can't see how this character is doing with you in the group, <laughs> sir. Not, not, not only can I not see because I can't kill anything, but I also can't see because I can't see anything either. Like I legitimately can't see or see anything. That's There's so a lot of not seeing. I'm apparently blind. Oh. That's a little over tuned. He giggles, but he likes it. I'm not ready yet. It's really funny. It's okay, like I mean, it's absurd. Let me do some testing here outside of town just to see. I just want to see if they get summoned regardless of whether or not I summon them. Because if they get summoned regardless of whether or not I summon them, or I have them on the bar or anything, like I, I might just be able to dump points into them and put some, put like skills in something else. All right, so let's pull them off of the bar. Um, I don't know. We can put anything in its place. It doesn't really matter. Ross bolt that'll work. I can make it. Just remove it from the bar. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the answer is yes. That literally me just spamming frozen orbs literally causes them to just automatically appear on the screen. Um. Hmm. So here's another. Here's another question. So if I put the frozen orb enchantment on, and I use something that's not frozen orb, do I also get free conjurations from the ones that come from the enchantments? No, I do not. So the ones that come from the enchantment, I do not get free frozen orbs for. Hmm. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I could literally set up my character however I wanted and put whatever points and whatever I want in, like... So... As long as I have at least one point in the Hydra... I could scrape some points and go with some defensive skills as well. Throw in Teleport at the very least. Like, I think I'd like to keep Ice Blades on the bar, because casting Ice Blades is useful. Um, but... I could drop the Enhancements to Lightning Spear. And I could grab Teleport instead, so that I could actually have a unstoppable effect. We can throw that on the bar for safety reasons. And then I was also thinking, uh, uh Wham. Let's pull this one. We still keep this one here anyway. But then at least we get access to teleport, which isn't which isn't terrible. Hmm. Go try a solo run and see how this character plays. Not while I'm in town.
I don't even know if I can do 62. Yeah, you might now, start I, now I have lower. access to 65. Let's go 65. Let's do it. <laughs> well, let's go torture ourselves. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. <laughs> let's go torture. Torture ourselves. I mean, hey, we got the ambulance, right? Come on, come on, come on. Come on! We got some potions in here. Yeah. Right, max health potions on here. Holy Jesus. Yeah, 65 might have been a little bit too high. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You know, I'm actually doing like halfway decent damage. I mean, oh wow, look at that! Yeah. I mean, it's there. Like, if I could just—it's just these freaking snakes and their stupid little stun crap that they do on a regular basis. Skip has like 50 plus 60s. Cause my ice shards is falling off pretty hard now. I played ice shards the season before last and it fell off. Well, it has good clear up. Like, I'm destroying everything in 60 plus for yeah. trash mobs, but it has no boss damage. Yeah. yeah. I hate this enhanced health modifier. Like, the monsters already have, like, 3 trillion health, and I don't know what the hell this enhanced mo health modifier, but, like, since the beginning of Diablo, yeah, I swear it's been, like, 5,000% increased health or something. Like, you come across a trash mob that you one-shot instantly, and all of a sudden this trash mob that you one-shot instantly can take, like, 50 casts of, like, your main ability, and you're like, okay, that makes a lot, whole lot of sense. I mean, I'm able to kill things here. It's certainly not impossible. I mean, yeah, it's just damage reduction-wise, like, I, I, I think I need to get a little bit more freezing effects in here, to be perfectly honest. I think if I respec, then I threw, um... Because uh, I kind of did this before, where I had, like, the, uh, the enchantment for the conjurations, so that they had the uh, chance to basically randomly cast Frost Nova. So that all the monsters would be frozen all the time. I mean, that would be a solid defensive, you know, like strategy right there. Because if they're frozen, they're not going to be attacking back. And I have tons of conjurations, which means there would be tons of frost novas going off on a regular basis. Frost nova also makes them vulnerable too. So yeah, I'm getting the I'm getting the hang of it. Damage output is actually not terrible. Yeah, survivability. It's tough. I mean, I just kind of blow through things and then go to the other side and see what I didn't kill and then kind of blow through again. <laughs> they hit really hard. Get it? He's making puns. He's making puns, guys. Blow. He's blowing through. <laughs> Get it? He's blowing through. <laughs> yes, he's blow. I wonder if you built, like, all, like just took a lot of defensive... Um, Skills on your bar. Build the barrier build. I'm not ready yet. I mean, basically, I always have three hydras up constantly. Like, I always have lightning spears up constantly. They're never not up at this point. Like, I have um, basically max ice blades, like, at all times. 
Do they ha do you those uh, the ice plates help on your cooldown too? Is that the one? Oh yeah, they they, they apply yeah. part of their cooldown to reduction to my other skills as they're attacking. Yeah, let's see. Actually doing pretty well. Yeah, it's not it's not uh, this this uh, the amount of frozen orbs that I'm putting out is kind of insane. Like, it's kind of impossible to actually see how many I'm actually putting out. Well, the frozen orb is literally spamming the conjurations, too. So, like, they're just... It's actually almost bad because there's so many conjurations that are being spawned on a regular basis. Like, the melee ice blades don't even have a chance to make it to the target half the time before I respawn them at a new location because there's a max number of ice blades that can be spawned. So like, the, the first one literally gets respawned as the seventh one is summoned and it's so quick that there's not a lot of time that they can do it in. I might actually clear this in time despite the fact that I died a couple of times, although I'm probably gonna die again. Boss is hard. All of a sudden, I just started going down real fast. Well, that's what I'm really interested in. I want to see how, like, my boss killing capability is. My assumption is, is with the sheer number of frost frozen orbs. Oh, freaking... I, that's bullcrap. That's an elite that I killed, like, five seconds ago. Oh. Like, just randomly exploded, like, way after I killed him. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell the portal was now. Is it over here? Bull crap. I almost had it to. I'm not ready yet. Is it every five is let's see, does it say here again. Oh, it only says oh here. Twenty I need time to prepare that. Six is a one twenty five and fifty one one fifty. Did I create a GGM clan on speed on PTR? No I didn't yet, PA Speedy. It's only gonna be up for a couple days, I didn't really feel like it was all that important. I really wish I had some sort of like, I don't know, like, like golem or mercenary or something. You know, I, ne I never liked playing the sorceress on Diablo 2 without some sort of tank to back me up. Like that's why I usually end up picking like the barbarian or the Act 2 merc. Like I don't, I don't like, I don't like playing the sorceress without some kind of tank. These monsters are just like rolling up on me while I'm casting my spells, and they're like, um, did you expect me not to interrupt you? No, oh, you did. You did. Oh well, too bad because I'm gonna interrupt you. Yeah, well, this is this is not going well. I hit a monster that I literally can't can't bypass. I don't know what uh, I don't know what this guy's got that makes him so special, but I literally can't bypass him. Tired of that stupid explosive modifier. Alright, boss time. Let's see how badly I get my booty cheeks back. What the hell just happened? Did you... What? Well, you just killed him. 
How? Well, can we get an instant replay on that? <laughs> can I get a can I get an instant replay on this, please? I don't even know what the hell just happened. It's just like all of a sudden I was fighting him. He was at full health. I'm fairly certain he was at full health. And then he just died. Like instantaneous death died. We're going to need an instant replay on that, please. Okay, here we go. I'm fighting the boss. So we're fighting him... His HP is slowly falling, very, very tinily, and then, like, bam, then he's just dead. Instantaneous death. What the heck? He went from 81,428,536 oh damage. Instantaneous murder. Oh, <laughs> It looks to me, and I'm not entirely oh. certain, but it looks it was... to me like all of my minions fired their frozen orb at the exact same time, and they all exploded at the exact same time. You can see the instant that the frozen orbs all detonate, and then when they all detonate, it literally dishes out 81 million damage in one detonation. Could and it it's an on? over it's an overpower too. It's orange, right? So that means overpower. Yeah. It wasn't your it wasn't the shrine you had on. Blast wave? I mean yeah. maybe. It looks like it, it comes later, the blast wave a little bit. Could it have been the blast wave? It might have been the blast wave, yeah, you're right. Maybe. Well, no, you're I think I no, I think you're yeah, right. It looks like it. Because the blast wave didn't fire yet before the 81 million happened. Because that's yeah. the blast wave. Yeah. We'll have to run it again and see if something similar happens. The heck? That's crazy. It might have been the blast wave. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what would happen. It, it probably was the blast wave. Let's try it again and see if it happens again. An 81 million blast wave, though, seems kind of insane. Am I Sigma? What is Sigma? Alpha, Sigma, Beta, Gamma, Kappa, Kappa Crew, Kappa Kappa Alpha, KKA. K -K -A. <laughs> Definitely never Kappa Kappa Kappa. You don't want that. One... I've never seen a blast wave try and kill a boss like that before, though. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a blast wave just like one shot a boss. That doesn't seem likely. <laughs> he said, "I'm more alpha than you," but he misspelled alpha. You silly, silly goose. Oh, I was going to change something and I forgot. Oh yeah, Let, let's let's make one one small change here. Hold on, Hang on. come back to town. Mm. I mean, it does it take resources to open up the artificer's room, the the, the grifts? Because like it never feels like I have to worry about it. Yeah, I think uh, it does take some. Ruin shards, but it's, I, I don't know, I have like 400. Okay, I was going to change Ice Blades enchantment with, um, I was going to, I was thinking Frost Nova, and the reason why I was thinking Frost Nova is because Frost Nova's enchantment has a 42% chance that when your conjurations uh, hit, they unleash a Frost Nova, which freezes enemies, 
So like, could act as a defensive mechanic to help keep me alive. Oh, that's a good idea. Relatively yeah. indefinitely, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, what do I want to sacrifice for this? I don't know. Sacrificial lamb, sacrificial lamb. What do I want to sacrifice? Sacrifice. Are you uh are you okay on resources? I think you had some points down on that fire fire part of the tree at the bottom. The uh killing a burning enemy increases your mana regeneration by forty five percent. Yeah. Um yeah. I don't know. I only need to put one point into Frost Nova to get access to it though, so yeah, I could just sacrifice one there. Because I'm not actually gonna use it, I'm just gonna put it on the enchantment slot. Just so that they spam it, basically. Yeah. That, that way, when they spam it, I'll get all the freezing enemies going on. So let's take the Frost Nova, throw that in here. It's a 42% chance that my Conjurations will use Frost Nova, which should be pretty crazy, considering I have, like, six ice blades, uh, you know, like, like friggin' three, three Hydras. So I don't know how many freaking uh, lightning guys I've got running, but... I mean, everything should be frozen basically all the time with the sheer number of Frost Novas going off. I, I know there's like a, um, there's like an unstoppable that happens, <laughs> though. So, so the monsters will, I'll probably end up triggering the unstoppable from the monsters at some point. I'll just have to pay attention to when they have the chains over their heads, that that's the time when I have to be more careful. I see, I see the Frost Novas. Out. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a hybrid like frozen orb and ice blades is gonna be mandatory for cold swords. Unless you do like a Really well scope Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard. So. I think Blizzard is a pretty decent option as well. Just simply because you can automatically cast Frozen Orbs, but the problem is that the enchantment Frozen Orb doesn't spawn the Conjurations, which is unfortunate. But getting free access to all the Conjurations certainly doesn't sound like a terrible thing. I, I'm thinking you could do a hybrid build so you can run the Ice Shards. And then also have the ability to use frozen orb. Like just have one that guy aim. that wasn't frozen just ran up to me and just pimp slapped me in the face. <laughs> he was like, he was like, haha, I'm indestructible, I'm, an, I'm an unshoppable. Ah. Anyways, have fun testing. I gotta head out now. All right, Zan. that you're doing it at the bed too. I'm not ready yet. Seems like that was a good change. I mean, it seems to be locking them down better. That's yeah. for sure. I need some sort of way to heal myself too, which would be nice. There's that new aspect. Oh, yeah, the vampire one. I could maybe throw that in here. I'm not ready yet. Uh, but no, I think it's different. The one that's like, like gives you health back per skill use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the vampiric one that they put back in. Oh, is that the vamp? Oh, okay, that's right. Instead of deep freeze, I think I could definitely go with like one of the more defensive and more easily usable defensives as well. I think would be probably be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might come up a little quicker too. Mm-hmm. Hell did it just spawn me? What the hell? What a booby trap. Yeah. Throw 
I mean, one thing's for sure, and this is definitely something that I don't have, which could enhance my damage tremendously, is that because I'm using all the conjurations, something like the um, the ring from Barshan, the uh, what is it, Talrasha's iridescent loop, yeah, would work really well on this character. Oh I would, yeah, yeah, I would never run out of the multiplier from the Talrasha's iridescent loop. Not even, not even a little bit. Such a just an overpowered ring. Well, man. Also, the conjurations are fire, lightning, and ice, so I'm set. Wouldn't have to worry about anything. Yeah. I would have a, I would have permanent plus plus forty five percent. You just locked down. My other character, the one I built last season, I I built like a lockdown sorceress. Yeah. yeah. Nothing could move. Nothing. <laughs> it was amazing. Like. I, I could go to tier 100s and I would get one shot by tier 100s, but it didn't matter because nothing could touch me. <laughs> I would just sit back and I would just fire off my spells and I would just laugh as everything died. I almost, I've died several times and I'm almost still completing it in time. Uh oh, I spoke too soon, snakes. <laughs> yeah. Snakes and their stupid little stunny eyes. One interesting thing is, is that with the Hydras, I can cast the Hydras in the room without going into the room, and I can basically just use the Hydras to cast Frozen Orbs in the room without me actually being in there, which is kind of an interesting safety way that you can do things. Because they just keep casting the Frozen Orbs whether you're in there or not, I guess. they don't care. Yeah. So do you gain any extra time if you get the like the spawn the boss before the uh, the timer ends, but it's like right there next to the end of the timer? No. I got like 20 whole seconds left, and I'm about to. I'm about. I think I'm about there. Like I might be able to spawn the boss. Yeah, there we go. I got 12 seconds to kill the boss, boys. Woo! 12 seconds. Hey, if I can one shot him like last time, I think I'm set. <laughs> Um, okay, I did. And then he killed me with a... I, you, they love them freaking after-death effects, don't they? They love them <laughs> after-death effects. It's like their favorite thing in the whole world. I've died to those, too. I just absolutely demolished that boss. Did you not see that? Yeah, I saw that. What, what happened that time? See, now we gotta go back on the instant-instant yeah. replay. We gotta find the... We get an instant, instant, instant replay. It. I gotta see. Like that was actually pretty good. I, I didn't think I was gonna kill him in twelve seconds. Yeah. There's got to be something going on with the uh, like how it's calculating out the damage that it's somehow making that possible. I had no blast wave shine this time, right? Like it's... no. Uh, did you you had did you have a shrine? I don't think you did. Let's here. Let's let's go back and find it. Here we go. Okay. Um. Did I have a shrine? I had artillery. Oh, artillery. Okay. Oh yeah, there's artillery. Artillery is doing a lot of damage. It is. But then I hit him with a couple of these frozen orbs. There's a three mil, th one mil, five mil. Two 3 mil, 1.5, and then he's dead. And then I died. <laughs> what the hell was that bullcrap at the end? Look. It's like <laughs> I killed him, and then all of a sudden it's just like... <laughs> at least it's not hardcore. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, guys, <laughs> like I just did. Yeah, I got I got my dojanks. We can go up one more tier. Let's go. Hmm. Alright, Ginger, good night. Alright, have a good one. I lost everybody. There's no one left, boys. There's no one left. Let's go get our booty cheeks clapped again. 
Let's get our booty cheeks clapped. Clap in them cheeks. I know y'all like it when you see my cheeks clapped. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. That's a good start. I'm not ready ow, poison hurts. Ow, poison hurts. Ow, ow, poison hurts. Ow, poison hurts. I'm running the wrong way. Ow, poison hurts. I'm running the wrong way. I don't know, maybe deep freeze is the right choice for this build. Because once you get everything running, once you get like all your stuff like just locked down and you and you get all your conjurations summoned and everything. Like, you can pretty much just tap your deep freeze and just sit there and watch everything die. But I guess I gotta focus on trying to get the deep freeze reset as quickly as possible. like this so then now I got all my conjuration summoned and they're doing their job and I just deep freeze up and let them finish and that way I don't have to worry about dying while they're casting all their frozen orbs so I can just be invincible for a couple seconds while while they're they're putting their work in those freaking increased health monsters like holy Jesus Well, this build is fun. So many frozen orbs going off everywhere. It's insane. It's insane to me. I mean, there's the ones I'm casting, of course. And the ones I'm casting are just... Like, what even is going on over there? Like, all those numbers that are popping up on the screen. I might actually make this one with time to spare on the boss. Oh my god, I just had a thought. I just had a crazy thought. So, the number of frozen orbs that I'm putting out is kind of insane, right? And if I had the artillery shrine... The artillery shrine could literally make this build absolutely insane because every single one of those of those frozen orbs would put out a circular damage attack right and there's two ways now that you can get an artillery shrine i could use the uh, shaverion spear of lycander which would give me artillery shrines essentially whenever i'm doing my stuff and which would give me a massive damage bonus versus basically everything or I could utilize the new Tyrael's armor, I think. I think Tyrael's works for this. Which also gives you artillery shrine when you're at full HP. And would basically make every single one of my frozen orbs just put out a massive amount of ridiculousness. Just, just, just so much ridiculousness. Honestly, artillery would probably work the best with this one. So, like, Tyrael's might with this particular build, spamming off as many of these freaking frozen orbs as possible, and each frozen orb putting off an artillery attack probably would equate to trillions of damage. I don't even know. Like, the number of frozen orbs that I'm putting out at any given time is excessive. And if every single one is putting out an artillery shrine, it would be pretty excessive in the number of attacks that are going off, like, per second. It's already excessive. 
but it would be two times whatever I got right now. Because actually, even more than that, because each artillery shrine for Frozen Orb puts out like 12 bolts in a circle. So, like 12 times the damage, especially if it explodes inside the target, which means the artillery shrine could hit a target 12 times plus the initial frozen orb. Sounds like Tyrael's with this build would be absolutely insane. Especially with all of the Hydras shooting, each Hydra would be shooting artillery shrines. Every Ice Blade would be putting out artillery shrines. Each one of the, um, oh, I wasn't prepped up for that. Each one of the, um, the Lightning Spears would also be putting out artillery shrines. Seems absolutely insane. And we got one minute and 57 seconds for the boss. Okay, no shrine this time. No shrine this time. All right. Let's just hold on for a second. Since he's being a puppet. I think it was the shrines both times that let me murder the boss. But I think it has to do with how I'm multiplying the damage with the artillery shrine. Oh, there we go. I just put him into a uh, staggered state. That's not bad damage output for a level 165 boss. God, how fast I'm staggering him, though. Look at his stagger bar go up. He's about to get staggered again. Did he just use an attack while he was staggered? Kind of wish I could get more Hydras with this. Like, how many... What's the maximum number of Hydras that you can have at any given time? Aw, oh, was that freaking Lilith that just jumped down on me, little turd? Freaking Lilith jumped down on me. Freaking, 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 freaking. I didn't mean to do that. Staggered in three. Ah, I don't like these, like, freaking. I don't know what to explain it as, but there's just like all these random AOE effects going off. No matter what boss it is, they just have all these random AOE effects going off constantly while you're trying to fight the boss. And they're not associated with the boss. Like, they're not coming from the boss. The boss isn't doing them. It's just random effects that are, like, happening in the arena as you're fighting the boss, so that you have to, like, figure out what you're doing with your life. And even when the boss is staggered at the moment when you're supposed to be taking advantage of his weakness, the little AoE effects are still happening constantly. I mean, Lilith coming down was unfortunate. That was, uh, kind of wish I had a, a, a damage reduction thing for that. by one of the one of the spikes it's unfortunate well my equipment's about to break poopies
Oh, what the hell was that? Get my booty cheeks clapped over here, guys. I swear it almost feels like I'm fighting the World Tier 3 boss. Like the World Tier 3, a lot of these mechanics that are that are happening are the World Tier 3 boss mechanics. Like when you get from World Tier 2 to World Tier 3, or, or sorry, World Tier 3 to World Tier 4, sorry. It's the World Tier 4 boss. Like a lot of these are just World Tier 4 boss mechanics. Like the random things spawning, the little fire like nodules coming out, these things on the floor right here. That's straight up from like the World Tier 4 boss. And now we've got Lilith on the battlefield. Go ahead and use my defensive mechanic here. He's about to get staggered. Let's go ahead and just... Ah, okay. I'm telling you, he was staggered. I'm sitting there trying to take advantage of the fact that he's staggered. And literally, while he's staggered, the mechanics are just continuing on as if nothing has changed. They're not coming from him. They're just, They're just like static like effects that exist within the world as you're fighting the boss it's it's stupid because the whole point of staggering the boss is that when you stagger the boss he's supposed to be vulnerable and that's the time you you know you dog pile on top of him and you start wailing on him but that's not what's going on he's literally like it literally even while the boss is staggered you're still getting assaulted by these random mechanics that are going on during the boss fight and so you get into this like habit, you know, like most people get into a habit of like whenever the boss is staggered, like this is the this is the time, you know, dogpile the boss. But then like as soon as I do that, I end up like being an idiot because then the mechanics start popping up under my feet and I'm not ready to deal with them. It's it's dumb. I don't understand why they would have a bunch of random mechanics going on in the boss fight that don't have anything to do with the boss. Just tons and tons of random mechanics just constantly going off on a regular basis. Oh, there's the lightning spear one. I actually wanted to kind of try that one, though. Hmm. Destroy it so we get it into the, into the codex. Let's try this again. I don't know if Ice Shards is the right move for this either. Like, maybe I just back off of Ice Shards and just do something else. What if I did something like this, just as a, as an option? So what if I went with Blizzard? We cap out Blizzard, All right, and then I bring Blizzard into the into the fray here. I'm not sure where to put it. Freaking main click. It's not like I have a whole lot of issues with mana consumption. I need time to prepare that. Ah, almost. Went. See, and then there's one of those random mechanics just spawned right on top of my head while I was inside of the deep freeze. So that as soon as I came out of the deep freeze, I was just instantly dead.
I mean, I'd be fine with the random mechanics as long as the random mechanics actually kind of ceased when you staggered the boss. Because it, the, at the moment, it makes it very difficult to actually sort of figure out, like, what's going on in the boss fight. Because, you, you know, you want that stagger time to be the moment when you have the most damage output, especially as a character that's like a crowd control based character. Because you really don't have a lot of choice of the matter. Most of your damage comes from when the monster is frozen, crowd controlled, etc. So that stagger time is actually your highest damage output during that particular time period. So you're really counting on that stagger time to dish out as much damage as you can, like during that particular moment. And they're basically telling you, no, you can't take advantage of that stagger time because we're going to put a bunch of random damage effects underneath your feet as you try and, uh, you know, take advantage of that. So many freaking frozen orbs and stuff going on, I can't even see the character. The boss. I can't even see the attacks that are coming my way. I don't know what that one was. I don't think I'm killing this guy. I don't think I am. This is, this is painful. life do I have? 26,000? i got 26,000 life and I'm going down like a sack of potatoes every single time he touches me. I cannot. afraid of getting uh freaking like killed by these mechanics i don't even want to go over there when he's staggered anymore still got hit by a random mechanic just one shot just like one little fire pulse from one of the like the the generic mechanics that are going on in the boss fight is enough to kill me i can't i can't even take one generic pulse of the of the fire attack that like those little those little fireball things that just passed me by like this what this guy puts out I can't even take one of them, one of them is enough to freaking absolutely demolish me. It's like twenty five thousand damage for one of those little spikes and they constantly go off during the entire time. It's only a matter of time before one of them hits me, no matter how good I play. Like one of them is eventually gonna touch me. Yeah, 
I just I just can't do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to town. I give up. They have beaten me. I'm tired of being one shot by the random mechanics. It's one thing for the mechanics to be coming from the boss, and the boss has tells, right? And the boss, like, you can see what the boss is doing. You know what tacks he's using. So, like, you can see when he's using a specific tack, and you can know to avoid that specific attack, right? But he's not using specific attacks. He's not going after me with, like, an ability. I don't see a tell. I'm just, like, having to dodge random, generic, like, bullcrap attacks that are just happening... Like, as a matter of course, during the boss battle. So there's no way for me to know what's going on, like, at any given time. I can't even see them happening half the time, because a lot of the times they spawn off the screen and then fire projectiles onto my side of the arena. So I can't, like, there's there's no way to, like, actively understand what's going on. If I can't take the hit, then I'm not going to be able to complete that content. Like, I need to be able to take those random attacks that I can't otherwise see coming to me because if I can't take an attack that I can't see coming then there's no way for me to avoid the attack that I can't see coming and so that I'm just going to die so I've got to like make myself even tankier somehow so that I can actually absorb those hits and then I should be able to complete that boss battle but I'm not tanky enough to absorb those hits and that's just that's just the reality of it I'm going to have to dial it back a little bit to some of the earlier tiers. Let's uh, convert some of my recipe materials too, though, because I got a bunch of um, I got a bunch of doojanks. We can start upgrading some stuff so we can actually get some decent things. Let's let's actually just convert everything that I've got, so all 160, into the other caches because these caches. As well as the the smaller ones. I mean, honestly, we need to upgrade all of our equipment to higher tiers so that we can actually see how we're doing. So let's just keep on pumping it. Can't believe they actually make you sit here and click this like 160 times. And then I need some of the basic ones, too. Good lord. I need, like, a million of these. I might as well just do the whole thing, because I need, like, all of... I need all of my equipment upgraded past the first tier, which... Time to click 800-some-odd times. <laughs> Dear lord, Jesus. I need an auto-clicker program. God bless it. they thinking with this like what was their what was their thinking what was they thinking on this <laughs> let's make it let's just sit here and have a mini game of making the guy like literally just right click 800 times Why wouldn't it just go into your inventory? Why does it make caches? I don't even understand. <sighs> right click in it, right click in it. Come with me as I right click away my life, my life away. Oh, right clicking until my mouse breaks. Got to right click all day. Oh, yes, I do. Do not tell me what you think I should do. Because I'm going to right click yes, and you can't tell me that I can't. So I can right click as much as I want. 
or right clicking and right clicking and right clicking and got to stress my mouse up for the right clicking and when you're done right clicking you can go back to the right clicking and right clicking is what you're going to right clicking is what you're going to do Dun 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 I mean, this should be enough to upgrade my equipment, but also at the same time... I still need a bunch more. I need a bunch of the purple, uh, the yellow ones, too. I was, I was thinking we just use all this ob to try to get everything to the yellow status. Go run some more... I can I can definitely clear some of the higher tiers. I just need to bump down the level a little bit. Whew, okay, now for the hard part. Now we gotta do this stupid crap. Skip. Skip. I don't care. Skip. Okay, that's one. Two. Did I really need 4,000 Obducite? Probably not. You know what? Let's get the temerities out. I was using these for the free frost novas, but I swapped over to the other way of dealing with the frost novas. So let's swap back to the temerities. Get the free barriers. I wish I had a Tal Ross's Iridescent Loop, but that would be a huge damage bump too right there, the Tal Ross's Iridescent Loop. Alright, so now I have uh, fully upgraded that. Let me go verify that I've got maximum... Uh, I think that's maximum, that's maximum. We really need some sort of defensive mechanic. Um, it would be nice if I did have a defensive mechanic, but... You can only put offensives on rings, right? And resource.
Critical strikes with core skills. Increase your attack speed by 21%. That'd be interesting. I'm pretty much spamming my core skill anyway. Certainly wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of more attack speed. Deal 438% times increased damage while you have no defensive skills on your action bar. Hmm. Let's try that one out. Let's change back to Lightning Spear. Alright, so we're fully upgraded to bottom tier, but not upper tier. And then let's go get another gem for the temerity. Well done. Wish I had the things to add sockets with so I could get the extra socket in here. Or in my amulet for that matter. Alright, let's try a slightly slower tier at like 61. 61 is a little bit more... Uh, I hate that stupid bug. We're gonna go get some more of the uh, upgrade materials. Feel that 40% times multiplier. Pretty much waltzing through this one. I say that, and something's probably gonna pop out one shot me, but. I also feel like the blizzard's a waste, too. Like, I feel like I could just take these blizzard points and just dump them somewhere else.
wonder if this would be better instead of with the avalanche passive. What if I just use the shatter passive? I don't know. Like, what's the difference between the shatter and the ice passive? Avalanche increases the damage of frozen orb, right? And gives you, like, the free frozen orbs that do lots of damage. And the shatter is after freeze expires, enemies explode. Well, that wouldn't help me on bosses at all, but, uh, nah. That would help me on uh, on trash mobs, though. It certainly would. Like, swapping between the shatter and the freeze passive for trash mobs. That'd be massive. I'm not ready yet. Like, when I'm in here doing this part, probably would just absolutely annihilate things. Lethal Shrine. Not even over there, and it was getting murdered. I don't know, damage wise I'm already doing pretty darn good for essentially like 160 mall level monsters. And um I don't have Talrosh's iridescent loot. Um my equipment's not fully upgraded. Uh there's definitely some refining I could do in my my actual affixes on my items. I mean so far I'm looking at a character that's perfectly capable of basically like above tier one hundred content at the moment. Uh, with subpar equipment and subpar stats, like, like I, I could definitely make things better. And she's already carrying her own in 160 level monsters. Um, it definitely does seem like going a lot higher than like 160 and getting into the much higher levels is definitely going to be challenging. the Guardian with three minutes to spare. Let's see if we can kill him in the 160. We got three minutes to kill the Guardian. Now we got the Den Mother. Our damage output on the boss certainly is not terrible. Ah, there was nowhere to go. 
I tried to go over here, and then it spawned over here, and then I tried to go over here, and then it spawned over there. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not ready yet. That was failure on my part. I should have ran the other way. I need time. Where the hell did it put me at? I got a minute 26 left, and I think it spawned me, like, all the way back in the middle of nowhere land. Where the hell's my portal at? I almost killed him, too. If I hadn't gotten stuck by the stupid environmental effects. I'm just going to call them environmental effects, because they're obviously not part of the boss's, like, normal damage output, like, cycle. They seem to be just be environmental effects that happen during the boss fight. Like, the environmental effects are more dangerous than the bosses. trying to stay away from the environmental effects. I don't want to get caught by the environmental effects. No, don't hit me with the stupid thingies. Frickin' Lilith coming down. Alright, he's about to get staggered. If I can just hang in there for a couple seconds. <laughs> so much for a couple seconds. So much for a couple seconds. Yeah, that wasn't happening. I pretty much lost access to the important bit anyway, which was the upgrade materials, which is what I was going for. So, I don't even know why I'm continuing at this point. It seems like at this point, unless you want to kill the boss for the loot, there's no reason to continue because you didn't get the mastery and you're not going to get the upgrade materials. So you might as well just take a step back to a lower tier where you can... Where you can uh, do it properly without having to worry about getting murdered. And it's, it's not the bosses that are freaking I'm having trouble with. I'm not having trouble with the bosses. I'm having trouble with the stupid mechanics in the boss room. Guess I just need to get good and one-shot the level 160 boss. Then I don't have to worry about the mechanics. many mechanics. What did I die to that time? I don't even understand what killed me that time. Alright, let's just go back to town and go to a slightly lower level then, I guess. Since we can't survive the mechanics inside even the 160. I don't know what the lowest level is for the materials for the next upgrade, but I don't have access to very many options. I'm going to have to drop all the way down to tier 35 because that's the, uh, cause I got like artificially bumped up to tier 60 by being with my friends. So I'm going to have to go back through the normal way, which is to go up the tier 35 route. I mean, I completed one of the tier 60s in enough time, a couple of them, but it was, I don't know, lucky. 
Let's just do these lower tier ones real quick and just move on. Boondock Saint. It's one of my girlfriend's favorite movies. She loves Boondock Saints. She's got the Boondock Saint poster. As you can see, she's perfectly capable of this tier with ease. No, she's got no problem with this tier. I'm not really sure I like the, the added mechanics of the boss fight. Like, if they were coming from the boss, that would be one thing. But since they're just, like, generic, random environmental effects, I don't particularly enjoy them. Like, it's not a skill-based thing at that point, because you don't know when they're coming. It's just, like, randomly happening. Like, during the boss battle, there's just, like, a, a you know, just a random do-janks just popping off all the time while you're doing the boss fight. And at lower tiers, it doesn't matter, because, you know, like, you get hit by the random effects, and they don't do any damage. But at higher tiers, those random effects can straight-up one-shot you. And I don't know what you're supposed to do about it other than run around like a chicken with your head cut off the entire time. And what's with the random death effects? Like, the every single one of the bosses has, like, random death effects now, and I keep dying while I'm trying to check the loot. What's the point of, like, the end boss having a death effect other than just to, like, have, like, a giant middle finger straight to you? You know what I mean? Like, like you're, you're literally, you've conquered the dungeon, the chest is open, you've literally completed it, the loot is falling on the ground, and then the boss does, like, a last-minute suicide effect to just, like, absolutely destroy you when you go over to get excited and check the chest. You're like, all right, I did it! Yay! And then you walk over to check the chest, and, like, the chest explodes in your face, and you're like, oh, okay, that was nice. You still get your loot and everything, but they just had their last laugh on you and got you killed one more time. That's basically how that works. It's like, we know that you successfully completed the dungeon, we know you successfully completed the boss and everything, but... But... We get the last laugh, not you. We... We get the last laugh. Alright, let's find a good tier where we can farm these so we can get lots of uh, upgrade materials because I actually want to test these characters in their you know, like fully upgraded status. Would be nice. So this is what, 38? Just blaze through this 38 real quick.
those frost novas. You see all the frost novas going off on a regular basis? It's insane. Who needs Ice Heart Bryce when you have literally like a 46% chance for every single one of your conjurations to make a frost nova whenever they they go to attack monsters? Down. I was fighting 160s earlier. You guys aren't even. You guys are just trash. You guys are just trash. Trash. You guys are just trash. Does the game still suck? Um, I don't think the game really ever sucked except for season one. So, might be asking the wrong guy. I mean, I do think that the changes they've made have been a significant improvement over the previous version. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that the Greater Rifts was a good move. I also don't like that they basically deleted rare items from the game, but there's a lot of positives in this particular batch. There's a lot of positives. Um, I might have to make like a pros and cons video at some point after I've done a little bit of testing with the PTR. Right when I freaking got him staggered, right when I got him staggered, the stupid environmental effects all appeared underneath my feet. I couldn't do anything. I was poisoned. I'm literally running for my life, and then the freaking explodey boy comes up. Like, what's the, what is the point of that exactly? Like, like why have so many environmental effects going off at any given time that literally the entire field of battle is just covered in environmental effects? So that you can't take advantage of even the staggering when you stagger the boss. Like, you're literally sitting there trying to stagger the boss. You got the boss staggered, and you can't even take advantage of the, the boss being staggered because you're, like, swamped in environmental effects. It's stupid. Does it still have monster levels that scale with your character? I mean, up to level like 95, yes, that's how it works. But when you get to level 100, you don't level up anymore, and the monsters don't scale with you anymore. But you can do higher tier content where the monsters are much higher level than you. In this particular case, you can see that I'm doing a night. A, uh, well, in this particular case, it's a greater rift where the monsters are basically way higher level than me by massive degrees. Um, in this particular case, I'm doing 140 at the moment. I want to make a quick change here. So I don't think I don't think Blizzard was worth it. Let's pull Blizzard. Um, I kind of would like some healing. I do have those freaking Hydras burning things. So let's see if maybe I grow through this in there for a little bit of self healing. Um, that one there. Let's grab the three in that one. Let's grab another one in elemental dominance. Let's try that. Let's let's see how that works. So let's put frost do jank back in there. I don't even use it really, but whatever. Let's see how tier 40 goes.
hey, I'm testing it so that you guys don't have to. That's really the, the, the thing. You know, you just don't have to hop onto PTR. Maybe you're in console and you can't hop into PTR. You know, that's what I'm doing. You guys can... You guys want to suggest something, too? You know, like we can suggest something. Right now, I'm just trying to get some of the upgrade materials so that we can more easily upgrade our equipment on some of the other characters. Um... I seem to be pretty well set up on this character, so I figured why not use this character to get the upgrade materials. Seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. how quickly everything freezes. It's nuts. I mean, the way that this character is set up, everything is frozen basically all the time. And if it's not frozen, it's, in a sh it's, it's basically immune to the freezing. And now we're at the Guardian again. So now we got a tier 40 Guardian. It's a Bramble. Bramble is staggered. Uh, hit him, hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. Hit him, hit him high, hit him low, hit him low. Gonna hit him, hit him, and hit him again. Where the hell did the snake stuns come from? There's no snakes in here. Did you guys see the snake stuns? It's like they're just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you and just hoping that something kills you. Like let's just let's just keep throwing everything in the kitchen sink at them and and hope that we can kill them before they uh, before they have a chance to realize what the hell's going on. I call this the everything in the kitchen sink mode. Alright, so we got a bunch of Ingulfs. Let's uh let's see, can we upgrade some of these do drinks now? Oh, I never finished this one. I thought I had finished that one. Master working failed. Master working failed.
That animation can go straight to hell, by the way. Like I don't I don't know what they were thinking when they when they uh, made that animation, but in my personal opinion, like with the number of times that you've got to upgrade equipment, with the number of times the sheer the sheer number of times that you have to actually go through the process of doing that stuff. Like, I can't believe how many times you've got to go through that animation. And even with the skip, you basically you still have to watch the animation. It's not like it's not like it really lets you skip it. It kind of lets you skip it, but it also kind of doesn't let you skip it. So, like, you still got to go through it a lot of times. <laughs> I mean, what is it like? It's 12 times per piece of equipment, right? And then, of course, you can fail also. But let's not even count failures in. So we currently have, um, let's see, what is that? 12 times uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces of equipment, which is a total of 120 times you've got to look at that stupid animation. And then you might as well just multiply that by three for the number of failures that seem to happen. So you've got like 360 times you've got to watch that animation. It's pretty rough. And that's not even including the tempering, because you got to do the tempering too. Uh, which, granted, you can only temper an item a certain number of times before it bricks itself. All right, we're in 43 now. You said 43 was the was the the lowest, or 40? Oh, 41 was the lowest, so I could get access to the high tier equipment. They just disintegrated. Holy Jesus. You see all those lightning spears just like demolish that freaking group of monsters? I think I might need to go with uh, the aspect that gives me multiple lightning spears. The one that makes it so that you instantly cast another lightning spear upon casting a lightning spear. So I can have like even more lightning spears just constantly flying around. I wish I had Tyrael's to test with this build, because I think Tyrael's would be absolutely insane with this build. With the number of things, like the... Okay, here, so here's the Artillery Shrine. Watch the Artillery Shrine as I literally fire off, like, trillions of freaking Frost Novas everywhere. As my compan my little, my little Conjurations shoot off their own Frost Novas, like, the whole nine yards. It just gets absolutely insane. Like, there's literally Artillery Shrine things, like, going off everywhere. I don't even think the monsters stand a chance when I have an artillery shrine. I'm not ready yet. Oh, it's already gone. I think Spear of Ashavarian, the Spear of Lycander, I think would go absolutely amazing on this build too. Guardian. 
Let's see how quickly we can stagger him. Alright, he staggered. Three, two, one, hit him with everything you got, 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 everything you got. Alright, we got a greater affix chest error. Got some more ingolifts. What's on the chest armor? Life per second? Hmm. I mean, comparatively... Oh yeah, hardcore is definitely going to be hardcore now, that's for sure. All right, let's, uh, we need, uh, we need to convert all of the ingoliths into, uh, regular boxes. I don't think we need any more obducite, but we do need all the ingoliths that we can get. All right, so let's masterwork our weapons a little bit more. Skip animation failed. Skip animation complete. Skip animation failed. And we're out of materials. Alright, let's go up one more. Let's keep going up until we run out of, uh, like, until we can't do it anymore. So now we're at 46. I have a feeling we're gonna get to, like, 50, 55 ish, and that's where things are gonna slow down. I've also made some refinements to the build, so who knows? Maybe I might be able to actually survive in some of the 160s. No. Look at all those Hydra Bolts. Got me. There's so much mayhem that goes on the screen with this character. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that when you cast your frozen orb and it explodes, it can summon a conjuration. The conjuration can then summon its own frozen orbs. And so, like, as soon as you fire off a frozen orb at a monster, there's a very good chance that it summons a conjuration, which then starts doing its own thing. The lightning spears just fly around doing their own thing anyway. So for the most part, with the Lightning Spears, they are just constantly, on a regular basis, just going on and doing their own thing all the time. They're just flying around, just hitting whatever they can hit, like, all over the map. Your Ice Blades are just running around stabbing everything, and they're doing their own thing, too. The Hydras are ranged. I'm not even sure how the Frozen Orbs are working with the Hydras. I feel like they're... I don't know, like, like just... They seem to be just almost creating them exactly on the target. Oh, we got a shrine up here. Let me grab that shrine. Shrines are nice. I like the shrines. 
Ooh, it's a lethal shrine. We like lethal. Oh, and there's an artillery shrine too? Dang, a lethal and an artillery shrine right next to each other. Yeah, sorry buddy, you just got annihilated. Yeah, I got a lethal and an artillery shrine. You guys answer that. Goodbye. You all the weakest thing. Goodbye. They got me. Explodies. It's funny, I, I kind of knew that was coming, but I was trying to see if I could take the hit damage anyway. I've got all these barriers and things that constantly come up on a regular basis. I was trying to just eat it, eat it. A lightning bolt was coming at my face and I was going to eat it. Fireballs are flying, lightning everywhere. Poison in the floor and I'm standing in again. Oh, just eat it. Arrows flying round, lots of melee down. Gonna stand around in the fire again. Just eat it. All you gotta do is eat it, sir. Don't let it tell you what it's gonna do for you. Just eat it. Why are there still monsters on the field of battle? Go away. Stop trying to kill me after the monster's dead. I don't like it. Ah. Right. Ooh, could have just tooted. Oh, he's sleeping, too. That was a sleep toot. <laughs> Real bad. Oh god. Why is it so bad? Master working failed. Man, I swear this thing fails more often than it succeeds. Hey, we got a weapon upgraded to full, to the highest tier. All right. Hey, 20.1% 20, 20 chance for frozen orb and projectiles to cast wise. Nice. I cannot. All right, let's try 48. We're going to keep going up the list until we start running out. We get a bunch of upgrades. I don't know. Maybe we're in a position now where we can handle some of the higher tier stuff. I also want to check out the Minion Mancer again, and I want to go back to the uh, Earth Druid. Uh, we're we're, we're going to try a couple different builds here. Oh, you're unstoppable, huh? Too bad, I don't care. Firing off. 
The blue drain, don't fire off the blue drain. Firing off the blue drain. Firing off them blue janks. Dude, this frozen orb build is legit. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And I cannot say that I don't like this because it's... Oh. I didn't like how that rhymed. I didn't like how that rhymed. I had a rhyme. Trust me, I had a rhyme. I didn't like how it rhymed. just go back to the high tier one and see if I can handle it now. I, did I change enough stuff that I can handle it? Is that basically what's going on now? Because like, I feel like with the upgrades that I've got and a couple other things that are going on right now, my character seems a lot tankier. Just in general, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It definitely feels different. I mean, I'm going up in tiers, but it doesn't feel like I'm really having too much issues with damage reduction or... Blue cheeks clap there. I mean, I say that, and then, like, this boss will just, like, hand me my butt cheeks. Be like, here, here's your butt cheeks. I'll be like, no, wait, 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 wait. I'll have to, I'll have to keep my butt cheeks on my butt. I'll be like, wait, oh, here they are back. You can put them back on your butt. But I took a friend, you know. Okay, six minutes and fifty-one seconds. Plenty of time to kill the rift, the rift guardian. I'm not ready yet. Spikes, okay. I'm not ready yet. I ain't going over there till your little death animations are done, you little turd. I always got some crazy death animations. I don't like it. I don't, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, I don't. Make 32 of these. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna try and get all my gear capped out. We'll see how far we can push this. I mean, it seems like a pretty solid build, to be perfectly honest.
I don't know what to upgrade next. We already did all these to Ingo. Did I do, did I do this one? This one didn't get capped out. Or, or not. I didn't mean to do that. Wrong person. Master working failed. It takes 50 of those materials. God, failed two times in a row, too. Sadness. <laughs> what was that? Three failures out of all the upgrades that I just tried to do? I got three failures. It fails way too much. Way too much. I mean, I, I would assume that at a certain point of, like, farming these stupid greater rifts, that eventually you would have so much resources that you probably don't even care, and you're literally going to have, like, millions of freaking obusite and millions of ingles, and the only one that's probably going to be even slightly hard to get your hands on is the is the nef, nefa whatever. I don't even know how many you get at higher tiers, or if higher tiers actually give you more of those materials, but... Um... Critical strike chance. I mean, deep freeze is pretty amazing for this because all you gotta do is just get all your minions up. You get everything up, you get all your hydras and everything up, you fire off a couple frozen orbs which summons more. And then once you summon a certain number of conjurations on the battlefield, if you're in danger, just press the frickin' deep freeze button. And normally deep freeze feels like a waste. Because you're not doing anything while deep freeze is active. But but since all of your conjurations are spamming frozen orbs for you, while you're in the deep freeze, you're actually perfectly safe and also dishing out massive amounts of damage in the process. So it's not really that big of a deal. And you've basically got the entire deep freeze to just sit there and let your conjurations just like work and do their magic and then when you come out of the deep freeze usually half the stuff on like screen or most of it has literally been demolished and you can't stay you know in a like a defensive state like that forever because eventually your conjurations do you know like disappear they don't stay forever so they have do have to be refreshed but it's long enough honestly that literally you just can just sit there and laugh I did that because of the uh, the fire effect. That fire boss rushed me. I do not really appreciate being rushed by the fire bosses. Their explosive effects are stupid. Like that, that explosive effect. I don't know where he just went to, but we're going to murder him. For being rude. Ain't nothing do nothing. Everything is just like permanently freaking frozen. Do 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 do. Protection from. Yeah, I could just run in the center of these guys and just spam my dude next to that Yeah, I like D4 now? I mean, I've always liked D4. When have I ever gave you guys the impression that I did?
I don't like D3. That's never going to change either. I'm pretty sure I've given you guys plenty of impression that I hated D3. <laughs> if you guys have not gotten the impression that I hate Diablo 3, then let me just say it plain. I hate Diablo 3. Is it better than before? I do believe it is, yeah. They made a lot of significant changes, like the zooming out of the camera feels absolutely amazing. I do love the zoomed out camera. It feels so much better with the zoomed out camera. Just the zoomed out camera alone. Even if they changed absolutely nothing else, just the zoomed out camera alone feels so much better than, than the previous version of the game that did not have the zoomed out camera. Like, dear Lord Jesus, I love the zoomed out camera. Alright. What the hell are these little tornadoes that are like following me around? Frozen Orb was killed by Echo of Lilith. Are you kidding me? You're gonna... I'm gonna punch whoever came up with these checkpoints. Look at my chest. There's a lot of bugs going on right now, Joe. A lot. The freaking dust devils are so big, I don't even know what to think about the dust devils anymore. Like, oh, freaking first time somebody with the dust devil came into my group, I was like, oh my god. Alright, well. I guess I just am not allowed to see anymore of anything. Ever. Again. Ever. 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 All right, 38 caches this time. Master working complete. Master working failed. It's funny, you can see whether it succeeds or fails right here. You don't even have to look at this. Just look at this. You see this number right here that says 20? Like, watch the number. See how it went to 30? It was a success. See how it went to 50? It was a success. Like, what's the point of having this big, overly long animation if you're just gonna, like, like show it off that it succeeded or failed before you actually can see whether it succeeded or failed? It does seem a little weird. Alright, let's keep on going up the list. Alright, we're at what, 52 now? I don't know why 61, 62, and 63, 64, 65, 66 are all way back here. Like, they're not in order, which is really weird. Like, 52, that's what we're currently capable of. Let's go back to 61. Let's try 61 again. Now that we've got our upgrades and our, our little do janks and, and we got some of our equipment shuttle settled properly and whatnot, let's go see if we can continue from here. I want an auto-skip. Like, I'd like... I would seriously, like, just give me an auto-skip animation, like, option within the menu or something. Like, I don't want to ever see that animation again. I hate to say it, but I don't, I just don't want to see that animation.
I love how I can freeze the monsters almost instantaneously, and then as soon as they're frozen, like, it's pretty much just a race to kill them before they become unfrozen and they get their unstoppable state. Especially, like, the big bosses like this. I'm basically just trying to kill them before they unfreeze. Like, that's, that's pretty much my goal. Is just lay them down in the dirt before they unfreeze. And then once they unfreeze, I have to wait for their, either kill them while they're unfrozen or wait for their unstoppable to disappear so that I can freeze them again. Artillery Shrine. Oh, it's over now, buddies. It's over, pal. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes artillery. Killing everything in sight that I kill again. Because I got the artillery shrine, suckers, and it ain't going to last no longer than the smuckers. Because they put that jam in the fridge and it was gone. Because they made all the peanut butter jellies in the phone. Yeah, my character is significantly stronger than the first time I came in here to a 61. Like, significantly, significantly stronger just by doing the upgrades and getting everything settled. Like, I'm, I'm literally, like, breezing through this 61 now that I was having trouble with earlier. somehow escaped all freezing effects. And there's the boss. Alright, can we kill a 61 boss? Obviously having no trouble with the trash mobs whatsoever. We got the uh, outlaw sharpshooter with the little traps. This guy's a little bit of a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. Not one of my absolute favorite uh, bosses to fight. It's because he's always disappearing and doing stupid stuff. And the traps. The traps are also annoying. At least there's some like physical objects that I can hide behind over here, which is kind of neat. On this map with the pillars, you actually have some physical objects that you can you can hide behind should things go awry. Like when they keep shooting all those projectiles at you constantly from those weird little monsters. Okay, so that was a world of difference. Yeah, I heard uh, Barricade went with, like all out on the on the April Fool's joke. Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the image and immediately knew it was an April Fool's joke. Sounds like something I would do. I got people really good last season. Last last April Fools, everybody was really mad at me last April Fools. I decided not to do one this season because everybody was so mad at me last season. I'll get you next season, don't worry about it. Not while I'm in town. All right, so let's see if 
So we get, we're getting some upgrades now. We got most of our gear upgraded. Let's go back to that highest tier, the one we couldn't do before. Before we started upgrading everything. And let's see what we can do now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our other 25% on this one. Failed immediately. Success. We got our 25% upgrade, which went to poison resistance. Ugh. I think love to fail. It loves to fail. Hey, we got uh, uh, both of the resistances got capped out. Okay, I don't understand that logic, but whatever. I guess technically I could start pulling some of my stats from some of my resistances. I guess. A new expansion for Diablo 2 Resurrected? Well, I'm afraid that they would ruin the game, to be perfectly honest. Any changes that I think that they should do to Diablo 2 Resurrected, in my opinion, would need to be lighter touches. Things that I don't think they would be willing to do. I think lighter touches is better than heavier touches, in my opinion. An entirely new expansion with new classes and new items and all that other stuff, like... There's a very good chance they could just ruin the game entirely, and I'm not willing to take that chance. There's a lot of other ways that they can add content to Diablo 2 without adding an entirely new expansion, new classes, and new items. My um, Diablo Maker idea is the best idea by far, by the way. Not to toot my own horn. Actually, yes, to toot my own horn. The Diablo Maker idea is by far the best idea like that is on the table right now. It would lead to essentially infinite content. I got ambushed from behind by that lightning spire. That was really interesting. I'm not ready yet. There's a DR guy hiding somewhere in here. It's not necessarily that I'm not killing these guys quickly, but there's a... Apparently there's a DR guy in the mix that's making this entire process take entirely way too long. Of course, there's an exploded guy in there. I think he was like on the other side of the wall or something, because I didn't, I couldn't find him. All right, Waller. Two Wallers. Can we, can we quit it with the walls, please, dear Lord Jesus? I like just firing the frozen orbs into the room through a door like this and not even really paying attention to what's inside. I think that's the coolest way to dish out damage with this ability. Just, just fire your frozen orbs into the room and just let your dojanks do their job. Don't even, don't even worry about what's in the room. Just fire your frozen orbs into the room. Not doing bad, actually. Like, I'm actually doing pretty good, I think. Despite the fact I died once. I feel like I'm doing pretty solid here.
I don't think that death earlier was really my fault. It was kind of a bad combination of events. Just a whole lot of monsters in one place, a DR guy that was kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time. Made it a little bit difficult for me to get the kills off quick enough before the unstoppable started to take effect. And then that lightning thing, I don't know where that lightning thing is coming from, but occasionally it, uh, it just like spawns on top of my head. I don't really have much choice in the matter. Oh, the werewolves now. I think most of the ink items are fine the way they are, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the rune words are a bit overtuned, to be, to be perfectly honest, but I think the most of the unique items are actually very well tuned. I think if you tune back some of the rune words, a lot of the unique items start to shine again. I also think if they added a modifier of plus one skills to most rare armors, I think rare armors would suddenly become useful too. It may seem like a small change, but just giving rare armors the ability to roll with plus one skills could potentially make some pretty crazy rare armor, like like finds. Especially if you find like a nice two socketed plus one rare with say faster hit recovery and some good resistances. It could be a, a pretty sweet rare armor find. can't kill any of these people because there's a DR guy in the mix somewhere. That was close. Four minutes left on this one. Another Scourge of the Land. I don't like the Scourge of the Land. He's got a lot of nasty effects. I'm going to keep my distance on him. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, out the door, five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, stay up late, nine, ten, PTR test. He's about to freaking stagger and there's like, he's surrounded by effects. So we completed tier 66. That's the highest one we've done so far. That means we've com we've unlocked tier 67 now. <laughs> I mean, we've got 106 this time. Every same time we go up, we're getting more and more um, caches, like, per run, so we're getting to the point where we're getting a, a large number of yellow caches, so we can do some pretty large amounts of upgrades. It looks like the final tier is going to be the only one that's actually really, really difficult to get finished, because the number of, uh, like, required for that tier is kind of ridiculous. Alright, so now we can masterwork a couple more items up to their completion. So let's go ahead and finish this one. Alright, so we got a 25% around that one. Maximum life and resource cost reduction. Alright, we got 
uh, well, well, the heel went up. Okay. Cold resistance went up. Cooldown reduction went up. Multiple times in a row on that one. It's, holy Jesus. Super failure mode activating. I'm like way over capped on half my resistances now because of the, the way that a lot of these resistance things work. I mean, I, I still have, like, ridiculously good resistances and some other stats, but it feels like I could probably, like, pull a bunch of, like, all-res stuff that I've got from other pieces of, of things. I don't know. Like, I got resist to all elements here of, like, 10.5%, but it feels like I could just pull it at this point and just put it somewhere else and I'd probably be better off. I don't know. Like... Um, there's a lot of min-maxing that could be done with this, and I just don't really have the heart to go through the process of min-maxing a character that's going to be deleted in, like, six days or five days or however many days are left. I mean, this is definitely a fun build. It's definitely a viable build. As you can clearly see, I'm... I'm clearing, what, tier 167 or 66 content at the moment. That's what I'm currently capable of. And I'm pretty sure that it could go higher than this if I pushed it. actually see the real patch notes when this actually goes live. I guarantee there's going to be a lot of bug fixes included in this. <laughs> Got me with the old death explosion. I walked right into that poison effect, too. That was totally my fault. I just killed a big old glob of elites, and for some reason my bright idea was walk into the center of the big old glob of elites that I just killed. I swear half the time my lightning spears are just flying off into other rooms that I'm not even in. 
and literally are just like absolutely massacring entire groups of monsters that I don't even know exist. And like sometimes I'll like push forward quickly enough and I'll catch the lightning spears literally just murdering an entire room of monsters by themselves. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, these guys are, have already been engaged. They're already frozen, and they're already halfway dead. All right, we'll just fire a couple frozen orbs at them and move on. I'm not ready yet. I feel like Shatter would absolutely smack in these if I didn't have to deal with the boss at the end. I actually kind of want to try Shatter just to see how well it works in the uh, like in the regular fights, and then switch over to like I can't I can't switch them back and forth. So I think I just want to try a run with the Shatter Pack key passive instead of the Avalanche key passive just to see like what kind of difference I'm looking at between the two damage wise. I feel like the Shatter Key passive is going to absolutely demolish this stuff. Like the trash mobs. Like once I throw the Shatter Key passive on there, it, it's just going to be like GG. Like end game material. But then when I get to the boss, the Shatter Key passive isn't going to help me at all. And I'm going to slow down significantly on the boss by comparison to the Avalanche, which gives me quite a buff. However, it will free up an aspect slot if I switch over to Shatter, and then I could f use... I think there's a Shatter Key passive, isn't there? I could use the Shatter Key passive instead to increase my kill speed on this stuff even more, which is totally a possibility. I mean, granted, I'd be giving up my, you know, like, boss killing speed for trash killing speed, but in a group setting, like, you know, if we're trying to talk about, like, group settings... Having the ability to kill trash at an insanely fast rate wouldn't exactly be a terrible thing. I mean, I could just, like, walk through the trash mobs and then somebody else could be the single target damage dealer to handle the, the boss. I mean, it's not like I would be a slouch on the boss. Like, I wouldn't be, like, completely not helping. But it wouldn't be as great, you know, as, like, a person who's set up specifically for single target damage. It'll be interesting to see, like, exactly how slow, how much slower it is on the boss than, like, a regular setup. Ah, uh, he one-shot me with one of the random ground-based effects. I still got 2 minutes and 57 seconds. I might be able to pull it off. Still got a potion up. I still got a potion up. God dang, he's firing like a million like projectiles at me a second over here. Okay, there we go. We got him down to half relatively quickly. Oh, frickin'. Stupid environmental stuff. Every single time the boss gets staggered, it's like my brain immediately goes into a category of it's safe, the boss is staggered, you don't have to worry about anything. During this time period, you have unlimited access to dish out as much damage as you can to the boss during this stagger period. And then I get hit by one of those stupid environmental effects, which doesn't have anything to do with the boss. While the boss is staggered, and it just, like, completely throws me for a loop because I don't expect it. And I, and I, and I know that it's coming. I know, I know. My brain, my brain knows that it's coming. I just never expect it any time that it happens. I feel like an idiot every single time it happens, too. Like, like as if I should know better, but I just... My, I'm, I'm, I'm conditioned... I feel, though, as I am conditioned to respond to the stagger effect, that it's safe. 
And so my conditioning is overriding any kind of like thought to the contrary that I'm not safe. Because in this particular stupid dungeon with all the environmental effects, it doesn't matter if the boss is, say, is staggered because you're not safe when the boss is staggered. It's so freaking stupid. They conditioned me to believe that the stagger meant I was safe, and so now I just believe it. I have the faith. I have all the faith in the world that the stagger effect means that I'm safe, and it does not mean that I'm safe anymore, and I can't, I just can't compute. I cannot compute. I got stuck in these little, like, trap things. I don't think I'm gonna clear tier 67. I think it's, I think it's just a little bit beyond my means. Plus this boss has a little bit too many AoE effects. A lot more than some of the others, it seems like. What the hell are these things? I know that I think they're actually part of the boss because they weren't in any of the other bosses. They're not just environmental effects, but like the combination of those and the other effects is making it very difficult for me to dodge the environmental effects because of those things that are constantly floating around. Why, why does it feel like the pit is literally just a culmination of them just like throwing everything in the kitchen the sink at us and hoping to see what works? That's what it feels like. Oh look, there's a guy. He's gonna shoot some things at me. I'm gonna go over here. Ow, that hurt. Oh look, there's another one. Don't shoot me with the things. I don't wanna get shot with the things. I don't want to get shot with the things. I don't want to get shot with the things. I still got shot with the things. Right as I stagger the boss, too. Why, why does it feel like every single time I stagger the boss, all of a sudden an environmental effect comes up to kill me? It's like, congratulations! You have successfully staggered the boss. You have won the grand prize of a fist directly up your anus. Congratulations. Your prize will be a... Delivered to you immediately. Right up the ani. Exactly as it was delivered and ordered. Right where you like it. In the ani. How many anis? The multiple anis. All of the ani. Every single one. Look at all the a I coming for your gun. I don't even know what the hell got me that time. Nobody expects the kitchen sink for the weapon. I don't know. I'm hitting a wall here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash my head into this wall repeatedly. I've already failed. I want to try it out with the shatter key pass up. I want to see if there's really that much difference between the two. So let's uh, let's change out uh, the avalanche key passive um, for the shatter key passive, and let's uh, put the enigma cube in here. And I'm pretty sure there's a shatter. Uh, yes, explosions from the Shatter Key passive deal 35% increased damage. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so let's see how how much different it is with the Shatter as opposed to the Avalanche. Like, I have a feeling, and this is just my feeling, because uh, I feel. Let me tell you how I feel. I'm all feel. I feel. Feel. 
Do you feel? All right, let's see how let's see how our our change does. Let's go back to the 67. I think if we get a different boss on the 67, I think we'll be fine, but because we have I think because we have that specific boss, the um that that one with the slowdown effects, I think made it almost next to impossible to to like work my way through that. Alright, Shatter Key Passive. How does things change? Looks like more powerful to me. Shatter key passive basically turns this into a cakewalk. My only thing I don't like about the shatter key passive is that it does absolutely nothing versus bosses. Like it doesn't it doesn't do anything versus bosses. I wish they updated the shatter key passive so that it had some kind of effect on bosses. I don't I don't know what they could do exactly to make it have some kind of effect on bosses, but It'd be nice if it did something. Anything. As opposed to the nothing that it currently does. But you guys are all immune, huh? Okay. Alright. Let's see how you like some deep freeze, and then I'm gonna pop out of the deep freeze, and then you're gonna be you're gonna be not immune again, and then I'm gonna free freeze you. The Shatter Key passive literally feels amazing. You can see the monsters just like disintegrating from the field of battle because they're frozen. Like it's it's pretty ridiculous how how absolutely like ridiculously fast I'm killing the monsters in this tier 67 with with the Shatter Key passive. As you can see, I still have seven minutes and 57 seconds left, and I'm already at half. If I had Tal Rasha's iridescent loop, this would be a hell of a lot more damage too. I'm missing basically a 45% multiplier here, which would help out tremendously. Hey, we got a Blast Wave Shrine. Let's do a little cheaty cheaty and let's save this Blast Wave Shrine for the boss. I haven't had the Butcher jump down on my head yet. I wonder if the Butcher just doesn't come down during these. Alright. Oh, they take away the Blast Wave Shrine when the portal spawns. That's rude. I should have clicked on the Blast Wave Shrine before the portal spawn spawned. Oh, we got the Bramble this time? Good. The Bramble's not as bad. I say that and then instantly get one shot. That was beautiful. He's not as bad as some of the other ones, although I did just get absolutely annihilated by him. I don't know what the hell hit me. 
I was pretty sure he was busy attacking a different direction. Oh, it's one of those stupid things. Those are a little bit easier to dodge than the random ones, at least. Okay, so this is a boss, a 166 boss with the Shatter Key Passive instead of the Avalanche Key Passive. So I am losing a large amount of damage here. Spawned an environmental effect on me while I was in my deep freeze. I had absolutely no chance to evade that environmental effect that was spawned directly on my head. As soon as I came out of the deep freeze, I was instantly dead. Like there was there was literally nothing I could have done. Holy freaking snake eyes. So many so many environmental effects. I'm not dying to the bosses. I'm dying to the environmental effects. I, I don't I don't like it. They're just spamming environmental effects on you until you basically have no choice but to die because there's like three or four of environmental effects literally surrounding you in a circle like some sort of ancient battle of the warriors where you literally just like have no choice but to lay down your arms and surrender because you've been surrounded by environmental effects to the point where you can't handle it anymore. Like, what, what's the point of that exactly? I mean, granted, I can't survive the environmental effects, so I guess there's that. I guess I just need to keep moving, and I just need to, like, stay on the edges of the screen away from the environmental effects. Because I don't really have much choice when I'm in that... When I'm in this... When you're in the center of the battlefield with the boss, you're pretty much gonna die. Like, because all the environmental effects kind of coalesce at the center of the battlefield, and you don't really have much choice in like surviving so you kind of have to like stay on the edges of the battlefield away from the environmental effects so that when like an environmental effect spawns here you're kind of far enough away that it doesn't immediately hit you because if you're in the center of the battlefield they'll just spawn the environmental effects like here 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 like all the way around you in a circle till eventually you're just surrounded by environmental effects just like coning in on you. So you kind of have to like hug the outer edge of the arena otherwise you just you end up surrounded by them. I didn't get any do janks that time. All right, I think I've tested this character enough. Let's go test some other characters. I'm I'm getting bored of uh of testing this one. It feels like I could make some refinements and I could definitely get a lot higher in the in the tier count, but um, I'm interested to see how high some of the other ones are capable of getting as well. Um, I want to take my uh, minion necromancer out for a spin. I haven't played him since the first day. We can get his stuff upgraded and um, we can go into some of the some of the pits and see how high he can go. Let's go over to Saragar. Only time will tell, Milan. My personal opinion still hasn't changed. I feel like the content is going to scale to a point where most people aren't going to be able to complete the content. And that's where things are going to really show their face. 
where the where the ugly inner workings of the way that the greater rifts function are gonna kind of show their their ugly faces. They're very ugly faces. They got ugly faces. Faces so ugly. Only a mother could love those faces. Let's go ahead and upgrade all his equipment. Let's get it all to at the very least tier the first the first tier upgrade. I don't know why my HP goes up while I'm upgrading stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Instant fail. Try to go to the next tier. Instant fail. All right. Um, how's our resistances? Capped. Let me go pull out my gems real quick just to be sure. So what are we running? The only thing we need is poison right now. And poison caps us out. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some skulls for the armor. Brings us up to 19,000 armor. So I got this guy set up full minion. Let's just hop right into a tier 67 and see if he can handle a tier 67. I don't think he can. I, I don't know, but I don't think he can. I have no clue. We're about to find out. Okay, well, he handled that well enough. Okay, well, actually, no. He's handling stuff just fine. Alright. Good old 48,339 attack power there. I guess Minion Mancer's back on the menu, boys. Half the boss battle is just going to be me running around while my minions dish out their damage output. Just trying to stay alive. I'm low on yes, Kubas Abubas. Do you gotta go do this? <laughs> I smelled you tooting. You were tooting earlier. I know you. I know them, them farts are just turds whistling for Clarence. I mean, I don't want to say that this guy's, like, extraordinarily fast or anything. I feel like the uh, sorceress was going faster. God, dodging freaking fireballs.
Okay, seven minutes and 31 seconds left. radius of Decrepify is insane. I've got like all Decrepify radius equipment on. Alright, give me a second, Kubus. After we finish this one, I'll take you out. Okay, buddy? You got star reams. You got the reams. The da rooms. It's so low. You got the bubble guts. How about the bubble guts? So yeah, that because I was looking away. You got the bubble guts. You got the guts of the bubble. That's okay if you got the bubble guts. I get the bubble guts sometimes too. It's how you do. You get the bubble guts. That's why I said bubble guts. He said, what kind of bubble guts? Get the gurgly gurglies or the burbly burblies? Because the gurgly gurglies are worse than the burbly burblies. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what are you, what language is you speaking right now? What language is this? I don't like this language. That's a bad language. That's the, 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 you was making fun. Because I got to go do this. You just want to go outside and play with the raccoon. That's what you want to do. You gonna play with the raccoon? You like raccoons? How about possums? How about squirums? You like squirums? What do you think about squirums? Are they good or are they bad? They bad squirums? What kind of squirums is they? The best kind of squirums? Only good squirum is a dead squirum? Is that what you said? Did they make fun of you? Oh, I was standing in the AOE circle. Hoopies. That's what I get for talking to Cody. Cody, stop distracting me. I'm trying to kill the boss. Standing in the thing again. Almost got my booty cheeks slapped. Almost got my booty cheeks clapped. Almost got my booty cheeks clapped. Clapping all the cheeks. Booty cheeks are clapping. Almost got my booty cheeks clapped. I don't want my booty cheeks clapped. I don't want my booty cheeks clapped. If it's all right with you, I'd rather keep them free of a clapping. Cause I don't like it. See if I can stay alive long enough. <laughs> I 
Them random environmental effects, though. Like, I can't... I don't know what they expect you to do. Like, there's so many of them, and they're all over the place. Like, I'm a necromancer, and I'm literally not even in the fight. I'm just, like, in the back, like, watching the fight, and I'm still getting my booty cheeks clapped by the random environmental effects. I'm not ready yet. I mean, it reminds me all the way back in Season Zero when we were first trying to clear the, uh, the freaking, um the tier four boss and like we didn't have enough armor we didn't have enough resistances and like every single thing that the tier four boss was doing was one shotting us and like we didn't have any chance of survival because we would literally just get one shot by like every single tiny effect that he would do even if it wasn't necessarily meant to be a one shot we were still getting one shot by it and we couldn't do anything about it because we're just like over here in the corner just getting one shot by everything and I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do about these either, because these environmental effects, while at first seemed rather innocuous and rather like tame, once you get into the higher tiers, the one, sh the little, the little environmental effects which were innocuous and tame now become one shots because they're dishing out so much damage that you really can't take them anymore. So you basically go from like, oh, that was funny, you tickled me a little bit, to ow, wow, where's my head? And <laughs> there's like no in-between. Like it just, it shifts very suddenly from the environmental effects aren't even scary to wow, if any of these environmental effects touch me, I'm immediately dead. And there's like no in-between. You just dead. You just die. That's it. You just did. Okay, Cody. I said I'd take you out to go Peppa do this. Come on, buddy. Let's go do Dos Peppas before you fart me out of the room. I'll be right back, guys.
Ugh. All right, I'm back. Cody's out there chasing possums. That's what Cody likes to do. He's a possum chaser. What's up, girl of gore? How's it going? How's it doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let's go back a little bit. What's this guy capable of? Oh, he went up to 52. Let's do 52. I bet she handles 52 with ease. 60, 66, 67 seems to be a break point. Like, once you get to around that point, things get a lot tougher than normal. You need more damage reduction. You need more survivability. Like, your basic levels of survivability and damage reduction are not enough. Minions are actually, like, putting in work now, though. I'm actually pretty surprised with how good the minions are now. I don't like how my minions get, like, feared away by some of the monsters with, like, fear effects, though. I really could use the, uh, what, the Ring of Mendelm? I could really use the Ring of Mendelm. I think that would be really solid with this particular build. I do not have it, Sam I am. I do not have it, Sam I am. I do not have it, Green Eggs and Ham. I need more time. Suppressor field with the explodies. I don't like the explodies. The explodies are me. All the explodies. Cody, you're an explody. Your butthole explodes. Did you know that? You got an explody butthole. Why you explode? Why you butthole so explody? That jank coming out loud. about my butthole like that. So you don't know me. You don't know me. I'm not ready yet. Slam them into the dirt, my friend. Slam them in the dirt. Wow, I was walking away really fast. I was doing one of those fast walks you do as a kid. You remember, remember when your friends like, I bet you I can beat you in a walking contest. And they're like, you're like, what? I can walk faster than you. You're like, oh, no, that's running. You're running. You got to walk. You can't, you can't run. You got to walk as fast as you can walk. You can't run as fast as you can run. They're like, how the hell do you walk as fast as you can walk? And then you, like, spend effort trying to walk as fast as you can possibly walk without running. Because that's a whole thing. Oh, I'm the fastest walker. You can't, nobody walks faster than me. I've got the fastest walk in the West. I've got to walk so fast that Clint Eastwood is afraid of me. Nah, don't mess with that guy. He's a fast walker. You don't want to mess with him. He's got the fast walk. He'll walk up on you so fast you won't even realize he's walking. You're like, holy Jesus, how fast do you walk? I'm not ready yet. Pretty fast. I'm not ready yet. Yeah, suck a man. Suck a man, suck a man. I gotta say, Min Minion Mancer is pretty strong these days. Like this, this hundred percent stat thing is is absolutely great. I love it. 
I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I died and I don't know how I died, but I died and I don't know why exactly it happened, but I'm gonna keep going and saunter and shally right on forth. A shally forth. Only true evil dead people know that meme. Only true evil dead know people know that meme. That's right. Only true Evil Dead fans know the Sally Forth man. I need more time. Almost got the boss bond. The Guardian awaits. I'm just glad they didn't bring back the cheesy Nephilim sound effect. What the hell was that? He, she summoned things around me in a circle that then followed me around and then finally once they finished following me around for a specific period of time they then attacked me. So I basically have no chance of getting away from them. What kind of bullcrap attack is that? That attack is complete and utter bullcrap. So if I don't have an invincibility effect to basically be able to make myself invincible, I just can't kill you? Get in there and kill her before she does... Yeah, dang. Yeah, stagger her. Stagger her. Don't let her kill me. I was mid-casting. I was, I was literally mid-casting. I was all... God, that is a really bullcrap attack. She literally just puts these little orbs around you, and the orbs spin around you in a circle until they finally swipe at you. But they just follow you everywhere, and you can't really do anything about the orbs following you around, except for to just keep moving. And even then, they still hit you. And each one of them is capable of dishing out a really large percentage of your health and damage. I'm just gonna just keep running around in circles and let my minions deal with everything. I fucking lost the mastery on this because I died too many times. That is a stupid cheesy attack. Cheesy. Cheese. Cheesy cheese. Cheesy cheesy moms choose cheese. Cheesy moms choose cheese. I guess this character can't handle one of the higher tiers. He's getting his booty cheeks flopped. I mean, he seems to be doing okay, up to a certain point, and then he's failing. So, I'm not getting any upgrade materials because I keep failing. I wonder if I've got any upgrade um, aspects for this guy. Uh, so, I got the Skeletal Priest one. What's that one called? It's called uh, Blood Getters. So, the Blood Getters, I got a 67. Mine's a 57. Okay. I got a better one of those. I know I got a better Juggernauts because I found that while I was playing. Type in Jug. <laughs> Giggity. Alright, this one is the Frenzied Dead. That one's a 30%. It's a bottom roll. And it's still a bottom roll. Alright, this one is you and your minions gain damage reduction. That would be great if I had a better version of this one. That one's called Hardened Bones. So I got a 1 out of 16 on the Hardened Bones. 
poopies, poopies, and poopies. Uh, that's the reanimation. Do I got a better reanimation? Twenty-five percent out of forty. Twenty. Oh, no, mine's better. Man, all these suck. This character's got a lot of upgrading to do before he's in his final form, though. Maybe that's why I'm just not really doing as best as I could. Uh, what is this one? Uh, commanders. Unyielding the commanders. One out of 16. That's worse. Band of adaptability. There's got to be a better thing I can put there besides the adaptability. It's not really the best one for me. I mean, most of the time I'm not using resource. Let's throw that on there. I mean, I do use some resource, but it's not really that important. May your road be filled with wonders. Let's try it again. Um. <laughs> fart, 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 fart. Mm. It's 2.30 a.m. on a friggin' uh, Thursday. Of course, everybody's going to sleep. Mm. I need a better hardened bones aspect. That's a big one right there. Large group of monsters. That was that was a lot in one spot. It was, a, it was a lot.
next. Jesus. I'm not ready yet. All the frickin' explosions. Way too many explodies. Explody boys. I need more time. I gotta be careful where I use the golem at. The golem is like my main unstoppable, and he also uh, is my main suck-in as well, which, I mean, both are helpful, but... I need more time. Tired of getting shot at by everything. Holy Jesus, that's a lot of monsters. Good thing I don't gotta fight them all, because the Rift Guardian's about as well. What kind of Rift Guardian we got this time? Dead Mother? Dead Mother's a little bit easier than some of the others. Still got all the stupid environmental effects, but it won't be as a bad. Ow, 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 ow. shot by the random death effects. I don't like it. Greetings. How shall I guide my hammer? How shall I guide my hammer? Your butthole's a hammer. How about that? Your butthole's a hammer. Alright, so we got a bunch of materials. We can upgrade some stuff. We still need a whole lot of, uh, of yellow materials on this guy, so... It's pretty much... We'll just type in 44. Let's see if we can get a, a weapon fully upgraded on this guy. Immediate failure. Success. Failure. Success. Success. Oh, that one was not a success. Another failure. There goes all my materials. I need to test out the druid next. It's 
crazy how fast everything dies with these minions now. I mean, they're really good minions. They're not stunted anymore like they used to be. It'd be nice if I still had uh, corpse tendrils, though. I gotta admit, the lack of corpse tendrils is is sad. I just don't think the pull in that the golem is providing is is as good as the pull in from the corpse tendrils. Stop to look at my freaking skill for like one second and almost died. time we need to stay alive. of everything on their own. Powerful. Oh, nice. A perfect hectic. Not bad.
I thought this was interesting too. Skeletal priests empower your skeletal warriors to attacks to deal shadow damage. I thought that was kind of interesting because if you use this in combination with um, like the shadow blade key passive, and you get like the shadow mages, and then you also get the shadow warriors essentially by utilizing this aspect here, you should be able to potentially put out some pretty crazy levels of shadow damage to keep stacking that shadow blight key passive to the moon and back which could be some pr pretty crazy damage overall I mean you gotta think you've got um, what is that uh, seven warriors and the seven warriors would all be attacking and applying shadow damage and then you've got your mages which are also applying to apply shadow damage so you've got Seven plus five, so five is that ten, uh, twelve, uh, and then uh, your minion doesn't put out any shadow damage, but you'd have twelve different effects hitting the monster at any given time, applying shadow damage, stacking the shadow blight key passive at that point, which is every time you hit ten rotations, you get an explosion of the shadow damage of the shadow blight key passive, right? And then there's all those things that allow you to get extra damage for having the Shadow Blight Key Passive activated over a certain number of times, right? Well, I mean, with literally more than 10 shadow attacks that are occurring on a regular basis, and then if you were also to stack in, of course, the Shadow Mages get an additional bolt every three attacks, that means that every three attacks you would be looking at um, what is that? So we take our 12 warrior, or 12 attacks, and we multiply that by 3, and we get 36. Um, then we take our mages, which are currently at, uh, what do they have, 5? We got 5 mages. So we take our 5 mages, and we say, um, they get a free attack every third attack. So that's 3 times 5, which is 15, so... They get an additional attack, so they get 20 attacks every every three cycles. So, so that's 7 times 3 plus 20, which is 41 attacks per three cycles, which divided by 10, which is your Shadow Blight Key Passives, means you're getting 4.1 Shadow Blight Key Passive cycles per rotation of your minions. Assuming, of course, that... Uh, that's the only thing we're calculating. So you also obviously are going to have your own blight damage and other shadow sources that you might be coming across. So you could potentially be rotating this shadow blight key passive uh, anywhere between like four to anywhere as high as like maybe six or seven times per three rotations of your minions, which sounds kind of insane, especially considering there's an aspect that's literal sole purpose is to give you huge amounts of damage if you can keep your shadow bite key passive up 10 times in a row so you have 10 you have to like trigger 10 shadow bite key passives to get a huge bump in damage and once you get a huge bump in damage with those 10 shadow bite key passives if you can maintain that that's a huge damage bump that you could maintain on a regular basis through the minions basically just cycling that shadow damage infinitely uh it sounds kind of neat to be perfectly honest Alright, so let's try the Landslide Druid. Let's see how high he can get. I haven't actually played around with him at all. So let's go over to Saragar. I just kind of want to play around with his abilities. He hasn't upgraded anything. We can go upgrade some stuff. I don't know what to do with this guy, really. Um, it's been a long time since I've ran this build. And things have changed significantly since I've ran this build, so... I'm not really 100% sure exactly what, how to run it or what to do. Um, I do have the Earthbreaker ring, though, which is the new ring that gives you all those crazy effects. So um, let's start off by masterworking the, uh, the Earthbreaker ring at the very least. I forge more than horseshoes and nails. What do you need? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get all his stuff masterworked. And then let's go into the, the doojank. Masterworking invalid item? Why is it invalid? What? 
missing 4116 masterwork underscore invalid item. Well, I guess I need a new weapon. Masterwork invalid item, so my gloves also can't be masterworked. Why? My amulet can't be masterworked. My ring can't be masterworked. What what is why do I have items that are just completely immune to being masterworked? That's weird. I guess I'm gonna have to find upgrades for those bases and, and re redo them, I suppose. I don't know what this guy's capable of. Let's just throw him in the deep end. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to do like tier 56, but let's throw him in the deep end and see if he dies. If he dies, he dies. Um, they have been tempered as far as I know. The, they, they all have tempering done to them. Some of them are bricked. Maybe that's what's wrong with them. Some of them, I think those items in particular have been bricked by tempering them too much. Maybe that's why they're not master workable because they've been bricked. Well, that was a little rough. Yeah, for a melee character, he ain't hanging with nothing. He's got the damage output. Hey, he's got the damage output, guys. He can kill stuff. That was a little bit rough, though. He just got, like, absolutely demolished there. Kinda felt bad for him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait, no, not quite. Okay. I don't know why he didn't die there. Third death or second death? I don't even know. It's a lot. So he's not tanky enough, but he has the damage output. Interesting. I mean, until I get, like, completely sucked into, like, a big group of monsters or some ridiculous monster comes into play, it's, it seems like I'm, like, okay, like, for the most part. It's only the big Donkin space hits that annihilate me. I really just need more damage reduction, I guess. 
Actually, you know what? I didn't even check. Do I have this character's, like, resistances set up right? Okay. He's got 17k armor, too, which isn't, like, terrible. I don't even know what the hell killed me that time. I guess the deep end for my boy is a little too deep. He got me. He got me with that stupid stab attack that locks you into an animation and you can't get out of it. Sad, sad, sad. Man, it's a 90 second death penalty whenever you die after like the third time. That's pretty crazy. 90 seconds is, is a minute and a half. So you're penalized a minute and a half every single time you die after like three times. Turn into a werewolf. The hell? Oh, Blood Howl. That's right. I forgot Blood Howl is a werewolf skill and turns you into a werewolf. It's a buff, so I never really think about it like that. Hang in the middle of all them elites, though. I cannot. I might be able to complete this dungeon, but I'm not going to get the mastery, obviously. It's, it's, just, it's just too much. Where the hell did it freaking spawn me back at? God, I hate the checkpoints in these pits, too. Like, holy Jesus. Some of the checkpoints will be like two or three teleports <coughs> backwards. And it won't even put you next to the portal. Like, you gotta just remember which way to go. God, that's a lot of freaking damage in a very short period of time. The density is crazy, uh, to the point where literally I can't even, I can't see the ground because of my own attacks, but then at the same time, like, there's so much going on, I don't even, I don't even know what kills me half the time, I just die to, like, an overwhelming force of, like, 10 trillion attacks all at the same time hitting me. Well, it's, uh, the density is crazy in these, in these things. Equipment's broken, or it's about to break. I'm not ready yet. And back behind the portal again. Screw your stupid checkpoints. I don't even know what the hell even killed me that time. The lightning pillars? I think it was the lightning pillars. get out of the lightning pillars. Whenever they start spawning the lightning pillars, like, I have no choice but to run. The lightning pillars are just too much. 
Can't handle them. It. I was literally trying to get out of the freaking thing and I got stunned on the way out and back behind the portal again. I just want to complete this. I want to see if I can actually kill the boss. So I'm going to keep going until at least I get to the boss so I want to see like how I do against the boss versus the, the minions. I have a feeling that a lot of those AoE environmental effects are probably going to one-shot me as well. Bless it. All my equipment's broken. <laughs> Let's go repair my jank. Let's Go Reaper Magic. Let's go Reaper Magic after all. What is any more like damage reduction? I'm using the basic skills, which is not helping because I can't get in there and actually activate it. Grab some more armor. I don't know, I'm already sitting at 18,910 armor, so I don't really know. Artillery Shrine is active again. Yeah, I might use it too. Holy Jesus. Okay, that was a little much. That was a little, that was a very high density pack there. I'm going back too for for thirds and seconds. with these lightning bolts that like follow you around and try to kill you like no matter where you are these things freaking calacious yeah. alright there we go I got them spread out a little bit these lightning bolts are just insane I don't know which one of the monsters is doing the lightning bolts but they really freaking hurt Take some of those potions back, please. Thank you very much. Please and thank you. If 
feel like I'm so barely there on the damage reduction to stay alive that a lot of the times you can literally see my HP fluctuating up and down as I heal myself and like I, I, I bring my fortification up and like my fortification falls down and like I bring my damage reduction up and it's just like constantly just like flapping in the wind like a tent flap at a, at a weird campsite. And I really can't do much to stop it. Like, most of the time I'm so close to to dying. It, it definitely needs a large amount of damage reduction here. Like, I mean, I got a Harlequin Crest Shaco, 20% damage reduction would go miles. Um, I don't know what other kind of damage reduction I could really freaking add in here, but I definitely need something. I couldn't get the guy in the back. Almost to the boss. Almost to the boss. Let's punish ourselves a little bit more. You know. And I'm an apod today saying to Amen. God, there's so many elites though. Like every time I find a pack of elites, I start fighting that pack of elites, and then behind that pack of elites is another pack of elites. And then I end up just like swarming in like just lightning, fire, ice, cold, poison, everything in the world. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do half the time. Like, there's not even anywhere to stand on the ground most of the time. I feel like the minion necromancer and the, the sorceress really kind of like just breeze through this stuff because most of the time they were freezing the enemies so they didn't have to deal with a lot of this crap that I'm dealing with. This guy, he's not freezing nothing. I got, like, the full brunt of every single elite pack just right up my tuchus. He really needs some kind of, like, crowd control or stun or something or... I don't know. Like, he needs something. He's got, like, no mitigation. He can't stop these guys from ripping him to shreds. And his HP just drops to zero almost instantaneously every single time I get into battle. Got that lightning thing. What the hell is that? It does so much freaking damage. Do I have a lightning elixir in here? I do have a lightning elixir. Let's put that lightning elixir on. Maybe it'll help prevent me from getting my butt hole ripped open at least once or twice. It's really that lightning damage thing that's really ripping me to shreds. There's so much lightning going on over here. There's the lightning spires. There's the lightning eyeballs that are hunting me down. There's also some sort of, like, individual lightning rain. I want to call it lightning rain that's also coming down on me. And I have max lightning resistance. And then I'm also, now I'm running the lightning potion, too. So I am uh, I should be sitting at 76% lightning res. And they're still ripping through my 33,000 HP and my barrier with no problem. I'm just trying to kill, like, one or two of them so I can move on to the boss. There's so many lightning ones in here, too. Let me just, like, try and kill ones that aren't lightning ones so I can get the boss to spawn. Yay, the boss spawned and my torture has ended. Uh, or is or has it. I could just be more torture at the boss. <laughs> okay, one shot king over here. I mean, I'm obviously doing a considerable amount of crowd control damage because his stagger bar went up really freaking fast.
I am out of potions. Well, I got them down to about half. Killed by an environmental effect, which is pretty much what I expected. Hmm. Had to be that boss, though. That that one seems to be a little bit harder than all the rest of the bosses. The, um... I don't know what to call that one. The beetle. The really weird-looking, crazy-looking beetle. Ugh, I could have just farted again. Trying to see if I can tank it by just getting in here, making sure my damage reduction is up, and just hitting my barriers, making sure my barriers stay up constantly. Which is something that I can totally do on this character. I mean, it's not like I can't maintain like permanent uptime on my barriers. It's kind of like how this character works, is basically near permanent uptime on barriers. Unfortunately... Now he's got these little things on top of me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain it now. Yeah, my fingers hurt from pressing the buttons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. God, there's so many buttons. I gotta press the buttons. So many buttons I gotta press. This character is insane with the sheer number of buttons you gotta press on a regular basis. Because I have the uh, the ability to basically reset most of these abilities on a regular basis, like every time I crit, this one gets reset. This resets Blood Howl and uh, Earthen Bulwark like over and over and over again. And then like I also have the um, uh, the stupid potion that I gotta hit to see you stay alive is like I'm freaking hitting like four buttons like per two seconds every two seconds like over and over and over again like like I'm playing a piano or something I'm not ready. if I had some sort of self heal I feel like this would go a lot better like if I threw in um, that vampiric power that heals you basically every single time you do an attack. I could definitely be one way that I could sustain during or in between these these phases where they're basically ripping me down. get him to about the same amount of HP every single time. As soon as he starts putting up those little clouds, I really don't have much of a, of a chance anymore. Unfortunately. <clears throat> I used to broke all my equipment. He's good, bonkers. I don't know what to do with this guy. I mean, Blood Howl is my only heal at this particular point. And it just doesn't come up often enough. I mean, one thing I could do to make Blood Howl come up more often is I could swap out one of these aspects. I don't really know which one the hell I could swap out, though. I guess maybe Hectic. Or the, um... God, there's an aspect that basically makes it so that your... 
werewolf and werebear skills act as uh, not that one I think it has to be put on pants. I think that's what it is. It's called like nature's something, I think, or I can't remember. Do I not have it? Is that what it is? Because uh, I know it's called like... I think it's called savagery or like nature's... Nature's something. Unless it's been removed from the game. Um, I mean it has to do with blood howl. Let's see if I can just type for howl. Dark howl. No, that's not it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, we also have the undying aspect. Which I could potentially slot in for something. Put the undying aspect on the amulet for right now, just to see if, just to see if a little bit of extra heals could potentially bridge the gap. I mean, we have a pretty large amount of HP, and maybe a little bit of heals is all we need. That jank says 98 minutes and 11 seconds. Why does it say 98 minutes and 11 seconds? Did I break it? And the undying aspect kind of shores up the problem of me constantly losing HP. I mean, most of the time I wouldn't die, but a lot of the attacks would dish out a lot of damage to me, and I would end up in, like, a kind of a crappy state. It looks like the undying power does a good job to basically just kind of shore that all up so it's not so terrible anymore. Almost got me. Standing inside these things is freaking deadly. These little, I don't know, I don't know what they call them. Spotlights? Let's call them spotlights. The spotlights are deadly. I don't think the undying power is going to make that much of a difference, though, for like when I was getting a one shot in the middle of a giant group of monsters. I mean, for fighting, like, a boss like this, yeah, but I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference when I'm, like, getting attacked by, like, 30 elites. This is such a slow fight. I definitely don't have like the damage of a Hoda bar, but that's for sure. Did you give me a new weapon? Hey look, you gave me a new weapon. 
I don't even care if it's a good weapon. I'm just gonna put it on because my weapon is currently unupgradable. And I guess I can just go ahead and put on the amulet too because my amulet is unupgradable. Which I don't know why. I don't know why they're unupgradable. They've been tempered. They're 925 items. There's no reason why they shouldn't be. It's just bugged, I guess. I'm not really min-maxing any of this equipment anyway, so... Hurricane size. Hurricane duration. Lightning storm duration. Chance for tornado projectiles cast wise. Wind shear projectiles to crest wise. <laughs> Mole size. Lacerate duration. Shred critical strike chance. Rabies duration. Lucky hit, a 40% chance to deal random amounts of poison, fire, lightning damage. It's kind of neat. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty nice little boof of, like, whatever elemental damage you want to throw onto your character. It's kind of, it's actually kind of neat, to be honest. crowd control damage for this guy because it increases his total damage output. It's interesting that the greater affixes, they stay, but maybe you don't necessarily want the greater affixes. What the hell is the bonus to clarity? Abundance. Clarity is the, um... Is this passive, right? this item real fast.
I need the other one. No, I don't want close enemies for this build. Keeps giving me the one I don't want. I don't want that one. I can get clarity on the rings too. Just got plus two clarity on the ring. And now it's been tempered to its limit. It's been tempered. Tempered to its limit. Come on down, my friend. Gonna tamper till the end. Tamper to the limit. I want Wolf's attack speed. I want Poison Creeper duration. Hmm. Maybe I hadn't tempered this one all the way. Kind of like this one better. I guess maybe I just hadn't tempered it all the way yet. I don't want ultimate skills, do jank. There you go. Now I got two clarity and two clarity. I like it. I could re-roll the movement speed, but I might not get the movement speed, so I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. Amaralades. Oh, I got my emerald back when I destroyed that other item. How my resistance is looking now? 1462, way over on poison. Like I'm 62% over on poison? That's crazy. I've got a poison res 61.6% .6 poison right there on the leggings that can be re rolled. It's on the tempering. The uh, defensive? Oh, I don't even need the poison. It's like so far over on the poison that it's... it's, And I'm not using a poison jewel either. I am using a shadow jewel, which I'd like to get away from. So let's see if we can reroll it to shadow. Nope, cold. Poison again. Cold again. I need shadow. And to lightning. Okay. Exactly what I didn't need. Do 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 to the limit. 
issue. Now my poison resistance isn't capped, and I can't take out the gem in my equipment. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly what I wanted, yes. Yes! Damage over time is a greater affix. So rerolling the greater affix destroys the greater affix, right? Turns it into a non greater affix. Yes, it already destroyed the greater affix and turned it into a non greater affix. Before I even chose to destroy it, it, auto it automatically destroyed it. Interesting. You can get life on like every single piece of equipment too, it's crazy. So you can re-roll a greater affix, but re-rolling the greater affix will immediately destroy the greater affix. Not even just if you replace it, but if you re-roll it and even if you don't choose to re to completely destroy it, it automatically destroys it. Alright, let's go into a lower tier one. Let's see if we can find one that's actually more our style with this character. Let's go down to uh, 43. Um, let's take a look at a 43. Let's see if this character can handle 43 by himself. certainly more seems the style of this particular character or the power level definitely seems to be just rolling through these sound going on. set up my Frenzy Barbarian from a couple seasons ago. See how well the Frenzy Barbarian runs up there. They've made some changes to Kick, which makes it sound absolutely crazy. And uh, I think uh, I think Kick could be absolutely insane at this point, but it'll take me a little while to get him set up properly. I think out of all the characters, that character could probably handle the most content with ease. He was doing like tier 10 AOZs without even really scaling up his tiers of blood cliff, which was pretty good. Can 
They're running out of stuff to kill. Where the hell is everything in this one? Okay, down here, I guess. I'm not ready yet. Next. It's crazy how much of a difference just like ten what was that ten tiers? Ten tiers made? I mean me going from getting one shot every single pack to literally just like walking through this stuff. A bit spicy there. I almost died. I saw my HP bar drop. I'm not ready yet. I must wait a All right. Boss time. Let's see how much easier the boss is now. <laughs> I probably should have moved out of that. I saw it coming, and I was like, you know what? I was like, that looks dangerous. Like, let me see if I can tank it. You know what the answer to that question was? I couldn't tank it. That was the answer to the question. You guys saw me answer the question? I guess getting hit by all of them at one time was a little much. down again, so we just need to get out of the circle. I thought maybe I could tank it. I got all my little buffs running, I had all my little damage mitigations running, I had my fortifications up, I had I had all my little doojanks, I had all my little doojanks up, but I guess it just wasn't enough. All my little doojanks. All my little dudes coming on down. Look at all my dudes pounding down to town. We got them dudes. All of them. We got them dudes. So many of them. Every single dudes all over town. All of the dudes coming back to town. We got them dudes. All of them dudes. All of them do, thanks. Now, granted, if you take this character into, like, a regular zone, like, you just throw him into, like, the Helltide, for instance, I don't even think this guy would have any issue killing anything, like, at a whim. Just, like, press a button and bam, like, all everything dies. The Helltide's gonna be so easy by comparison. Like, let's go out here and just murder some stuff real quick, just for lulls, so you can see the difference. Everything die in the hell time. Do 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 do. I need to get like a big pack.
Come on, where are all the monsters at? Oh, there's the there's the central the central summoning pylon. Screaming Helvin! I'm not ready yet. Hey, somebody summoned the center thing. This guy. God, these freaking dust devils are insane. Brigadine birding. I found a horsey, guys. Found a horsey. I can't even do nothing. This guy's not even doing anything. He's literally just whirlwinding around and the dust devils are just shooting everywhere. He's not even hitting any monsters. The dust devils are just killing everything. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I mean, I like that it's ridiculous, but it's still ridiculous. Just, I just stood next to the boss and lagged out until I died. It was amazing. My FPS dropped to like one. I couldn't even see what the hell was going on until I was dead. <laughs> the best kind of dead. Dust Devils are just so silly. <laughs> you can't even see anything on the screen when they're there. Like it's just it's just instantaneous blindness. They're so tall, they're literally touching the camera. If the, if the camera is a helicopter flying in the sky, the Dust Devils are literally hitting the helicopter up in the sky. It's great. It's exactly what everybody always wanted. It's not great, actually. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm, that was, I was memeing. I was being sarcastic. It's, I, I, don't, I like to be able to see. I also don't like how my FPS drops to like zero when they come out. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all. I can't see anything because of your silly needles. I ain't even trying to go fight Lilith. That could be something fun to go test out. What the hell did that say? Did that say Wolf's Honor?
Hey, she dropped me a helmet. Which helmet did she draw me? The one I already have, of course. Alright, I'm getting out of here. All the rare items that I don't look at anymore because the rare items suck. Hey, go fight Lilith. That sounds like fun. Let's go see how the minion mancer does against Lilith. It'd be interesting to test and see. Just just out of curiosity, like how the minion mancer can fare against the against Lilith now. I don't think the minion mancer was ever capable of killing Lilith with the exception of um the bugged um version that had the uh what was it the ring of mendeln so the bugged ring of mendeln version i think he i think they could do it but that was when the ring of mendeln was bugged before they fixed it so i mean i don't know i don't know what's going on with it now we can always go over there and kill Lilith real quick i haven't done it in a while apparently they've messed around with her mechanics a lot and made her um a lot easier as in the uh, well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to use the word easy because that implies that she was ever difficult to begin with. Um, they made her mechanics more fair, like less ridiculous. Like you know, like a lot of the one shots got apparently neutered, so that they're not one shots anymore. Which is honestly, in my opinion, a good thing because a lot of her attacks were just stupid. I don't understand why in a game, in a, in a progression-based game that's literally all about making your character tankier, more defensive, uh, etc., you would go with a boss that literally just bypasses all of that progression that you've succeeded in maintaining and just one-shot the person. Like it, It's kind of like the complete opposite of a progression-based game and how a progression-based game works. Is that in a progression-based game, you make your character tankier and stronger to withstand the hit. Well, if you put a one-shot in the game, you're basically just saying, well, all that progression that you did to make your character tankier and stronger is worthless because we're just going to kill you anyway. It's, it's, it's a stupid way to make a boss battle, in my opinion. Especially when you don't have, like, a guaranteed way that you can avoid getting hit by that one-shot. Wow, she's getting eradicated out of existence. This is insane. Oh, great. So you can survive the spikes now. That's absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad that you can survive the spikes. They're not one-shots anymore. What do you know? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Hit her with the curse, hit her with the dap, hit her with the dank, hit her with the jank, hit her with the bank, hit her with the tank, hit her with the lank and the pank and the lank and the tank and the tank and the pank and the jank and the lank. And she's already dead. Ow, these little freaking ghosties hurt a lot. Okay, so I killed her and she's dead, but she's not dead because of reasons. Those little freaking little things she was shooting out, they kind of hurt a lot, actually.
I'm running away. Yeah, bless it. There's so many of those things too. Like, how the hell am I supposed to dodge all those things? Run around in circles for like forever? Oh, I was in there. I was in there. I don't remember those little those little things shooting at you while you were doing it the first time. I remember ghosts. There was like there was like wispy ghosts that would come follow you around. I don't remember those. Those are different. I like the fight so far, though. Don't get me wrong. Like I know I'm, I'm you know I died a couple times, but and my damage output is obviously extremely sufficient. I'm really just trying to figure out exactly what's going on with that last mechanic that I've never seen before. It takes so long for her to spawn the second phase. It seems like the best way to avoid those little things that she's shooting out is pretty much just to run in circles. And I still messed up anyway. Hey, I'm over here. How many times am I gonna die? I cannot use that. I'm I'm missing a lot of damage reduction from the hardened bones aspect, which I really could use um like a much better uh, version of. I probably should take some time and gamble a better version, but... I'm just trying to see if I can kill her as a necro. I'm not used to killing her as a necromancer. There's a lot going on on the battlefield during this. I'm not ready yet. Okay, so she does this. And we get a whole bunch of those little purple things all spawning at the same time. Still ended up getting hit by those super purple things. Those are definitely new. They're changed from the previous versions, and I just don't know exactly how I'm supposed to deal with those. I don't know when they got changed. They could have been changed before the PTR, for all I know. It's been a while since I've actually come in here and killed Lilith. Ever since I conquered Lilith, I never really came back and did it again. It seems highly doable, though, on a minion necromancer. Like, the question I came in here to answer was, can the minion necromancer kill Echo of Lilith? Like by himself, essentially, without utilizing, you know, other forms of damage, like, you know, uh, like the Ring of Mendelm, for instance, or, like, other things that you might potentially use to get the effects. And the answer to the question, I think, is undoubtedly yes, the Minion Mancer can do it easily. As you can clearly see, I'm absolutely demolishing freaking uh, Echo of Lilith's HP. Just, just, just ripping it to shreds. So it's not really a question of hit points at this point. It's literally just a question of uh, doing the mechanics, which I'm trying to do the mechanics. I'm not ready yet. God, there's so many purple things all over the place. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. I'm trying to dodge the purple things. Each one of the purple things, they don't necessarily kill me on their own either, which is really quite interesting. So I'm, I'm not necessarily dying specifically because of the purple things. Um, I'm actually getting uh, to some surviving for quite some time. Uh, what, you mean my really big Decrepify? 
They added a bunch of mods where you can, like, increase the size of things, like, they increase the size of Decrepify and whatnot. It's, um, it's interesting. The size stuff is interesting in some ways, and it does actually look quite neat. In other ways, it actually looks really bad, and, like, like the Dust Devils, they get so big that literally they cover your entire screen. It's, it's a little much, and they need to tune it down, I think. I think I know what's going on. I think it is a one-shot. I think it still is a one-shot. I think I'm getting a stacking debuff, which is then stacking to a one-shot when I get hit more than a certain number of times. So I think what they've done is, is they've added in a stacking debuff that leads to a one-shot. So if I get hit more than a certain number of times, and this kind of explains to me what's going on, because I was wondering why... It seemed like, even though I was dodging them successfully, um, eventually I just get killed no matter what. Well, if you get hit by a certain number, you get a stacking, see this little thing right here? So, like, takes exponentially increasing damage from all sources. So I've basically got this stack down here, which is growing. And as the stack grows, eventually it gets to the point where I cannot survive. So it will always, if I get hit by too many of the, the one-shot abilities, I will eventually die. Um, which is actually a better way of dealing with it, in my opinion, than the way that they had been dealing with it. Because it does make for a much more interesting, you know, like, scenario. Only problem is, uh, these little freaking orby things seem to count as one of the one shots and I can't freaking dodge them things to save my life. I guess I need to save all of my um, I need to do all the mechanics in this first phase correctly so that I have the least number of hits on the second phase. I need to be able to survive until at least the second phase starts. Takes increasing damage from blood orb creation. From blood orb creation... Well, so much for uh, avoiding the stacks. I still have two stacks. I'm just running around like a madman trying to survive. <laughs> I feel like that's unfair for them to shoot like massive amounts of those stupid little ghosties at me while I'm on that little tiny platform with nowhere to evade. What the hell am I supposed to do? I feel like we very at least have uh, have confirmed that the minion necromancer can totally do it. Yeah, I had three of each debuff, I know. Uh, I've killed Lilith plenty of times, Snoopy. This is the new version of Lilith. That's the only reason I'm even in here. I'm just testing out this version of Lilith and seeing how the new mechanics work. And I'm also kind of just testing to see if the minion necromancer can do it at all by himself as well. The Minion Necromancer is, um, interesting. He, he definitely is dishing out more than enough damage. How do I like the PTR so far? Um, I really wish they had just let us copy our characters from the server instead of having to go through the process of rebuilding every single character 
collecting materials, like, the whole kit and caboodle, you know what I mean? Like, I also, there's a lot of bugs on the PTR, which I haven't enjoyed so far. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of work to get the characters into a condition where you can get the feeling for how their power level currently is. If that makes no sense. Um, things that I like and things that I hate that stand out to me immediately? Sure. Um, things I like. Um, I really, really like the ability to zoom out my camera. Um, really, 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 really like the ability to zoom out my camera. Um, I really, really hate the fact that they basically just ruined rare items in the game so that rare items are basically garbage now. I don't, I don't really much appreciate that at all. And I was chugging some potions too, trying to stay alive. If I could just make it one more platform, just one more platform, I'll be able to kill her. But I can, I, I can't make it that last platform. I know she only does three platforms, and then once she does three platforms, it's over. They're actually forcing you to do them, the like every single mechanic in this, despite how fast you kill her too, which is, which I guess is is what they want. They want to, they want to force you to do all the mechanics. I mean, granted, I know how to do the mechanics, but they're still annoying. Dang it, I did not mean to get hit by that spike. I hate I hate how she sometimes does that. You'll kill her, she's finished with the thing, and she'll throw out an extra spike at the end. At least now the spike doesn't instantly one-shot you, which is certainly really nice. Before, it used to just instantly one-shot you, which wasn't fun. I'm trying to figure out the best pattern to run for these, these, I don't know, I'll call them ghosts. They look different than the previous ghosts, but I'll call them ghosts. I, cannot. I mean, I just don't understand why you would go from having rare items be the king of the game to basically destroying them completely, like wiping them off the face of the planet like they were a disease that you wanted to just, like, obliterate. Well, I got hit there by some sort of, like, CC. Slowed me down and I couldn't move. She jumped on top of my head, I guess, and when she jumped on top of my head, she put some sort of slow on me. It was impossible for me to get out of the way of the spikes. At least her randomness isn't so absolutely punishing at this point. I feel like a lot of people will make it past the first phase now. Now that you can actually get past the first phase without getting one-shot by the spikes. I dodged the spikes, she still landed on my head, and she still gave me a stack. Oh my god, Turdnator. This Freaking robot vacuum cleaner turned on and was over here just like humping the chair. Like just straight up humping the chair over and over again. And I'm sitting here trying to concentrate to see if I can kill this freaking Echo of Lilith with the, or with the Necromancer. And meanwhile, the robot vacuum cleaner is just like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Dude, will you go over there? Get go go do your job somewhere like jesus christ in heaven all right 
Spikes, three, two, one. Right. It messed up, still got hit by the spikes anyway. She freaking slowed me. What's the point of that? Why, why? Well, I think I'm pretty much dead now. Why give you a dodgeable event that you need movement speed to dodge and then have her jump on your head so that she slows you down so that you can't dodge the movable event that you need movement speed to dodge? What's the point of that exactly? Like, better be quick on your feet! And then, like, slices your feet out from underneath of your body and you're like, what feet? You just sliced my feet out from underneath my body. How am I supposed to be quick on the feet that I don't have? Each one of those little purple things literally just kills you. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. I'm not that good at dodging these mechanics. Those little purple things are hard to dodge. I'm good at dodging the spikes. Like, I can get to the end without three dojanks, but still, it's not good enough. I wish you'd stop jumping on my head, too. I'm not a trampoline. Okay? I'm not a trampoline, Lilith. No, 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 still got hit twice. Not a trambompoline, Lilith. Not a trambompoline. I feel like I need to switch to the blood golem to, like, give me some more damage reduction. Or something, I don't know. Maybe I should switch to the blood golem just so I can get some more damage reduction. I don't think it rightly matters, to be perfectly honest. I think she'll still one-shot me anyway, but I can always give it a try. Let's see here. I'm currently using the Iron Golem because it gives me the pull-in. But let's, uh, let's grab the... Your Blood Golem takes 30% of the damage that you would take. Let's see if that allows me to survive long enough to, uh... To actually dish out some damage. Blood Golem's not even alive right now, by the way. There you go. Now my Blood Golem's alive. how to dodge those stupid things. I really don't. I really don't know how to dodge those things at all. Wah, wah, wah. I want, wah, wah. I want, wah, wah. I want, wah, wah. I want, wah, wah. Yeah, shift C. Shift to C, 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 Let's go with the additional bolts as well. I mean, it really doesn't matter what da how much damage we're doing, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how much damage we're doing. It doesn't matter. I don't think we're going to make ourselves any tankier anyway. Not, Not tanky enough to be able to uh, avoid a... A one-shot that's potentially happening. Do we still die if we run outside of this thing? Like, I'm kind of curious. Like, if she puts the spikes down, for instance, and I just run outside the thing out here, 
Oh, I didn't take any. I didn't take any uh, death damage. Oh, I didn't get any stack. Interesting. I've only got two blood stacks and none of the other stacks. Interesting. <laughs> I was so busy trying to dodge the things. I wasn't even paying attention to the floor. Hey, I figured out how to dodge the things, though, guys. I figured out how to dodge the things. I figured out how to dodge the things, guys. I figured out how to dodge the things. Things, 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 I dodged all the things. Things, 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 I dodged all the things. I did it, yeah, I did it, yeah, yeah. Oh, things, things, things. What happens if I run outside here into the Deathland? Oh, God, it burns, it burns, it burns out here. Oh, it burns. Oh, I get a stack when I run out there, too? How many stacks does it take for me to get one shot? That's the question. Oh, you have died. All oh, your equipment is broken. Let's do a quick check and see how many stacks it takes for us to die. Like just, just a, just as a, as a, as a, you know, kind of like a courtesy to ourselves, so that we know, like what the death number is. So we're just gonna go stand out here in the red stuff and. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but the red stuff hurts a little bit. It's ouchy. There you go. All my equipment's broken now. Let's see how well I kill her now. See, that was the plan all along, was to break all my equipment, and then we see how fast we kill her with broken equipment. Do I even need equipment to fight Lilith? That's the question. Do I even need equipment to fight Lilith? Your blind dog can dodge the things? Oh, man. Well, can you get your dog in here to come play for me? Because that, be, that would be great if you could do that. Heaven. I would appreciate it if you could if you could get him over here. <laughs> Cause I need help. Cause I need help, Kevin. Okay, I needs I needs assistance. I needs assistance. Ow, oh, he burns. It burns when I pee. Dodging, dodging, oh no. There's so many of them, why are there so many? How do you, can you get rid of them? Can I like kill the spawners of them or something? Like, is that a thing? I don't know how to do it. You didn't used to have to fight the, the little ghosty things and I don't know. Because cause the way that they had it set up, if you were fast enough, you could push past the ghosties, which I'm obviously not doing. I'm not fast enough. Not fast enough. What's up, Mrs. Lilith? Your butthole stinks like chili. You got that chili butthole made of chili. Y'all don't want to know what a chili butthole is like, because y'all, you really don't want to know. Suffice it to say, it's it'll scar you for life. <laughs> she slowed me down. You little turd Lilith. You're a turd. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're mean. You're a mean, mean woman. You're mean. You're mean. 
You're so mean. I love how damage output isn't even a problem though with this new fight. Like it's my character just kind of like waltzes through her HP like it doesn't exist. Ha! Ah, I made it to the last phase with no no with no do janks. All the do janks in the world. I got do janks on the squirrel. Have you seen my do janks, sir? Yeah. So you can't attack these things that spawn the ghosties. It is not. It is not doable to attack the ghosty spawners. It is not. No, leave me alone, you evil ghosties! I don't like you and your mom's a hoe. Oh no! It exploded in my face, all pustuly like and grody. Did you see that, Cody? Did you see that? Cody, you want to try at the, at the controls? Like, I, give me a paw. I'll put it up here and you can try out the mouse. All right, how about that? Give me a paw. Give me a paw. I need a paw. Okay, there's a good paw. Okay, we're going to we're gonna put this on the mouse. All right, you're going to control the dude, okay? You're going to control the dude with the mouse. You ready? You're going to control the dude. You got it. All right, you got it, buddy. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, get up here and you can do the mouse controls. Stop licking my hand, weirdo. That's not how you use the mouse with your tongue. You're supposed to use your pow. You're supposed to use your... You're supposed to use your pow. So don't tell me what to do and how to play. So I know I, you suck, and I was better than you. Eh. 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 They freaking lick my whole arm off. Arm licker. Run away. I just want to leave. Leave. I just want to leave. No! So close! Live! Live, damn it! Live! I don't even know why I'm doing this. I ain't getting nothing from it. I never understood why they made the Echo of Lil's fight. Like, so hard, but then basically gave you, like, nothing for doing it. They're like, here, here's a fight that you can go do. Like, what do you get for doing this? Well, pretty much nothing. They'll give you a weird-looking mount that's got blood all over. Okay, but what if I already got that mount? Well, then you get, well, you get nothing then. I remember she didn't even drop, like, 925 items. That was a crazy thing. Like, they could have at least made her, like, a place where you could have went to farm 925 items guaranteed or something, but... They didn't even do that. Ow. These purple things are always so mean. They're mean. They're mean purple things. Mean. Oh my god, let me on here! Ow! 
I don't know where these slows are coming from. Like, there's occasionally she's got these slows. And the slows are just ridiculous. Like, I don't even know where they're coming from. I'll just get slowed, like, at the exact wrong moment. I feel like I need, like, a blood mist in here or something just so I can try to avoid some of this bull crap. I mean, let me, let me pull in a blood mist somewhere. Hold on. So where can I, where can I slap in a blood mist somewhere? I obviously don't need the damage, but... Oh, why do I have a point in that? Yeah, give me, give me my blood, blood give me my blood mist. Yeah, one point in blood mist. There you go. Where am I going to put it? But it's, uh, I don't really need decompose. We'll put it right there. That sounds like fun. I wonder if it'll even protect me against the, uh, against the Dujanks anyway. Oh, is she not dead? What the hell? I wouldn't even have come out here if she knew she wasn't dead. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. <laughs> still died. I still died. Dag nab it. Okay, hold on. I had it I had the blood mist set to the wrong button, so I was wasting it a lot. Let's see if let's see if this fixes it. Blood mist does protect you against the uh against the stacks, by the way. That's actually pretty neat. So straight up protects you against the stacks. So you're gonna throw another one down at the end and say, Yeah she is, I knew she was gonna do that. A little troll. Oh what's up Lilith? Come on down. Let's say hello. Like you're a clown. No! No, it's laggy! No, laggy legs! No, it's lagging! No, you saw the lag! It was lagging! Lag! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what the frame rate was dropping for. Did you guys see that? It was like chunking all of a sudden. And all of a sudden <laughs> I was desperately trying to stay alive and it wasn't working. Stupid lag. Almost had it, stupid laggy, stupid laggy legs. Your mom's a lag, and your dad's a lag, and your granny's a lag. Stupid lag. What was going? I don't even know what the hell was going on like that. What, 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 freaking, what was causing the lag? Like the number of ghosts on the screen, or? I don't, I don't even I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I oh, know I didn't I didn't enhance it. You're right. I just I literally just put a point into it and just all I'm using it for really is just to escape death. 
I don't really care about the corpses that it makes or any of that other stuff. The entire purpose of it is literally just to survive. I'm just trying to survive. That's it. It kind of looks like they have a maximum uh, distance, I'm noticing, although that doesn't really help me out very much. I need to shave the blood mist for that one. That one's small and it's hard to get out of. I don't know. That one's a little bit more of a pain in the butt than the others. Also, I need to get to the end with, or get to that point without having any stacks on me. I'm trying to remember like, if there's any reason why I might want the other one, but I, d I didn't mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that. I just wasted it. So we save it for this one, which we're definitely going to need it. Use it right about now. That sounds good. What the hell was that? Like two or three of them at the same time or something? I thought I was, uh, I thought I had low enough stacks and thought I could eat at least one. Not that I was trying to eat that one, but. Yeah, I don't have none of that stuff. Oops, wasted the frickin' blood mist. Wasted the blood mist, cause that's what we do. Wasting all the blood mist while we take a poo, we gonna waste it. Waste it away, we gonna waste it. Wasted the blood mist. Wasting all the blood mist, and that's what we do. We gonna waste it all the blood mist just for you. We're gonna do it. I'm so used to number three being my goal amount. I'll hit number three all the time, like on, on reflex. I wonder if I could just like stand like all the way over here or something for that first one and like not even be over there. I don't I don't know how far you can go like to get rid of get away from that like effect that she does. It'd be interesting to test it. I'm not going to do it on this one though cuz I already have uh I have I have no stacks at the moment, which is definitely very nice. Never mind, I got two blood stacks now.
Everything is broken. Well, I ain't ever gonna get this. I don't. I don't know why. I can't dodge them purple things to save my life. Them purple things are coming to kill me, and they got a vengeance. Maybe it's all them times I made fun of Barney the dinosaur. Maybe this is his revenge. The Barney the dinosaur revenge. The Barney the dinosaur. 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 Barney the Dina, sir. I need more time. Yeah. I made it with no stacks again. No stacks. Do 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 do. I got no stacks. Do 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 do. Got no stacks. Do 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 do. Got no stacks. Do 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 do. Have no stacks. Do 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 do. Got no stacks. Do 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 do. Use my blood mist by mistake. Do 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 do. You know, avoiding them isn't really that difficult when you have a lot of space. Like, if you have a lot of space, it's actually pretty easy to avoid them. But when you don't have a lot of space, it's actually really difficult to avoid them. And, uh, and as soon as you're confined to that little tiny area where you can't move, and there's that blood bubble in the center that slows you down, by the way. So that, so like, not only is the majority of the space, like, n space that you can't use, because you have to stand inside of that little tiny square, but you also have Lilith and the bubble inside the square with you, and you can't really stand on top of either of them at the same time either. Uh-oh, we got a we got a dono war. They're fighting with donations. <laughs> What's up, Acrid? I appreciate the donations, by the way. The $50 donation from Kevin and the $2 donation from Acrid. I appreciate both of you guys. Got them fat donos. Alright, don't use the blood mist like an idiot. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, there's so many. No. Your mama's a per- Oh, stupid purple thing. Where did you come from? You came from the broken pillar. No, that pillar was broken. It doesn't get to shoot purple things. You can't just shoot off purple things from the broken pillars. This is upsetting. It's upsetting. It's what it is. It's so upsetting. Adorable, like a kitten? Or like a puppy. Like a puppy or a kitten. Oh my god, freaking Turdinator's over here humping my chair again. I think it's his favorite thing, as his favorite activity to do is to hump my chair. I think that's what he really likes to do. And Cody lets him too. Like, when Turdinator comes over here, Cody gets up and is like, Oh, you want to come over here? Oh, please, sir. Let me make some space for you so that you can come and annoy the master. Uh, he didn't give me enough porkum twists. He deserves all of the torture. I would appreciate it if you would torture him extra just for me. 
<laughs> Extra torture, yes, this is the way, do it. Stop shooting purple things at me for like two seconds, if you would please stop, do the purple thing, shoot! I don't like the purple thing! Finally, I do it. I. That's right. And Cody, stop letting Turdinator bully you around, okay? I don't care if he comes over here. You stand your ground and you tell him that he's not allowed to come over here and stop being the bully. Stop beeping. Beeping beeper. Beeping beeper. Beeping beeper. Well, I've been streaming for like nine hours. I think I'm going to hop off. I've been having fun testing stuff. There's a lot of stuff I still want to test, but... Um, I mean, I've seen enough that I can put in some commentary. I mean, for those of you who've been watching all night, I might as well give you guys some, you know, like, what's going on. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of good pros in in so far. Like, uh, let, me, let me list off all the pros I can think of. Um, pro number one, they let you zoom out the camera. Pro number two, um, there's a lot of nice new unique items and, and buffs for the characters. Pro number three, you get lots of extra storage space because the aspects go into the codex now. Which, again, is another pro. Aspects go into the codex. They also upgrade, so you basically get, like, infinite use aspects as long as you find a good aspect and then upgrade the aspects. Um, Helltides are absolutely amazing, um, which is freaking sweet. I absolutely do enjoy the changes that they made to the Helltides. Um, the uh, Minion Mancer is absolutely amazing at this particular point. Um, definitely extremely powerful, much more powerful than they were before. Uh, the fro Frozen Orb uh, build is actually really sweet. Um, a lot of the castables, like Dust Devils and and things like that, are also pretty powerful. Um, negatives that I can think of off the top of my head is that the master working system is rather boring to go through. Uh, it takes a long time to upgrade all your items. The animation is really long and boring. Uh, the tempering system oftentimes gives you the same useless thing like multiple times in a row which i don't really understand why um, there also seems to be on some items just like what i would consider to be almost like a wasted affix so while I, the items are capable of getting you know like five affixes now you also technically don't get five affixes because one of the five affixes is something stupid like curse duration or like, uh, depending on what kind of character you are. But, like, sometimes it's good, like, Corpse Explosion Size. Even though Corpse Explosion Size doesn't really give you any kind of actual, like, damage bonus, it's still going to let you hit more monsters. Um, I mean, I... Me, her, her, her. I mean, uh, cons, like, the rare items being completely eliminated from the game is a big con in my book, because... Rare hunting is one of the fun aspects of the game. Now it's pretty much just pick up a legendary item and use the legendary item because rare items are pretty much absolutely garbage at this point, which I don't think a lot of people are very happy about. I know some people are happy about it, but... Um, I'm not really entirely sold on the Greater Rift thing. I mean, they're fun at first, but I've, I've been saying that since the beginning, that they were going to be fun at first, and then eventually they'll get boring. And it does seem like they're already starting to get boring to me. I hate to say it, but I'm already starting to get bored with them. I'm testing out characters with them to see how high those characters can go. And there does seem to be almost like an upper limit where characters start to really drastically fall off. And um, it seems to be around tier 67 from what I could see. Around tier 67, although characters can complete it, the challenge seems to get like almost exponentially worse past tier 67 to the point where literally you start to get into like fights where monsters are one-shotting you on a regular basis and you really have to start stacking up damage reduction etc i mean it's 
it's definitely going to funnel down relatively quickly past that point to builds that are capable of completing past tier 67 content. Now, do you have to complete to past tier 67? It doesn't seem like it, because once you get to tier 43, you start getting the highest upgrade material, which is the... Um, uh, what is it called? The ig ig ba da ba da ba the butt cheek material. Where is it at? Then nel neth neth iron. The neth iron is apparently the highest upgrade material. And once you get to forty three or forty one, actually, you start getting the neth iron. So as long as you can at least complete a tier forty one, which is less than a tier one hundred nightmare dungeon, you can get the highest upgrade material. But Anything past, like, 67 starts to get into dangerous territory where you might, may or may not be able to actually complete it. The, um... There was another negative that I forgot. Uh, or positive. A positive that I forgot. They kind of, like, really fixed all the potion crap. Like, a lot of the times it was really hard to craft potions. You go into the potion vendor and it's just, like, a pain in the butt to craft anything in the potion vendor. The elixirs are, like, way easier to craft now. They kind of, like, condense them down into... Uh, a couple different versions and made it so that it was much easier to craft. Also, the materials that you need for crafting them have been uh, condensed down to bundled herbs so that now you don't have like 60 different crafting materials that are all ridiculously... And I, I don't even understand like why they had all those crafting materials and why every single crafting material just turned into another crafting material. It was stupid. Um, so that's another positive. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of positives to take away. Um, I'm a little bit, still a little bit cautious about like a couple things that they've changed here or there. But overall, it's it's interesting. One of the things that I would really almost like put as a con is that you may have to relearn the game. Um, you may have to relearn the game entirely. Like, like you, have to, you might have to spend time. And like just relearn all the stuff all over again because there's there's so much changed about the game the way the affixes work the way the upgrade system works the way the tempering system works like all of it like you may you may, you might log in and not even know what the hell you're doing and might have to spend some time like reworking everything. How is Minion Necromancer doing compared to the t strongest top meta builds? I mean, Minion Mancer has done very poor compared to most of the top meta builds for the most part. But in this patch, I was able to clear tier 67 with relative ease. You probably spent about 2,500 on me, accurate. Well, I really appreciate it. Trust me, I've uh, I've put it to good use on uh, on bills and and my girlfriend, and you know, like, well, maybe some Taco Bell too. But but for the most part, I promise you, I've been spending it wisely. Keeps me keeps me from being homeless, which I really do appreciate. Appreciate it. All right, guys and gals, I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna get some sleep, and uh, I'll be back on tomorrow. We'll do some more. Um, we'll do some more something. I'm not really sure what. I gotta do some work this week because I am covering for somebody's vacation. So, well, I'm gonna try and get as much as I can in, squeeze as much as I can in. I'll have some kind of video out with like a, a summation of all my thoughts on what's going on as well. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, guys and gals. Thank you for the donations. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, keep watching.